Good morning, good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. How is everybody today? Kat was in a bit of a foul mood this morning. She said, look, I was in a really bad mood this morning, but I feel a lot better now. So hopefully everybody else is feeling good today. Um, we've got a lovely, lovely day. Uh, it's always lovely when Kerry's here, but it's especially lovely today because um, Kerry's back and she hasn't been here for a good few weeks. Uh, she's got some brand new colourways as well. She's not going to be here till later on, so she's here from 10 o'clock today. 10 and 12 o'clock are her shows that are scheduled. We've got loads going on today. We've had a really chilled morning because Kerry's had a bit of a lie-in today. She's going to be here later on. So it's just been me, Kat and Joe having a nice little bit of breakfast. We even did a morning stretch today. We're like, right, do you know what? Let's try and stretch. Joe managed to touch his toes and he hasn't touched his toes for years. Uh, Kat did have to give him a little bit of a, a nudge to be able to hear. But um, no, he did manage to touch his toes. Right, anyway, shall we start the day with the early bird special? Today's early bird. We never, I never get the chance to reduce uh, creative grids. I know that John's had a couple of stripologies, but I have not had any creative grids as an early bird before. And this is one that has been so popular really recently. I actually did a show with Emma Bradford literally two weeks ago. It was on the 21st, on the 21st, of, uh, on the 21st of January, if you want to watch it back because she demos these. Now, it's the same ruler, but I just wanted to show you um, what, it, what it comes like in the packet and I wanted to show you out the packet because creative grids are brilliant for a number of reasons. Uh, but they look a bit complex at the start. I always remember thinking when I first started um, at sewing quarter thinking, oh, they're too complicated for me. There's too much maths going on. But actually, it does the complete opposite. It eliminates the maths. It makes it so accurate. It makes it so precise. They're made by quilters. Creative grids uh, are, are brilliant because you can tell that they're made by quilters, designed by quilters, for quilters. Uh, and it's attention to detail like that that really, really makes a difference. So with this ruler, uh, how many patterns do you have that call for half square triangles or quarter square triangles? You are going to get accurate, uh, you know, precise half square triangles and quarter square triangles every single time, again and again and again, right up to five inch half square triangles. Now, in the packet, you can see it comes with this little pamphlet. Don't throw it away because it's actually your instructions. Um, it does have a bit about the ruler, cutting half square triangles from strips. Uh, it also talks to you about cutting quarter square triangles from strips and what strips you need to cut, what sizes you need to cut how to do it, there's even images of how to position it. It's really lovely thick acrylic so you can use it in conjunction with your rotary cutter uh, and it's also got that non-slip grip which you can see there is frosted around the outside to a perfect quarter of an inch. So just to get your eye in as well to be able to to know that you've got that accurate seam allowance with your quilting is brilliant. The markings all the way through are in black and in white so depending on what fabrics you're using you're always going to be able to see those markings. This part of it is obviously for your, um, your half square triangle and then you've also got your quarter square triangle on the here as well. In all different sizes, right from your one inch right up to five inch. There's a QR reader on here as well. The reason that they're called creative grids is obviously you can get creative. You can get creative. We had a look on Pinterest this morning and I suggest every single person who buys this ruler has a look on, print, uh, on Pinterest or on YouTube to see how much you can do. There are so many demos, as I said, this was demonstrated with Emma Bradford back at 11 o'clock on the 21st of January this year, if you do want to watch it. But today, discounted as an early bird special, saving of four pounds for 15.99. That's your P&P covered for the day, isn't it? That's your P&P covered for the day. Susan said, this is such a useful ruler. I love mine. Thank you for your message on Facebook. Um, Susie Duncan's watching. Morning, Vicky. Ooh, a creative grids ruler. Such a useful one too. It is, you know, it's, it's one of those, we always have uh, quilts that ask for half square and quarter square triangles. And I know there are so many different ways of making half square and quarter square triangles. But to be able to get that accuracy and precision every single time, it's just going to eliminate so much time, isn't it? Susie, why do we not get shows with you anymore? We saw you the, we saw you the other day with John and we were saying, 
we never get Susie's shows anymore. Pauline says, morning Vix. Hiya, how is everybody? Maura, good morning on a very wet and windy day. Oh, not very nice, is it? Not very nice today. Susan said, good morning, Vicky and crew. Good morning, Susan. I must say, if Chris is watching, Chrissy is watching, please, please, please will you message in. I got your parcel a couple of days ago and it is literally the loveliest shawl ever. It's super, super soft and it's just amazing. And you've left me the most amazing letter with it, which I must say made Kieran and me, but Kieran was really emotional with it. It was so lovely and so heartfelt. And you left me your email address and I sent you an email back and it keeps popping back that the email address isn't working. You've also left me a number, tried to ring you and it's just gone through to answer phone. And I really want to talk to you to say thank you in person. So if Chrissy is watching today, please will you message into the studio? Please would you send Kat an email just so then I've got your contact details because I'd love to have a chat with you. Um, but anyway, thank you ever so much. It's studio at sewingstreet.com, the email, studio at sewingstreet.com. Anyone who wants to get in touch with us, please, please do today. Um, use a wonder clip to hold the instructions to the ruler when you store it so you do not lose it. Good idea, Susie. Do you know, Kat, <laughs> it's become a bit of a running joke that Kat will always say, laminate them. Just laminate them so that they're laminated. Have you got a laminator? Have you? And she's got a label maker. She's got a label maker and everything. Very organised. Oh, she says, I've made loads of labels for my new house. Um, she says, I can't get it to turn off the heart setting though. So it says, kitchen with a heart and utensils with a heart. That's lovely. Are these on all your boxes ready to move? Oh, so good. Quarter of the stock of the early bird today has gone. It's creative grid. Please would you send in any photographs of what you have made with this ruler in the past. Please message in and of course we'll show them throughout the day. Remember the early bird special is only while stocks last. Um, Kat's saying I don't think this is going to last the day. Just be aware if you want one check out as soon as you can. Then you've opened your order all day long. There's loads of people who are shopping already on pre-order checking out on Kerry's kits. Um, it isn't complicated, Joe. honestly. It's got all of the instructions, not only on the ruler here, uh, but it also has your full instructions that come with it. There's a lot of people who have said when they started using Creative Grid rulers, they then never look back. It, it is a great price to try it out as well. £15.99. Derek! Right, we made it. Um, Kat said she was there too. She says, I didn't message in, I didn't talk, but she was singing along. This morning we did our, uh, oh, how does it go? Da, 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 to warm up my voice. We were doing our warm ups this morning. Derek, on a Monday night, does a great Facebook Live. It was all love songs on Monday. And he has so many people that go. It was so good. It was a lovely community. We were singing um, Super Trooper. We did loads. Love Changes Everything, Circle of Life. They were all lovely love songs. Lovely love songs. So, yeah, I'm excited for next Monday. Um, do you know which ones Derek's doing next week? You voted. Yeah, I'll have to have a go at the votes. I did see it all come up and I thought, right, let's see what, what everybody's going to vote for for next week. We've had a message come in from Elizabeth. Morning, Princess Hungry Tummy and team from a very rainy Scotland. Hope you're keeping well. Look forward to another great show. Oh, it's going to be a great show, Elizabeth. Shall I show you what's coming up? It's raining everywhere today. It is raining everywhere. I did do a big old walk yesterday whilst it was nice and sunny, uh, but uh, it's raining and horrible today. Uh, so this morning we've got fabulous fabrics. Kat's put together some more of her absolutely brilliant bundles for you. They're already selling on pre-order, just saying. We've also got sewing room tools coming up at nine o'clock. Some that are back in stock. Over the last week or so, all of the guest designers that have been in have been telling us some of their favorite tools. And Kat's been taking note and putting them into a show. So that's at nine o'clock. Then 10, as I said, Kerry's gonna be joining us. She's got some of her favorite kits back in stock in brand new colourways, which is really exciting. 
11 o'clock, we're just going to do a nice slow stitching day. Um, this is going to be brilliant for our embroidery, for mindfulness. We've got all of the tools, lots of inspiration, some beautiful fabrics, some great lights as well coming up at 11 o'clock, your embroidery tools and books. And then 12 o'clock, Kerry's going to be back with us with fabulous Fast Fat Quarter fun. It's going to fly by today, isn't it? Thank you for all your messages. Keep them coming in. Let me know if you're watching today. Um, Laurie said, morning, Vicky and the gang. I laminate my instructions and keep them in a folder. There you go. Cat, you're not the only one. I have lots of rulers. You're, uh, your cat's kind of gal, Laurie. Geraldine, I know how much you love the creative grid. She says, hi, Mrs. Carol, looking pretty in pink. You know, I love, 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 love all the creative grid rulers. They are fabulous. Geraldine, is a bit of a collector of all of them. Have you got the half square triangle one, Geraldine? Um, and Irene said, good morning, Vic. What and all, stay safe. Has everyone got their cup of tea? Have a lovely, um, have a lovely cup of tea this morning with a snuggle up in the warm. Now, can I start with this? Because we've now got less than five and I've got a feeling that they will go very, very quickly. I'm just looking at some of the bundles that we've got coming up as well and they will team in really, really nicely with these. This is your Marisol absolutely beautiful fat quarter pack. You get 11 fat quarters in here and they are all absolutely gorgeous colours. I'm thinking for spring and for summer just to inject a bit of colour. Told you I keep, I keep watching this programme, um, the interior design competition. And they, Joe's got me into it of all people. Joe, uh, Joe's, Joe's got no taste. <laughs> he even said to me, I'm really bad at interior design. I said, I didn't know that you liked that sort of thing, Joe. He was like, I don't know, I'm really bad at it. But it's really good. Oh, look at these colors. But they all have such, um, they, they, they're really sort of daring with the colours that they use. They're not afraid of using colour. That's the one thing that I see in all these interior designers is to just bring in a bit of colour like this. Oh, I do love that. A fat quarter, let me show you how big a fat quarter is because they're really good sizes. There's a lot that you can do with a fat quarter. It's our Wendy's birthday tomorrow, Wendy Gardner's birthday. And uh, those of you that have got her fat quarter books, that's what a fat quarter looks like. It's half of a half metre. Um, I know how much she loves this fat quarter pack, but I mean, she gives us so much inspiration of what we can do with a fat quarter. She's on tomorrow for her actual birthday. She's spending her birthday with us, which is really lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. Uh, Geraldine says, yes, I have. They need to invent more so that I can buy them. They're really useful though, aren't they? I mean, Geraldine, we talk about the early bird and it's one of those, it is one of those rulers that you are going to be able to use time and time again. It's not just for one project. And as soon as you start delving into Pinterest and seeing what other people come up with, because there's a huge following for Creative Grids, so it's definitely worth having a look. But this is beautiful quality, quilting weight cotton. Yeah. Absolutely can. Well, let's have a look. It's lovely that you've got the different scales of print. Um, they've thought about that already. That sort of sandy colour in the background is lovely as well, isn't it? You've got the greens, you've got the tangerines, you've got the oranges. I think there might be some of these. I don't know if that one is. Um, by the half metre on the website. It's definitely worth having a look through. Just type in Marisol on the website and you should be able to find them by the half meter as well if there's any of these. I think that one, we definitely had that one by the half meter, didn't we? Uh, we've also got, well, I mean, look at all of these. This is the last few chances of being able to get these in fat quarters for 49.99. That is a lot of fabric for your money, isn't it? I love the contrast with the orange and pinks. They're not all regular diamonds in the background is all shadowed, it's really lovely. Such bright colours, aren't they? Nice to start a dreary Thursday morning. If you do like these prints, let me show you on the website where they are. If you type in the word Marisol on sewingstreet.com, they're the three that we have by the half metre. That's it. That is it. So if you do love all of these prints, grab your fat quarters. If there's any that you want, buy the half metre, 7.49. And they're quite limited, actually. They are quite limited. 
just be aware. Hi, Karen. Just got the early bird. What a bargain. Looking forward to the show. Lots of love from Karen. What was that? Oh, I well, know. It's a great deal. She said, I don't like the word bargain. Not when you're looking at quality things. But I know exactly what I love a bargain. I am a bargain hunter. That was, do you know sometimes when you get bargains and you think, oh, do you know what, it's a, it's a bit broken or it's been used or it's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that ruler, it's brand new. You're not going to get the open one, you're not going to get a sample, it's not a used one, it's brand new. It's just we always do, the first, uh, the first product of the day is always going to be discounted, which is really exciting. So it just means you can open your order nice and early. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth watching over the next... The, the next few weeks are going to be amazing, by the way. We've got a lot of amazing things planned. I'm so excited about my baby shower. I have no idea what's going on, by the way. <laughs> I keep inviting everyone on Facebook. Um, is your mum coming? She's got work. She'll watch it. She'll be able to watch it back. Oh, yeah, they're all going to be brilliant. Hi, Ryan. Ryan, how are you? Ryan, we miss Ryan. All of our office staff are over at um, the jewelry quarter head, uh, jewelry maker headquarters. And those of you that have got Facebook, have you seen Neil's post a picture of jewelry maker building Sewing Street HQ? It's have we got who's got a drone to take that photograph? It looks amazing. I mean, it is the most beautiful building, and the gardens, the grounds, oh, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So that's where Ryan is now. Uh, okay, the berries. Now, it's brilliant to be able to have all of these different shades of pink. Uh, there's quite a few different fabric stores out there that might sh sell a shade of pink or a couple of shades of pink, but I love the fact that you've got these beautiful berry tones. If you just got the Marisol pack, this would be beautiful with those Marisol fabrics. Even with the blues, it ties in because you've got the purples in there. Tom, good morning. Right, so Tom's going to try and help me make, what's it called again? They're called Little Moons, um, it, which is a brand of ice cream. But you can make them yourself. Tom, what are they called? Because I want to ask everybody else if they've got any tips. Because my only craving through this whole pregnancy has been these Blooming passion fruit, little moons, ice creams. And can you get them anywhere? Apparently there's a bit of a, a frenzy, a bit of a craze because of um, social media. I knew about them before, before the craze. I'm not just following the crowd. I promise I'm not. I went to three different superstores yesterday trying to find these little ice creams. Yeah, essential shop only. Obviously it was essential that I needed these ice creams. <laughs> Okay, in this you're getting half a metre of raspberry, half a metre of amethyst, half a metre of fuchsia, and half a metre of pomegranate. Pinks and purples, beautiful colours, aren't they? Really deep colours. £12.99. pence. It's a brilliant price point for two metres of fabric. In fact, have you discounted that cat? That's such a good price, isn't it? Twelve ninety nine. We have also got the blues bundle. Blue's the world's favourite colour. And these aren't just blue. They've got that mottle effect. I love the mixer collection because they are. They just add a bit more interest as well, especially if you're using them with any of your prints. If you're using them with your Marisol collection, these would be lovely. Twelve, eleven pounds ninety nine. This is again even lower. Mochi, is it called, with ice cream centres. It's a Japanese dessert. Oh, I love them. £11.99 for all three half metres. What can you hear upstairs? Bowling alley. Our uh, warehouse, well, I say our warehouse, it is part of our warehouse group, I think Primal, the um, lifestyle warehouse upstairs, and it sounds like a bowling alley <laughs> when they start wheeling the trolleys across. You can't hear it at home, can you? 
more of these are in baskets than we have available. Oh, can I just say as well, have a look on pre-order because we've got some brand new, well, I say brand new bundles. We've got some favourite bundles that we had as complimentary bundles. We've... Um, We've got them. We've got them all on pre-order. It's definitely worth having a bit of a gander, having a bit of a browse through. Um, that's on the pre-order section on the right-hand side. You can see this one. I love the classic vintage collection. They're lovely colours together. Really, really nice indeed. Okay. Um, everything for today is on pre-order, including all of Kerry's kits. Definitely worth having a look through those because she hasn't been here for ages. Right, neutral bundle you can't go wrong with. If you just want some um, plain, lovely quality cotton fabric, maybe for linings, for backing of cushions, for backgrounds on applique projects. Uh, I mean, it's just going to go with everything, isn't it? Neutral bundles like this are always extremely popular. Half a metre of each already pre-cut, so if you're multi-buying, then it will already come pre-cut into half metre pieces. You've got white, ivory, cream and nude. £12.99. Morning Amy! Oh I do love this, a hot, even just like quite a neutral quilt would be lovely. You could mix it with maybe uh, one of your favourite Liberty prints or something, would look gorgeous. Or just a neutral coloured quilt. Uh, neutral colour background quilt with some lovely embroidery floss coming through it as well, doing some hand embroidery on it. Amy, I have no idea. Pink or blue? It's not a baby shower show yet. We've got, um, oh, we've got a really lovely show. I haven't been told anything that's coming up, but it's going to be an eight hour special next Wednesday. John's going to be here for four hours as well, which is so lovely. I'm really excited. Um, blue sky in South Wales. Oh, lucky South Wales because it's ever so horrible, horrible blister. Uh, it's just rainy and horrible blustery today. Um, though I haven't slept in three days. Oh no. So I could be hallucinating. Oh no. <laughs> Samantha, I hope you managed to get some sleep. Um, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Just £12.99, two metres of your core neutral fabric bundle. Um, we've got the pastels. Where's Kerry, by the way? Speaking of babies, Kerry in Cumbria, um, she messages in, Kerry, are you still knitting or are you still crafting? Because she was, I wonder when her due date is, it must be any day now. She messaged in last saying she had two days to go or two weeks, was it? Did you think it was two days? Her due date was in two days. I thought she said she was two weeks away. Oh, Kerry, please let us know if you're watching. Let us know if you're watching, how you're getting on. <gasps> oh, how exciting. Okay, these are beautiful pastel colours. You've got your lovely mint green, your baby blue, purple, pink and yellow lemon. It's like um, ice cream, isn't it? Good morning, Elliot. We still didn't show Elliot on air last week. Maybe now you can come on air and give us a wave for Sue. £17.45. Pounds and 45 pence. They're all half metre pre-cut. Have we had an email from Chrissy yet? Or Chris? Oh... I really hope you're watching today, Chris. Message into the studio if you are. £17.45, half a metre of your lemon, half a metre of your lovely pink. You've got that gorgeous soft lilac, blue and green. Half the stock is already in baskets. We put together quite a big bundle of this, actually. There's um, plenty available, but do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. We've got some brights as well to show you. Plus, we've got... The uh, Vintage Garden, which I think is my favourite. Rose and Hubble, quilting weight cotton. Even if you, I mean, they look, you know, like that lovely sort of uh, soft pastel palette here. But even if you're thinking of them for, for other projects, if you're teaming them with other fabrics, 
we put them together, you don't need to use them together, absolutely. If you're thinking, right, that is the right colour to go with X fabric, uh, then of course you can get these individually by the half metre or keep the rest for your stash. Get the bundle and keep the rest for your stash. This would go really lovely with um, some of the fabric that we've got by the half metre. Look at this. In fact, can we do this one now? Because I have no idea how we've still got some of this in stock. This is one of my favourite fabrics that we have. Um, so those of you that love Kerry living in loveliness, she's going to be on today. Some of her projects would look amazing in this. I'm thinking the craft bag, the hobby bag, the cosmetic bags. Um, we've got some of the, the cosmetic bag patterns on their own. Did Amy have a lovely birthday? Did you spoil her on Elliot? As much as you can spoil someone in lockdown. Oh, good. I saw you went for a nice walk, didn't you, with Amber, the dog? Autumn. Ah, oh, I was really proud of myself then that I knew the name of your dog, Autumn. Um, and you also did nice balloons and everything, didn't you, at home? Ah, oh, pancake birthday cake. Oh, my word. There were literally about 10 pancakes filled with chocolate spread. Oh. Looked so good. It looked so, so good. Just £7.99. Did, did her presents arrive in time? Yes. Oh, good. He was panicking a couple of days before saying, her presents haven't arrived. Yeah. Okay, this is one of the most beautiful model effects. It's the Dragonfly Garden Range uh, by Henry Glass, which is such a beautiful designer. And, and you can see that it's got like this... Very whimsical, I'm thinking like unicorns and, oh, it's just amazing, isn't it? Cameras just don't do it justice, I don't think. Let me open it out. Joe, can I show it like this? Look at that, so that's what half a metre looks like, but you could have it. You could have as much or as, as little as you want. You can have half a metre or you can add more units to your basket. So if you do want to cut off the bolt uh, to say three metres, then all you do is go to the web, um, click add to basket. Once you go back to your basket, and if I want three meters, that's six units. So it goes up in half meter increments. Um, and then you click pay securely now. Kat said, I'm not gonna press that now because my details are there. <laughs> all my bank details will appear on the screen, which has happened before, hasn't it Kat? Yeah, and home address. <laughs> right, so that is one of the most beautiful, beautiful fabrics um, available by the half metre today. Shall we do my fabulous classic vintage bundle? This is gorgeous. Right, it's massive. You've got loads of fabric here. You've got four and a half metres of fabric. Now, you've seen this once before um, as a complimentary bundle to go with... Victoria's Garden, um, but I, I remember saying to Kat, we have to have this as an individual bundle on its own because it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at those colours together. That is such a rich palette, isn't it? $29.99. $29.99 for four and a half metres of fabric. It, it, it's really lovely and rich, isn't it? Don't laugh at him, Kat. $29.99. So in here, I'll talk you through the colours. You've got lemon, blush, rose, claret, brunette, silver mink is nice, isn't it? Chartreuse, fur, as in fur, not fur, and slate. $29.99. Oh, I love all these colours together. That's a really gorgeous bundle, isn't it? I'm so pleased that you love this as much as we do. It's really difficult to put fabrics together, especially on the website when you just see little thumbnail pictures and you're thinking, right, what works? Whereas when we had a collection come in that was called Victoria's Garden, it's worth having a look online and just seeing if they're ready by the half metre that you want to, to use as a, a solid or a, a, a printed fabric to go with this bundle. But we then went to the warehouse facility and had to look everything that all tied in together. And this bundle, I think it just works so well.
so well. I love these tones. It is a bit like a muted rainbow, isn't it? You've got your reds, you've got your greens, you've got your blues. If you're thinking claret and fur, that's Christmas, isn't it? You could use your slate, chartreuse and lemon. That's a lovely little mini bundle. You've got your pinks in here. You don't need to use them together in one project. Absolutely. This will go a really long way. You've got sort of landscape colours here, haven't you? Don't be limited. I'm thinking there's so much that you could do with your liberties as well. We've got a really lovely bundle of liberty here. And I'm thinking just adding in one of your um, liberty prints. I mean, it's 29.99, which is extraordinary value for money. It's really good value for money. We often do, and we will do today. In fact, we've got a bright rainbow colorway, which have always been popular. But I like that you've got this sort of muted, very mature colors. They're really nice. Makes me think of my Moda and heirloom quilts, Liberty. I mean, there's so many colours that are uh, available out there. So putting together a colour palette like this, yeah, we love that. Okay, make the most of it. Four metres, it's a lot of fabric. Half the stock of that one has already sold out completely and there's a lot of you that have got it in your basket, so just be aware. Um, now we've got a couple of different Liberty bundles. We'll do the pink ones, which we were just looking at. And then we've also got the blues. This is Liberty English Garden, ditzy prints. I like that we've teamed it with the claret as well. It just draws on these deeper shades in the ditzy print. Makes it go a lot further as well. We've got some of the patterns with Kerry coming up um, individually today. These would be really nice for Kerry's projects. I know how much she loves Liberty. A lot of people have been shopping ahead for this one, $17.99. It doesn't surprise me at that price point. It does not surprise me. We've got them in blues as well. It's different prints, different prints. So you can see, you see you've got your uh, ditzy scale, but the blues is still from the same collection, from the English Garden range. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Now that is classic Liberty. Half a metre of Classic Liberty. This one also Liberty from the same um, English Garden collection. And this time we've put it with a solid Rose and Hubble Quilting White Cotton Royal Blue. 17.99. I can hear you nice and clearly, Kat. Oh, can I just say... Well done to everybody who got the Juki, uh, the Juki machine. I am so gutted that we don't even have a look in at that. Um, when we were here with George and we sort of talked about it, he brought it in to show us. And um, we said, oh, we've got to get it on air. And we weren't allowed to really talk about it, but we just said, please, can we just show everybody what's coming up? And Kat and I have mentioned this for the last few weeks. And we've been so excited to see it. And I heard it completely sold out. Oh, there's four. Ah, it's on the website at the moment. If you missed the show, please watch it back on YouTube because it's extraordinary. This is the spaceship of all sewing machines. Do you know, you could buy a car or you could buy a spaceship. Honestly, it is that league, a sewing machine. It's very considered, I understand, I appreciate it. It is considered, um, it's on split pay though. And, oh my word, if you can afford to do it, oh, it's just incredible. I love the fact as well, I mean, we work very, very closely with Juki, who are in, uh, an incredible brand and, and world renowned brand. And yet we have exclusivity of it at the moment, which is so exciting. Um, if you missed the show with Delphine uh, that day, I mean, they had such an amazing day. When was it? On, um, where are we now? We're on Thursday. So was it Tuesday? Tuesday's show. They had Delphine, Gary, brand new Juki. I mean, it was just the best day ever. So please watch that show back. Um, 
And yeah, and you had John Scott as well. Not, not too bad of a lineup. So it's definitely worth watching that show back and making the most of the final four, did you say? Um, that's it. There's nowhere else you can get it. There's nowhere else you can get it. Uh, so I don't want to, to rush or pressure you, but I don't know when we're going to be able to get more of those. That's so exciting. I don't know when anyone's launching it. When are they going to release it? It's brilliant that they've released it here though, isn't it? And I know so many of you who got it. Oh, it's so exciting. You can watch YouTube on it, can't you? And everything. I mean, it's just brilliant, brilliant machine. They were watching John, weren't they, on, um, on the show? So good. Okay, are you ready for your rainbow? Rainbow of fabric. Um, have we got it in the right order? Um, Cat put it in the sort of spectrum colour order as opposed to your rainbow. Um, red and yellow. <laughs> Pink. Green. Orange. Purple. And blue. There you go. You can see a rainbow now. I can see a rainbow too. Uh, 23 99 if you want to do Bargello, if you want to do a beautiful rainbow project or again just to be able to have you know the primary colours and those beautiful bright bold colours that are going to go with lots of other fabrics in your stash you don't need to use them as a rainbow but of course with the year that we've had everybody has been requesting the rainbow bundle it's 23 pound 99 this is the one it's three and a half meters of solid rose and hubble quilting weight cotton 100 percent cotton machine washable gorgeous fabrics 23 pounds and 99 pence if you're buying multiples of these they will already come pre-cut into half meters oh no right we're less than 20 less than 20 we put together as many as we possibly could uh, there's now less than 20 just to be aware if you have got it in your basket cap saying it is very very busy this morning had a message come in kerry in cumbria is watching right <gasps> oh how are you feeling are you uncomfortable now are you okay she says i'm still here two days past my due date it's fine they're just keeping nice and comfortable um i'm still sewing and watching my favorite show to pass the time <sighs> joe said why what, what, what are you watching then what are you watching you got any recommendations it's i'm so pleased that you're there kerry i'm so pleased you're all right oh not long now not long not long any time now, any time now. Kat's panicking a bit that she said, we've got our March rotor through. And she said, Vic, we're here until the end of March. Do you realise that it could be the time when we're on air? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You'll be able to look after me, won't you? We've got the hemostats. <laughs> oh dear. 23.99. Okay, that will sell out today. Very, very limited. All of the bundles, very popular this morning. I think we've only got one bundle left. Now, Moda, we were talking about the uh, the Victoria's Garden bundle, the, the beautiful uh, vintage sort of colourways. This would look really, really nice with it. Can you see the difference? Now, this one's got like a pink background and this one's got your ivory, so you can just about see if I put them like that. Plus, we've put it with a mottle, gorgeous sort of uh, cream as well. It's the Daybreak range from Moda, which we've absolutely loved. We've seen in Fat Quarters, we've seen in other pre-cuts, but we've absolutely loved it in lots of kits. We did a couple of bags, didn't we? And they all sold out, all sold out. Why are you two chatting? What are you saying? That's good. 16.99 for all three so you get half a meter of your lovely birds with the pink background is there any more of the daybreak range on the website okay should we have a look just because i know there were uh, there were a lot a lot that had sold out by the half meter it was launched with john and hannah if you want to go onto the web and type in the word daybreak then you can see what's available there's the Morning Glory and the Misty Bundle that you can see there. 
some by the half meter. Oh, nice, there's a quilt kit there. There's a quilt kit, nice, that Sally Ann uh, demonstrated. Oh, so some of these are available by the half meter. We are very, very limited though on all of these, so just be aware. Absolutely beautiful quality mode of fabric. Those of you that, of course, um, I know a lot of people who solely only buy mode of fabric for their quilting. It is such gorgeous quality. It is really beautiful. And even though I always think of more traditional sort of heirloom quilts when I think of moda, but because this has got that lovely punchy coral to it, I think actually it 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 does look really really beautiful. It it makes it quite modern actually. It's lovely. Sixteen ninety nine. You're right, Joe. You're having a bit of a meltdown in there. Do you know the uh, Valentine's Day uh, competition that we did? We still got so many sweets. Those, the jar we left here for the other team, and 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 they didn't they didn't have any. They didn't have any. So Joe and I have been eating all the sweets again this morning. Um, right. Shall we do some by the half meter? Oh, come on, let's do solstice. These are all the same print. <laughs> um, plus, you have got, uh, well, you've got different colors though. You can see, now this isn't, this isn't um, a bundle. These are by the half meter. Without a doubt, one of, if not the most popular range of the fastest selling collection that we've done this year. Um, it's, gorgeous it is gorgeous just look at that look at that you've got jades oh jades back in stock we've got it tomorrow we've got it. not tomorrow saturday 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 show it's wendy show tomorrow love that you've got that deep midnight blue the jades turquoise Seven pounds and 49 pence for your solstice range. Um, this one's called the Windy Print. Seven pounds and 49 pence, a half meter. Oh, this again would be brilliant for Kerry's kits. I wonder if Kerry's seen this collection before. I can imagine her in a dress like this. Now that we've got it by the half meter, you could have a lovely cotton. Be quite a structured dress, don't get me wrong, when you're looking at quilting weight cotton, but you could still use it for dressmaking, bag making, accessories. We were saying things like your face coverings and scrunches. We just love, love, love this for accessories. Who was it that we were talking to about scrunches? Was it Dawn? Was it Dawn? It wasn't Deb, I think it was Dawn, who makes her scrunches. We have got the pinks and the golds. It's called ochre. It's got that lovely deep golden tone. So that looks completely different, doesn't it? It perfectly mixes. It, sometimes I look at it and I think real sort of festival, fun, bright colours, summer and then sometimes I look at it and I think oh it's more of the opulent paisley prints and sometimes it, it depends on what you're going to team this with if you put this with just a navy and I'm thinking like a golden piped edge cushion it would look extremely expensive it'd look really really opulent but then if you want to make it really really fun and add pom-poms onto it um, it would be really cool as well completely different look the solstice range, I adore. Absolutely. Okay. My favourite. My favourite is this colour. Uh, very limited on all of the solstice. I think that's all of the solstice range we have, isn't it? Are there any more? There's, a, a li there's literally dribs and drabs. There's a, a, a few pieces, a few uh, fabrics. We've got um, a show next Tuesday called Miss It, Miss Out, which are the last to stock. So we will... Um, We'll see if there's anything that we can put into that show. This, though, is really limited. It's my favourite. Uh, I think I'd probably put some pastels with it, actually. Maybe a lemon or your baby pink. The pastel bundle that we had earlier would look really, really nice. Turquoise, jade, navy. It's going to go with loads of colours, isn't it? Mmm, 
There's lots of oohs and ahs in the gallery. I do love the solstice range. It, it just is beautiful. What does it remind you of? Who? Horton hears a who? Dr. Zeus. It has got quite a whimsical feel to it, hasn't it? These colours. I would love the caddy. I'd love um, Kerry's caddy. It reminds Cat of Under the Sea when uh, the film Moana, when they go under the sea and sing, it's so shiny. That's what it reminds Cat of. I think the Solstice range has been the most popular range of the year. In fact, we'd go as far as saying we think it's the most popular range. We, it's our favourite range that we've bought you, full stop, in the last year. Oh, it was so much fun. We, um, we were cooing over this for, for the weeks before we were able. When we had it in our show, we said we found like the jammiest Dodgers in the pack. Okay, this is it, last of stock. If you want any of those, have a look on the website and see if there's available uh, availability. We spoke about Paisley print. Can we do these Paisley prints? These are Moda Paisley prints. I'll show you the three different colorways. They're individual, not in a bundle today. Um, but we've got the blue background, like the taupe background, like the, um, it's like silver mink actually, it's the same colour as the solid, plus you've got the navy blue, it's not black, it's the navy blue background. Let's do which one? You go where you want to go, Kat. Silver mink. The reason I want, let me put it with the silver milk. Milk? <laughs> mink. Just so you can see if it is, yeah. Yeah. Lorraine, 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 tell me if I'm wrong. Lorraine outright shamed me on air the other day, going, oh no, Vic, that does not work when I put two fabrics together. So yeah, Lorraine, tell me <laughs> if that doesn't work. You could also put it with um, your clarets, your reds, you've got blues in there. Right, it's six ninety nine. I would make the most of that because I think that that is wrong. It's from the Daybreak collection again. Your Paisley print is so popular. I know that our Paul loves the Paisley star print. It's that punchy coral that I love. It's the same colour as the one in the birds. That's so strange that you said you know a girl called Coral because um, I was only saying this on air on Jewelry Maker the other day that there was a floor manager they said they used to have called Coral and I said I've never known anybody called Coral. It's a lovely name though, isn't it? A really nice name. Coral Carol. I don't know if it will work though, will it? <laughs> Coral Carol. It is a bit of a, a mouthful. <laughs> Just baby Carol. <laughs> Just six pounds and 99 pence. Let's do the duck egg blue background. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, big opulent cushions, blinds, home decor, tie backs. They'd be really lovely, very opulent indeed. The back of, um, what about the back of uh, waistcoats? Um, hang on, Kat, did you manage to get those William Morris curtains? She saw some curtains online on um, Facebook Marketplace and it just said John Lewis curtains and Kat sent them to me. She was like, oh my word, this is William Morris. It was Strawberry Thief, amazing curtains. And they obviously didn't realise what they had. They were, were they, how much? <gasps> To, I mean, they were really, they, she didn't know what she had. Um, I said to Kat, get them for the fabric and she, they'd already gone. So you were on the reserves list, were, weren't you? I mean, the, it's, it's fabric like this that just looks with your William Morris. Oh, it just looks so expensive. Oh, this is the one with the salvage that says, um, the breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. 
cat texted us this morning and said, I'm going to be 10 minutes late. She went back to sleep. <laughs> she had a, an extra 10, 10 minutes snooze in time this morning. <gasps> she says, you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of snooze. Don't go back to sleep because the breeze at dawn has something to tell you. Six pounds ninety nine. We've also got the deep blue background, the navy background's very striking. I do. I must say, John Scott's really got me into having the, the dark dramatic background. That is really nice. That paisley, beautiful. It's still got that punchy coral. Still got the duck egg blue. It's got olive green. It's paisley as well. The deep navies that you don't generally expect from Moda makes it quite contemporary, doesn't it? It's a lovely, rich, royal deep blue. This would look really, really nice with your bundle. Loads of you have got these. There's so many colours in here that I'd put this with. What do you think? With those colours. There's quite a few. There's quite a few that I'd, I'd put with that blue, slate blue. Just six pounds and 99 pence. The bundle, by the way, we're now very, very, very limited on. In fact, Kat's saying, oh, it will sell out very quickly. Uh, surprised that we've got any of those. It's 29.99 for your classic vintage bundle of four and a half meters of fabric. Pastel bundles completely sold out. Rainbow looks like it's going to sell out. Mixer blues completely sold out. I think there's one left of the Marisol Fat Quarter Pack. It's busy, very, very busy. Um, don't forget to have a look on pre-order and see what is available. All of Kerry's kits are there. We've got brand new colorways. Uh, in the next hour, we've got so many sewing tools which are back in stock. I will do everything in my power to get through them all. We're going to have to blast through them um, because Kat has scheduled a lot of sewing room tours for the next hour. We'll do our best. Okay, she's packed it full. Packed it full. Can we go for these lovely brights again? Happy days. Are these all individual? All individual, not... Uh, let's start with this one. This is cool, isn't it? it there's no direction to this, actually, because I was thinking, oh, have I got it upside down? But actually, no. It's all multi-directional. The rainbow bundle that we had, the complementary bundle that we put together, um, we actually got it on Saturday morning. You're in a really good mood today now, aren't you, Cat? She's a bit too perky at the moment, isn't she? Did you just think that, Jo? She's, I think she's peaked. <laughs> oh no, she's, it's just really funny that Kat said to us before she went on air, I was in a really foul mood this morning, just so you know. And she's literally like, can't stop talking in my ear. It's lovely, but my word, you are perky. <laughs> Is it annoying you, Joe? <laughs> Joe's cat's brother, and he's um, he's he's struggling in there. This is, this is why I moved out. <laughs> oh no, does Liam know what he's let himself in for, Cat? Right, I'm having a look at my rainbows. Raspberry. I think that's where I'm stopping. <laughs> Yeah. The blue. Have we got a light blue? Or jade? Jade's back in stock. Jade's back in stock. The lovely lime green as well. Lime green I'd put with this. All available on the website. Um, if you do watch the Saturday show, 
Saturday morning, we will brighten up your weekend. We've got some really lovely fabrics on Saturday morning show. And it, th is it a Miss It Miss Out show? That's Tuesday, that's Tuesday. Okay. Thursday, we've got tropical fabrics. Oh, look at the size of these. See, I wouldn't want to cut this up into smaller, although it would be interesting, wouldn't it, if you were to just take elements, it would change the look completely. But yeah, you've got some really large scale prints. Maybe that with the uh, smaller scale print, we were saying in the last hour, about, and using the fabric slasher, oh yeah, team them up so then you get the different scale prints behind one another nice um this would be really 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 lovely as um, a quilt you could have this one as your border big border couldn't you sully's on the other side use this as the backing oh oh it is lovely isn't it just to brighten up the back uh we've also got the white background We've got Liberty here as well. Can we um, do them in the next hour? Yes. Oh no, we've got a lot going on in the next hour as well. We will, we will, we'll, um, we'll squeeze them in at the start. No, I'm fine. We'll do them now, we'll do them now. This is white background, crisp white background. This would be lovely. I'm a, I've got a bit of a thing about having white crisp bedding. But if you just want to do a lovely bed runner or if you wanted to do, just take a strip of this to put on pillowcases, that would be really nice. That would be lovely. £7.49. Have you got nice um, bamboo bedding for your new place, cat? Kat's moving into her new house next Friday. Um, you've got to get your bamboo bedding. It's so good. It's so good. Have you got bamboo bedding, Joe? We've got the bamboo range. I think the socks are on the website still. Oh, uh, Terry, Kat and Joe's dad had his bamboo socks on the other day. From You Bamboo, Steve Bennett, who's our founder. Um, it's 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 his range and it's amazing. Oh, look at this. Jade, you've got um, yellow, your pink. Seven pounds, 49 pence. This is again, the large scale print. But how lovely is that? I'm thinking like a big shopper bag. Off to your fruit and veg market. Big bean bag or, yeah, outdoor, outdoor cushions to have a bit of a lounge outside. This one's been the most popular. Already lots of people have checked out on pre-order. It's Michael Miller, absolutely gorgeous quality. We've had loads of new collections that um, sometimes they come in and then we won't get a chance to highlight them again. So definitely worth make them it's definitely worth making the most of them when you see them on air because they come in and they disappear they sell out very quickly uh, but the Michael Millers are lovely now just very quickly how can we not do Liberty two prints from which range is this this is English Garden look at that I absolutely adore Liberty. Have a look on Liberty's website, how much you pay for a Liberty cushion, for a Liberty bag, for a toiletry bag, for a cosmetics bag. In fact, we've got Kerry coming up at 10 o'clock. She absolutely loves Liberty. We've got lots of her patterns on their own. If you want to do your own kits, this is great. Eau de coat it, maybe um, you could do, oh there's so much, in fact, do you know, I was looking, Kat, I wanted to show you on uh, Etsy, and there's a lady who makes like Liberty bibs and little pants that are so cute, frilly pants and things like that for, for babies, and I was thinking, oh my word, I've got to make these, I've got to make these, how, how affordable 
is that to be able to say that we're looking at Liberty Quilting Weight Cotton, there's so much that you could do just to add a little Liberty collar. Or oh, do you know, I saw as well, um, they had plain white baby grows and then they just took out like an initial um, in, you know, in Liberty print and appliqued it on. Or there was ones that had rabbits that were just like sort of outlines of rabbits that were appliqued on to just plain white baby grows. And they looked amazing. And I thought that is such a good idea. So yeah, even if you just get half a meter, how far this will go, it doesn't need to be baby grows. Even if you've got an old cardigan, that, Rebecca Reed does this all the time, where she upcycles cardies. So a plain black cardigan or plain gray cardigan, and she'll do a frill around the bottom, she'll change the placket and she'll change the buttons. And instantly, you say, oh my word, where did you get that, that cardigan from? And it, it's a Liberty, amazing, uh, upcycled cardi. Love it. Well, I think we're thinking more about sustainability and upcycling and reusing, make do and mending, and just having glimpses of Liberty in pockets. Do you know if you want to change one of the pockets in, in your jeans or in somewhere just to be able to have just a pocket on the back of your jeans in Liberty or having something applique on the back of a denim jacket would just look amazing. Sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away now. <laughs> I'm doing a cat. I'm doing a cat and perking up now, aren't I? Bernadette has said, good morning, everybody. Looking great, Mrs. Carroll. Thank you, thank you very much. So good to have a delivery for all, baby names. Um, great grandmother and great grandfather names, generation of loved ones. This is what I've been doing. I did say to Kieran, right, let's go back through generations because a lot of sort of older names are really, really in fashion, aren't they, at the moment as well. There's lots of lovely names out there. There is so many lovely names that are very sentimental. They work too, love Bernadette. Thanks Bernadette. Uh, we haven't picked our names yet, it's really bad. Um, I wonder whether, um, Kerry, have you picked your names out now? Do you know, do you know if you're having a boy, and a, uh, a boy or a girl or do you know your names? Let me know. Okay, then we've got two more Liberty prints which are a different collection. So they're the English Garden. <laughs> I told you I was doing my stretches this morning, that was good for me. Oh, reach over, here we go. This purple's lovely, like lovely mauve. Um, what's this one called, sorry? Mammy, this is the Mammy print. I think Susie Duncan has got some face coverings in this fabric. I'm sure she has, oh. I love that mauve with the, uh, the deeper blue and then with that lovely lighter duck egg blue as well. Seven pounds, 49 a half metre, even if you're just getting half a metre. Putting it with your royal blue, I mean, again, there's so many different colours that are going to work with it, but if you're just putting it with this and doing contrasting fabric, it's going to mean that your liberty is going to go such a long way. Or if you want to put it with silver mink, that changes the look completely, doesn't it? Really classy. Finally, one more fabric. Last one of the hour. We've run slightly over, but don't worry, it's me on my own again next hour. We've got um, workroom tools, and then Kerry's going to be up with me at 10 o'clock. Absolutely, grab these now. I know that we won't have a chance to recap these when Kerry's on, and they will be perfect with all of her projects. You know how much she loves Liberty. Seven forty-nine. This is the English Garden Mammy collection again. Um, Mammy print, which is lovely. That coral, the ochre. Seven forty-nine. Here we go. <laughs> Susie says, "Yeah, I have a face covering in every Liberty fabric that you've shown." I tell you what, I don't blame you. And Susie was the one who sort of taught me to say. Don't be afraid to cut up your Liberty. Don't be afraid to use it. Don't let it sit on the shelf. We, of course, have got our hobby and our craft and why not use the best fabrics and why not use Liberty? So yes, I've definitely taken a leaf out of your book and thought, no, let's be indulgent. It's not indulgence. It's just enjoying, you know, the lovely, lovely things. 
Kat's bought some more storage boxes to be able to store all of her fabric stash in her new home. She said, I've sorted all, all through. She said, I didn't realise just how much I had until you start sorting through. You got your EPP back out as well. Good, 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 good. In fact, we're talking about hand sewing later on in our embroidery show. So do stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We've got workroom tools coming up before Kerry's joining me at 10. I will see you in just a couple of minutes. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Can I just say, Chris, got your message. Brilliant, I'll give you a call after the show today. Um, she's just sent me the most amazing photographs of all of her makes and oh, it's just so lovely. So yeah, I'll give you a call after the show. Um, she made me the most beautiful shawl for our, for our baby. I'm so excited. I was gonna actually bring it in to show, um, I wanted to show Kat then, I wanted to bring it on air. But it's just all there, lying on the cot already now, and it was in the spare room this morning. And I thought, I'm just, oh, I've totally forgot to be honest. I thought, right, I've got to say hello though, and I'll have to give you a ring in a bit. Now, um, we started the show at eight o'clock with Early Bird Special talking about creative grids. And we had so many messages saying how much everybody loves creative grids. We've got one back in stock. This is such a popular ruler because 
we do not see creative grids that do um, rulers of this size. And how handy is this to be able to have in your pencil case? How handy is this to be able to take to your classes, to your workshops, when we're able to? Um, it will be really lovely. Or if you want to send a little gift to one of your quilting friends, look at this, Joe. It has I love my quilting friends on it. I absolutely love it. Plus, it's got the most adorable little hearts. Now, they're not just a novelty, they're actually non-slip grips. So the red hearts that you can see are actually frosted little non-slip grips. So it's still the same quality. It's still a really nice thick acrylic. So you can still use it in conjunction with your rosary cutter. But let's think if you're doing three inch or two and a half inch squares, and you're doing your half square triangles that you need to mark up loads and get yourself a bit of a production line going. Don't get me wrong, the rulers that you can see behind me are brilliant and I'll always recommend going for the largest one first, your 24 inch. But for smaller pre-cuts, uh, for smaller uh, pre-cuts or, or sub-cutting, it could be really cumbersome working with a massive ruler when you're on a two inch square. Sometimes you just have a little handy ruler that's still very accurate. You can still use it with your rotary cutter. It's got so many markings on. So obviously you can see your quarter of an inch seam allowance is marked out here. Uh, you've got every quarter of an inch mark. You've got every eighth of an inch. Uh, I love that you've got the smaller grid here. I think they're every eighth, eighth of an inch, aren't they as well? We've had so many reviews, just so you know, on this. I don't know why it was just coming up on the screen. Oh, she says, I can't show you the actual reviews, which is annoying, but um, have a look on the website and you can see. Um, but this is so handy to be able to have for your pencil case ready to go with your tools. Kat says that she keeps hers on a lanyard around her neck. So it's there, ready to go. Just to check, have as a quick gauge for your, your seam allowance, to be able to have a quick check just to see that you, you're all in line. £15.99. Now, every single time we get this in, or every single time a guest designer comes in and they have this ruler, it completely sells out. So it's back in stock. We wanted to let you know straight away. It's, it's only literally come back into stock this morning. So we thought we'd bring it straight on air. It's £15.99. pence. Also from Creative Grids, we've got the Stripology Mini. We've got the Stripology Mini. It's the only Stripology that we've got in stock at the moment. And I don't know when we're going to get the others in. It's the only one we've had in for a long time, isn't it? So if you do love working with your XL Stripology ruler and you're thinking, well, I've already got the big one. Do I need a smaller one? Um, Honestly, it's completely up to you, but so many um, people who have got the larger one, who've now got the smaller one, said that there is a time and a place for both. So actually, they work in conjunction. They, they're really, really good, whether you're just getting the small, just getting the big, or getting them both, they're very useful. Um, because this is going to be great for if you're working from fat quarters or your charm packs, if you're working from smaller pre-cuts. It's got, obviously, just like the large stripology, it's got the grooves that cut at every half inch increment. But now, the additions with the mini um, stripology is that you've got the eighth of an inch line here and the three eighth of an inch. So if you butt your fabric up slightly across, then you're going to be able to cut some more really sort of intricate sizes. So if a pattern calls for two and three eighths sometimes i just find it really difficult to, to to measure out and get my eye in and especially when you're reading lots of numbers all the time i've just it, my my brain then switches off so it, it eliminates the the brain power which is brilliant if i spin it round we've got less than 10 by the way less than 10. spin it round it's got the turnaround feature so obviously the grooves haven't moved, you're still looking at every half inch increment, but now our zero line has moved over. So you would still square off your fabric like you would with your large stripology, but then you can put your squared off edge next to the zero and you can see your quarter of an inch cuts are, are along the bottom. You can also square up your fabric really nice and easily with your half inch increments in white and your full inch increments in black. All very, very clear. Works in conjunction with your rotary cutter. For anybody who's a bit nervous using a rotary cutter, I tend to wobble and shake out. I, I'm not very straight when I'm cutting 
with my, my rotary cutter. Uh, and, and it's really good that you can sort of get into the groove and cut very accurately and very precisely with, with the stripologies. They're, they have got the, uh, the non-slip grip as well, which we love. 36.99, you can see them running all the way throughout. I've got a feeling that this could sell out today, so just be aware, we haven't got any other stripology rulers in. It's been very, very busy all morning and there's less than 10 of those. So if you've been umming and ahhing and you've been waiting for it, go for it. A couple of the other creative grid rulers that are available are these seam guides. Now, I wouldn't use these with a rotary cutter and the reason being, it's still a nice thick acrylic, but it's simply from a safety aspect that I wouldn't want to have my fingers that close to it. But what these are great for is if you've got a square of fabric, let's just envision a square of fabric where this fits perfectly across the diagonal. This section from here to the centre is a quarter of an inch. Same again, quarter of an inch. So you could put in the corner of your square these points, they will fit right into the corners. You could mark through the centre, if you're doing half square triangles, you can mark either side and then sew either side of your quarter of an inch and then cut down your, your marked edge and you will get your perfect half square triangles. There's so many different ways of using these. I know that people who uh, love English paper piecing, Kat says she uses these to get a seam allowance for, for English paper piecing. As I said, you've got your quarter of an inch from that centre out. Um, maybe for your foundation paper piecing, there was another, there was another uh, demonstration that we did recently, Kat, where we said, I wonder if you can use the seam guide. If you want to add um, your seam allowance to templates, maybe, where you need to add a quarter of an inch, or if you need to add um, any of your seam allowance, then they're going to be perfect, aren't they? We've got it in the nine inch, which is the one that I've got here, and we've also got it in 15 inch. When we first had these with Sally Ann Harrison, they completely sold out. Um, there's the non-slip grip, the frosting across the whole of the, uh, the ruler, uh, and they're designed to sort of glide over the ruler, but as soon as you apply pressure, then it's not gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place, which is brilliant. Uh, just £15.99. Oh, I'm so pleased that you love them. They are brilliant. The 15 inch, I think the larger one is the most popular. If you've got the large one in your basket, be aware that that is uh, very popular indeed today, 15.99. We've got so much that we want to show you, so I am gonna whiz on. Um, those of you that have watched Claire from Native Lighting, in fact, I know that they launched her lighting on our sister channel on Jewelry Maker a few days ago, and everything that they showed sold out. They haven't had this yet. So, I mean, I love our sister channel. I work over there as well. And I'm not being greedy here at Sewing Street, but get these whilst we have them, because I know Claire is struggling to be able to get um, stock in quickly. We have everything that we have, I think until uh, April, I think she was saying. So as soon as they launch these at Jewelry Maker, I know that they're gonna be taking our stock. <laughs> <laughs> they were very, very popular here, and I know how popular they're going to be over at Jewelry Maker as well. What I love about this is the fact that it's very lightweight. I mean, really lightweight. I think you'll be surprised when you get it home at how little it weighs and how much light it gives off. It's a full LED light, so now I'm touching this, it's giving off zero heat, zero heat. And it's not a blinding light, it's a really lovely ambient light. And you can change the sort of ambience of it because you can use the dimmer slider touch at the top um, to, to make it lighter or, or, or darker. And this is the warm light. If I then spin it over 180 degrees, can you see, you might need to lower the lights, Joe, for you to be able to see. Can you? Just so you can see that that is now your white light, that's like your daylight. Um, and again, you can dim it. So you can turn it on and off. It gives off a really lovely glow. We've been thinking of so many different ways of using it. If I then turn it on the side, oh, you can see that it's half and half now. So half is warm and half is white light. Mm, can you see? 
some days it, you can see it really clearly on air and sometimes you can't see it as much as clearly on, on air. But look at how much light that is giving off. I'm thinking, you know, when it's getting a bit warmer, we're going to be sitting out in the garden to be able to have this. It's got the little hanger as well. It's got the little holder. So if you want to hang it as a little lantern, it gives off the most beautiful ambient glow. I want to get one of these as well for... Um, my nursery as a night light because you can have it as a reading light and then just have it sort of dimmer um, and it lasts a really long time so it's one that you can plug in to charge up if it's on the brightest setting at full power it will last four hours if it's on a dimmer setting then you can have it going for eight hours without having to re-plug it in and charge it you can use it whilst it's plugged in as well you don't need to wait for it to recharge for you to be able to use it it will give off such a lovely glow for a reading light in a bedroom. We were talking about using them in flower displays instead of candles, centerpieces, to be able to do like a, um, a centerpiece around it for an event or for Christmas, it would look lovely. We were also talking about using it for camping because it's so lightweight. If you have a power cut, if, you, um, if you've got one in the car, there's so many different reasons why we all need one of these. Uh, now, LED lights, you don't need to worry about changing the bulbs, which is brilliant. Uh, you also have a two-year guarantee from Native Lighting. Um, so if you do have any problems you know, with the LEDs, you can either email us or email Claire. And of course, she will get it sorted for you. The great thing about purchasing from Sewing Street and from Native Lighting is obviously you've met Claire on air. She comes on about once a month uh, and talks through her lighting and it's her company. So we have a great relationship with Claire. In fact, Kerry, who's on today, if you've got any questions about Native Lighting, it's worth asking Kerry. Uh, she's an ambassador. She absolutely loves all of these, all of the different lights. But this one, I think this is the one that's probably very versatile for our home it looks really smart as well it's not just for crafters there's one that's on later that's a big lamp it's got a big magnifying glass which is perfect for embroidery it's going to be great for crafters but i love this for just in the home because it looks like one of the um have you got one of those devices that you talk to and you order things online from or you can ask them what time it is or ask them what the weather's going to be like that's what it reminds me of it does have that really sleek finish cat was going to get you one of these for christmas joe but they sold out and look it gives a really lovely ambient glow doesn't it this would be really lovely to be able to have as a night light in bed or to be able to have as a, uh, a light in the garden when it's getting dark you can see there how that's now your white light, but it's not blinding white light, it's not overpowering. You can still dim it down, you can see, or you can have it brighter, just literally with sliding your finger across the top of the bottom. And there's that touch sensitive uh, sort of slider on both gauge, on both of the top and on the bottom. And then you've got an on off power button as well, which is a touch button. £63.99. Cat said, don't press it, press it, you're in the dark. There you go, I can press it now. So that will then turn it on and off. And there's a little um, charger. It'll come with your charger. We've got them in the warehouse ready to go, so it'll come directly from us. Some of the Native Lighting um, products come directly from Claire, come from Native Lighting, but this one is one that will come from our warehouse. It's definitely worth asking on the fan page or messaging in um, whilst Kerry's here if you've got any questions. And of course, we can answer them for you. And if th there are any real technical questions that we don't know the answer to, we'll find out from Claire. Um, we can text her, can't we? <laughs> we can text her and ask her and, uh, and get back to you. Yeah, Kat's got her number. She's next in on Friday the 26th. So next Friday, she'll be back in. Um, make the most of the reverse light, as I said, before jewellery maker. Get their mitts on it because I know how much they're going to love it. I think all the floor lamps have sold out. I think we've got a few of the Lumina, Lumina desk lamps. I saw Derek with his Facebook Live the other day with his ring light. Looked great, looked great. We're limited on those as well. 
have a look on lighting on the website under the lighting section on the web. Right, can we do the little snippy snips? Alison Marion, every single time she comes in, she will bring with her her own Fiskars snips. She said that she'd never used them prior to working at Sewing Street and she absolutely loves them. For anybody who's got different dexterity issues, if you're struggling with scissors, these are brilliant. But also, just to be able to have a quick, handy pair of snips at the side of your machine to trim your thread, to be able to snip into curves, they're absolutely brilliant. They've got a lovely soft grip handle. They've got the uh, safety cat guard here. They are, they've got a really good spring action so you can see, I mean, it's, it, it is it um, is a great pair of snips. They're sharp right to the point and they've actually got this slight, uh, how do I say this without sounding like jewellery terms, faceted edge, I want to say, but it's got like this um, micro tip on the edge of your scissors, which gives you an even better precision. So if you're snipping right into your seams, but you don't want to uh, catch your threads, this is perfect. You know if you, you're cutting, um, you know if you're cutting with a pair of scissors and you can't see exactly where you're cutting, with that micro tip you can really see right to the point. Um, as I said, there's so many of our guest designers who absolutely could not be without their Fiskars Easy Action Snips. Very, very limited on these now, but we just wanted to let you know that they were in stock currently. I think when we were on air with Alison last week, um, we did show them on the website and they flew out. So definitely make the most of these. Oh, there you go. Naomi, also recommending them. Hi, Vicky. I have those snips. They are incredible. I highly recommend. They're great, aren't they? They really, really are. And they're Fiskars, so it, it, it does what it says on the tin. They are really good quality. Thanks, Naomi. How are you? How are you? Do you know me? Do you know me? Now, these are a back in stock. The price is a bit bonkers. Are you ready? Hang on. Before you do this, cat, can I just show you, Joe? You've got two pairs of scissors. You've got a big pair of your eight and a half inch general purpose scissors. You've got your fine point. So, again, really lovely and sharp to the point, four and a half inch snips. How much are we thinking? Bearing in mind they're Janome. We all know Janome. Same umbrella as Elna. How much do you pay for a nice pair of scissors? I always thought, you know, about £20. £17.99. Okay, how about if I were to say that these are £24.99 for the both? We are nowhere near. I honestly don't understand the price on these. I have no idea how on earth they're 12 99 It's absolutely bonkers. You've got the eight and a half inch scissors and you're getting the four and a half inch snips. It's really good value, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. I was saying at 12 99 for one pair of scissors would be ridiculous. If you were looking at 17 99 for a good pair of quality scissors, I would be stocking up on these for things like my kitchen scissors, <laughs> my wrapping paper scissors that I've got in my Prezi cupboard. I'd get a set for Kieran, my husband, who always nicks mine for the bacon and cutting things. Keep a pair for your paper, keep a pair for your fabric. They're really, really lovely, general purpose, or really good quality Janome scissors for $12.99. That is so good. If you've never tried Sewing Street out before, this is a great item to have a go with. Remember, um, even if you're doing different crafts, if you do paper craft or anybody who's working from home, homeschooling, just doing any sorts of crafts, then a good pair of scissors is always really useful. And I must say, they are fantastic quality. Um, they're not micro serrated, so you can use these with your scissor sharpener as well. So always keep them nice and sharp and they'll last the test of time. Julie messaged about the Fiskars snips as well, saying, I can't praise these enough. You can get into really tiny corners. Um, we're very limited on those Fiskars scissors. They're about to sell out. £12.99. I think these are going to be very popular as well. Ministry Apologies is about to sell out. Just be aware. The uh, I Love My Quilting Friends ruler just come back into stock today. 
there's a lot back in stocks today which is lovely they're all selling very quickly so um, another way of cutting is obviously your rotary cutter now we've got two different sizes we're going to start with the 45 mil because this is generally the size that you will use for a majority of your cutting. Let me show you the difference so you can see this is your 45 and this is your 28 mil rotary blade. £8.99 makes this, I think, the most affordable rotary cutter we've got on the website and it's Millwood. If you're watching us for the first time today, if you're, or if you're starting out your hobby, if you're watching us and you're, you're just building up your, your stash, whether you be a dressmaker and you're, you've never used a rotary cutter before, it's a great price to try it out. Because you can pay up to sort of what, £20, £25, even more so for, for rotary cutters. And it has got the safety feature, it's got the safety catch. Um, you can use it whether you be a left or right handed uh, cutter. The 45 millimeter blade and your replacement blades, you can use um, any of your sort of standard rotary blades uh, to replace it. It's got a lovely soft grip. It's a really good rotary cutter. Maybe you just want one that you keep in your sort of tools bag, ready to take on the move when you we're able to go to, to workshops and things, instead of having to unpack everything and repack everything. If you are sorting yourself out now, ready to go back or building up the confidence to go to classes and workshops after a year of lockdown. I must say, that is one thing that I'm really excited about. And I, I did get a bit lazy with it. I started off where I did my patchwork and quilting classes. And then I was dabbling between different, um, I did a dressmaking one. And I was doing lots of different bits, which, of course, we all do. Being part of here, you want to try everything, don't you? What's that? Oh yeah, I did enrol into a, a pottery class as well. I just decided I wanted to try everything. And then um, obviously busy lifestyle and things happen and you just think, oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna try on my own at home. I'm gonna do it. Um, and you realise actually, maybe I need to just stick at one thing and have a go at it properly. But then with lockdown happening, I thought, do you know what? No, I'm going back to my old head of, I want to try everything. I'm really excited to go back to classes and, and to be with like-minded people as well. So you have got your 45 millimeter blade, which is really useful, obviously for, for, for all kinds of crafts. Just remember, get into the habit of, once you've finished making that cut, to close the blade. They're very, very sharp. The great thing is, though, is that because of the safety feature on this, it isn't the, the blade that's moving, it's just the guard. So once you've tightened it in, there's no movement that was going to loosen the blade at all. Um, it's just the black guard that's moving. Now, the 28 mil. I know Delphine likes to use this when she's doing her smaller applique cutout template bits and bobs for, say, the Tasha quilt, for example then this is this is really really handy or if you're doing foundation paper piecing if you're doing freehand cutting if you're not using a ruler if you're doing curves or anything like that if you're working with curved templates i know a lot of people say the smaller ones are handy so it's good to have um julie's sent in a message on facebook saying it's always wise to have rotary cutters to cut through interfacing backed fabric and then keep the others for only fabric. So do you have two then, Julie? Do you have one that's just your fabric and then one that's got an interfacing on the back? I suppose it will blunt your, your blade quicker doing lots of interfacing as well. Yeah, good shout, absolutely. It's like scissors though, isn't it? I always ask, what do you use for your bond web? What scissors do you use when you're, when you're cutting this out? Or it's, it's good to have a couple, especially at these sort of prices that you've got them ready for a certain project. You could put ribbons on them so you know which are which. Alison Marion absolutely loves making binding. She's got a binding maker, hasn't she? Um, <laughs> oh, she is a binding machine, but I think she's got a binding machine <laughs> to be able to do it. Now we've got two different sizes. One that will make a thicker bias binding and one that will make um, a, a small one. We'll start with the, the large one. If you're doing her Mummy and Me apron, um, you can do it really quickly. Two seams, two seams. But you just need 
how many meters of bias binding? A lot of bias binding. So having this tool is brilliant. Now this will make about a one inch bias binding. Now whether that be for um, dressmaking, whether it be for quilting, whether it be for home furnishing, you feed your fabric through here. I should have sorted it out that I could show you, but you feed your fabric through, you then pull it out and it will come perfectly folded and then you get ready with your iron and you press it as you go. Um, for five pounds and 99 pence, it really, really does help. I mean, there's great description on the back and there's been loads of demos on the show. Plus there's lots of, um, there's lots of demonstrations on YouTube, which you can watch back, but you can see here, you can secure it with a pin and then just drag it along with your iron on, um, uh, on your ironing mat. And you'll be able to see how quick and easy. Now it also tells you what uh, size strip to cut, how to do it, how to trim it, tips and how to do it for five pounds and 99 pence. We have the smaller bias binding maker as well, just depending on what project you're doing. But if you want a nice thick bias binding, whether it be, as I say, for a quilt or whether it be for dressmaking, I love a stripey binding. It just means that you can start making your own binding because quite often you might, um, you might make or you might buy pre-made binding which is great, but then when you start wanting to match them in with your fabrics or your projects, this is brilliant. Alison Marion was saying, I hate having unfinished projects. I like to finish a project. So maybe if you're thinking, I can do the top, I can do the quilting, but it's the binding that I don't enjoy or the binding that takes the time um, this is going to make it really quick and easy isn't it to be able to make it um, with your own fabrics £5.99 Alison has done some great demonstrations in the past of how to do binding and um, in fact we've done lots on the show but uh, there are in fact there's a little QR reader at the top here but you could just type in hemline uh, by a spine and maker onto YouTube and you'll find loads of tutorials of how to use them as well as the descriptions on the back okay now uh, Beldre we've got some brilliant prices on these I went into the um, supermarket and there was I looked at your iron and we have got the best prices on these you know um, we did question it didn't we when we first launched them we did have to actually ring our buyer Paul and say have we got this right because the prices are amazing so let me switch it on um, it's got a really clear LCD screen which I'll show you so it comes with your base which is brilliant because as you can see that is completely locked into place so it's got the button on the back with a padlock which you can then lock it in or release the iron. Now what I love about it is that you can use it as an upright steamer like that or you could use it as a normal sort of iron. You can use it, I'm going to keep it away from my face, but you can see here that on the LCD clear screen you've got your plus, plus and minus buttons which you can change the setting. So can you see that there it's got an iron and steam. If I click plus, it's then going to say iron and double steam. Let me go down to the bottom where you can see iron, no steam. So if I go to, if you want a dry iron, if you're doing quilting, then that's brilliant. So I'll let that heat up for a second. I've filled it up with, have we filled it? Yeah, filled it up with water. I didn't. <laughs> Cat's filled it up with water. There's the little um, tank at the top. It does come with a little filler jug, a little jug to be able to put your water in. It will tell you where your max level is. You can see how much water you've got in there. It's nice and visible. And then it's also got the trigger button here. Now that can be locked into place. So if you want to press that down, just give it a second because we have only just turned it on. There you go. Here comes the steam and it is really steamy. So if you're thinking of steaming your curtains, if you want to steam your headboard, I don't know whether it's because of the pandemic or because I'm nesting or what's going on, but I've gotten really into giving my sofa a good steam, my headboard, curtains, things like that. It's really good to get into those nooks and crannies, especially with the attachments that you get. But then if I lock it in place, there's a button here which you pull down 
I can then hold that in place and it will give me constant steam. Um, <laughs> you're not going to hold, yeah, you don't need to hold it down with your finger all the time, which is very handy indeed. It will tell you when your water needs to, uh, to be refilled. Can you see though, there's still loads of steam. I don't know whether you, how clearly you can see or not on air, but there are low, it is a really lovely, powerful steam jet. It's nice and lightweight as well. Oh, it's not spitting any water, no. Kat says hers spits water. But it's nice and lightweight if you are thinking of, of trying to do some vertical steaming. So, it also has a really lovely long cable. It does always need to be plugged in. It's not one of the cordless ones, but it's got a really nice long cable. So if you are going around the home steaming things, perfect. And it comes with two attachments. Um, so I won't put them on now whilst it's hot, but once it's cool, you can put your different attachments on. You've got your protector for your more delicate fabrics, and then you've got a lint, I love this one, your little lint brush. So if you want to get right into the nooks and crannies of your sofa, um, are you thinking in the car? There you go, car seats, absolutely. Um, or your, uh, yeah, if you want to just steam maybe uh, pet beds or if you want to steam headboards and things like that, you can get really close into it. Wool coats, this is I ideal. Now, it's a really good size that you can open your seams with it as well. It's an alternative option to having the mini, option, uh, the mini iron. It's got a nice point at the top, so if you are thinking of investing in a, a smaller iron compared to your domestic machine uh, that you've got at home that slots back in and can lock into place um, then this is a nice alternative isn't it £29.99 and it comes with the base it's not just a steamer it's also a mini iron uh, £29.99 pence. really smart isn't it I've got it yeah is it this one the mat we're talking about this one with Emma Bradford. In fact, we did bring it up on the website the other day. But I love this book because it's really, really versatile. When we can go back on the move, we absolutely can. Uh, this is going to be perfect for it. But even if you're wanting to set up your station at home, at the moment, the only way I want to get up is if I'm having a cup of tea and a bicky. And other than that, you want to set up your station, your sewing machine, your pressing mat, your cutting mat, it doesn't take up much space. Uh, this is ideal. So the top of it, you can see here, is a pressing mat. I can also open this out if I do want to do some extra pressing. This is all protective, so it is a pressing mat, which is a great size. Then inside, you have got your cutting mat. How cool is this? If you're doing smaller, if you're doing, if you've done all of your cutting at home and then you're thinking, right, I'm going on the, the move and I'm, I'm going to a class and I want to do all of my sub cutting or just cutting loads of half square triangles in front of the telly even, you can set yourself up a nice little tray and a little table in front of you and do all your cutting and pressing there. It's then also got the sandpaper, which is the, oh, oh, that was a nice surprise. <laughs> Me and Kat literally did that exactly at the same time. Um, so if you are marking any of your fabrics, Emma Bradford was saying how handy it is to have sandpaper. And there aren't many of these combi books, these combi folders that have got um, sandpaper as well. So that's really useful to have whilst you're marking all of your fabrics up. It's not going to slip out of the way. Um, then it's got this like velour suede sheet as well, which again, doubles up as a bit of a design wall. So if you do want to test out your block, if you want to keep a block in place, um, you can then just close it and, um, and keep it exactly where it is and take it around with you. So, see it stayed in place. It's absolutely brilliant that it doubles up not only as a pressing mat, a cutting mat, design wall, and your sandpaper block as well for $14.99. I think that'd be such a great gift for somebody. Great gift for someone. Single figures of these, by the way. It's nice in the blue spot. Nice to fit into your sewing room or fit in your bag, um, fit into your, your sewing machine bag maybe for when we get to, to do some sewing on the move. It's not too bulky, it's A4 size. We've had them slightly larger before, A3 size with handles. Um, but this is a really lovely portable size and quite often, especially with the way that the world is today, 
I think we, um, I used to go to a, a class where we had a communal ironing board and one, I just don't think you're going to be able to do that now. I think you're going to need to take everything. So if you're lugging around, you're pressing mat, your iron, your cutting mat, your sewing machine, everything, all that you need is maybe your two one garment steamer or your mini iron, this, your rotary cutter and your project. That's it. That's all you need to take. You're not going to be needing to lug around a big cutting mat. Um, and also, I mean, I, I was getting frustrated by the end of my uh, classes because there was always a queue for the iron. So just to be able to set up your nice station that you're not having to move. Brilliant. £14.99. I'll pop those back. Okay, just so you know, less than five of those now. This I've not seen for ages. Kat's saying there's lots of sellouts on the website. We are running out of time. Kerry's going to be here. Is she here? She's here. She's here. Uh, we've got some lovely quilt labels. Um, IQUU19, please. This one's called Ditsy Quilt Labels. It is so important to label your projects. It really is. Because time runs away with us and we make lots of different things. It's lovely to just put a date who you made them for, or if you're gifting things or making things for yourself. It's nice to see your progression, I think. Um, there's some different sizes in here. You've got the larger ones, stitched with love, handmade, ones with lovely hearts. If you're making with somebody, they're gorgeous. They're called quilt labels, but I mean, we should always, I think, label all of our projects, whether it be a bag, a cushion, a toy, a garment, anything that you're making, stitching in these lovely labels, look, made with love, putting that into the back of a dress or something, it'd be so nice. 27 labels on there for 7 99 They are exclusive to us as well. I like that you've got the corner ones. So if you're doing, for example, you know any of Delphine's, um, I'm thinking her felting, any of the square or your embroidery that you just want to put this into the corner on the back or the corner of quilts, they'd be really nice. Uh, they don't all need to be with, with labels. Some of them have got space for you to be able to, to write with one of the, the fabric pens that you can then iron and seal or you could do some embroidery onto it. We've got lots of embroidery scales coming up at 11. There's lots of ways of uh, adding names and uh, lots of machines, obviously, that have got all the fancy stitches, hand embroidery, or just writing it on with a pen. Uh, we've got the pinks, which are KRUU92. Oh, these are lovely. That one's like a memory quilt, isn't it? That would be really beautiful for a memory quilt. Um, stitch with love or even yeah if the smaller ones for bears or, or, or toys projects bags all sorts all different frames you could even use a transfer sheet to print a photograph onto some of these have them as little frames oh gosh you've got to label them absolutely if you're giving as a gift please do label your your projects 7.99 and then we'll come just like this they're they're not they're panels i just want to whiz through and show you all the different colors that we've got because we never get the chance to bring these to air they are always on the website so it's worth having a look through and they're exclusive to us this is yeah got it oh i like this for um more sort of, I was going to say contemporary it's called traditional here but these are really cool you've got like your epp your stars, your squares. I like that you've got a nod to your craft on here as well. That's really cool. Nice for gents makes as well. Nice for, uh, I'm thinking things like um, office bags and laptop cases. Quite often, even at the start of your journey, you think, oh, I don't want to label that, I don't want to. But it's really good to label it, to, to know, to see your progression. You don't realise how far you've come until you start looking back and think, gosh, I made that then. And especially with the year that we've had, lockdown quilts. How many quilts? A lot of people I know have been making the lockdown quilts. So these are going to be brilliant to be able to use for that. This is MZUU91. Traditional red mustard and gray 
really cool contemporary one, these. I do like these a lot. Pop them in your basket, check out, check out, check out. Remember, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Loads of quote labels. What does that make your price per label? Really good price. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine pence a label. Twenty-nine pence a label. Brilliant. And it's all all, all printed onto lovely co cotton. Final one. This is Kat's favourite. This is your plain black labels. But they it's it's still, as you can see, the difference in the colour from the white. It's a lovely um, sort of ivory cream background. It's more of a charcoal grey than black. It's not harsh black. Still going to go with everything. In fact, I'd just get this one because it's going to go with everything. Multi-buy on them if you can. Um, if you're getting one, I'd go with this one. $7.99 is going to go with absolutely everything. If you've not done any of our exclusive panels, if you've never tried them out, for just seven ninety nine, definitely worth trying us out. Exclusive to us. If you're not quite sure about, uh, you know, if you haven't purchased from us before, they are completely exclusive. They're always going to be useful. And just seven ninety nine. Remember, only one p and p. So those of you that have purchased already this morning. Um, you can shop all day long on the website, on Yarn Lane's website, and you'll still only pay one P&P across the board. So talking of our exclusive panels, we launched these amazing Colour Me In panels. Now, whether they be for children or whether they be for us, this one's already started to be coloured and I love it. Absolutely love it. They are massive, by the way. Look at that. Okay, now this is five ninety nine. I had honestly, I had forgotten the price of these. They're such good value, and I love seeing how everybody's done different things with them. Um, whether you're odor coating them and, and using them as as place mats, if you're using them as as play mats, if you're using them to make into a bag, if you're using them to applique onto clothes, we've seen people using them onto teddy bears. And they're just so much fun. I mean, if you are homeschooling, fingers crossed we get some news soon that they can all go back to school. But if they just need a bit of a break from the screens, because obviously they're spending a lot of time in front of the, uh, the, the tablets and the, the laptops at the moment, just to do some lovely colouring in on a rainy day. It's brilliant. I did that one. Thank you. That's very neat and tidy, Jo's just said. So, if you do want to have a go at this, it's only $5.99, but you might need some pens. The great thing about these pens is that you don't need to iron them. They are permanent once they're dry. So, if you want to decorate anything, uh, plain calico tote bags, hats, your canvas shoes, uh, any of your Colour Me In panels, we've got different ones available on the website. Uh, these have got a great array of colours. So you've got your pink, you've got purple, blues, black, brown, yellow. All of these are brilliant, aren't they? I'm going to colour in some stars. And because they've got a nice thick nib, actually comes together quite quickly. Joe, you got really into in lockdown doing colouring in, didn't you? It's very therapeutic. It is very therapeutic. I always thought more of children, actually, when I was doing this. But then me and it was producer Liam over at Jewelry Maker. We had one of these. We lost hours just colouring in. Um, so me and Kat at the moment are a bit embarrassed by how much our screen time is up on our phone. And I'm, I'm, we mustn't be the only people. But you just spend too much time, hence why I've gotten into my knitting, just to try and put my phone down. But this, again, is so therapeutic. And especially if you can then make it into something as well. It isn't just going to be in a colouring book that nobody else ever sees. Make it into something. Maybe if you get the, the children to colour it in and then you sew it into something for them to give it back to them as a present. Put a label on it. Absolutely. What colour am I going for? Um, purple. Uh, for £12.99, these are really great colours. Nice selection, really bold, vivid colours. 
It's my orange. We are very, very limited on the space panel, just so you know. They are exclusive to us. It's your side graphic at the moment. And you're getting a huge 140 wide. There's so many different elements to it. And I really like as well that they're quite nicely spaced out. So if you do, hey, spaced out. If you do want to, um, if you do want to make them into something where you cut them out and applique them, then you've got the ability of doing that as well. There's nothing overlapping. Right, so just so you know, if you want any of the other colour medium panels, I believe there are still some on the website. I can't say, I don't know if there is, you know, Vic. There's, if there are, they are really limited. Sorry, you've lost me now for the rest of the show. Well, this one in the Halloween and that's it. I think the Under the Sea one's gone. And the Princess one. Oh, we all love space though, don't we? We all love the space theme. Five ninety nine for your colour me and pedal. That is such good value, and it's all on cotton. Um, grab your pens as well for just twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Too much fun. Right, we've got one, a few minutes, a few more minutes. Let's do some seams. It's all right. What is it that you want to do? Is it the gift set? Right, we've got the nail oil, the hand cream, the gift set. And we've got the um, the hand gel as well. Don't worry, cat. Oh, in fact, mm, I thought it was here. It isn't. We've got the nail oil to start with. It's twenty one ninety nine. Obviously, salons aren't open at the moment. Um, all of our nails. I don't know about you, but with all of the different antibacterial hand gel that we're putting on or washing our hands constantly, um, in the winter, our hands they it takes the toll. And of course. These are the tools of our trade. If you're sewing lots, if you're hand stitching more, are you finding that your cuticles are dry? What I love about this is that it isn't just for your fingernails. You can use this. I know our Haley, our head of TV Haley, she uses this on her uh, knees, on elbows, if you've got any dry uh, heels on your feet, which of course we do tend to get this time of year. You really, really do not need much, literally. It comes with a little pipette, but don't squeeze it. Just give it a little dab on your cuticles. Kat and I, we do this every single morning. And it has made such a difference. It smells beautiful. It smells absolutely beautiful. If you're used to going to the nail salon, I mean, I'd never thought of buying a nail oil until I saw seams. When you're using nail varnish all the time or acetone to take your nail varnish off all the time, then this will really help. Now, it's designed to help soften, nourish and restore um, for, for dry skin and nails. So use morning and night or as required, massage into the hands. And I just find it's so nice to give yourself a bit of a hand massage as well. Bit of a treat. Um, it smells beautiful. It's the smell of, it's the Fragonia oil, isn't it? The same as the, um, same as the hand cream. So soften, restoring condition, nourish and even skin tone. It's designed to help moisturise and enhance skin barrier, hydrate and promote skin renewal, and also give you a lovely smooth feel. It's the coconut oil that gives it that silky soft feeling. $21.99, it's a very special gift for somebody and it is designed with sewers in mind. So with the hand cream and with the nail oil, they are both designed to be non-greasy. I tend to still like to, I like to put my hand cream and nail oil on at night because I really like to give that time for it to soak in. Because otherwise I will um, get up, wash my hands, have to put hand gel on and I've thought I've just done my cuticle oil. So uh, that's why I like to do it in the night uh, uh, at night at the moment is just to have it by my bed, a little routine where again I'm just taking that 10 minutes where I'm not scrolling through my phone to just rub your hand cream in. It's designed with sewers in mind. Uh, so it has got lots of brilliant ingredients. You can see the full list of ingredients. Just so you know, I am going to highlight one. It's got the macadamia nut oil. So if you do have a nut uh, allergy, just that you're aware that it has got nut oil in. Um, but it's designed to help moisturise. It's designed to help hydrate and protect, to nourish and restore, to strengthen your nails, to smooth and soothe, to even skin tone. And it's the Amber Cocoon beautiful uh, scent on this one, which is gorgeous. 
£13.99. Now, if you want to get this for a gift to somebody, there are now gift sets. Um, it comes in a really lovely cosmetics bag. This is your hand care gift set. So inside, you've got antibacterial hand gel. Absolutely beautiful. It's my favourite hand gel that I've, and I've tried loads of different hand gels, as we all have. But this one, it doesn't smell like Sambuca or any other strong alcoholic drink. It's really, really lovely. I must say, since I've been pregnant, my sense of smell has heightened dramatically and everything, I'm like, oh, that smells so strong. Whereas this is the most beautiful, beautiful smell. You've also got in here the hand cream, which everybody will love. If you're give, gifting this to somebody, they will love it. You've also got a nail file and sewers. Even if the person that you don't want, even if someone you're sending this to doesn't sew, keep the quilting gloves yourself. You've got quilting gloves in there. So they're the ones with the, uh, the, the rubber dots on the end of the fingers for quilting. They're lovely. And even little um, detail, like it will come all wrapped in tissue paper and it's, got, it's branded seams, tissue paper. It comes in a lovely cosmetics bag. It's a luxury gift for £29.99, isn't it? Especially when you get full size things. These aren't samples of the hand gel and samples of the hand cream. You do get full size, which is fantastic. Um, it is something that would be a really lovely gift for someone and, and head them to our YouTube channel where you can watch Karen, who is the inventor of Seams, talking about all of the different properties and why she invented it. Oh, honestly, hand creams that are high end like this, that have the, the amount of ingredients that this does, you would normally see in, you know, John Lewis, Selfridges, your Neil's Yard, your, your Lossitane, your Joe Malone, your White Company, and you pay a lot of money. You can pay this alone just for your hand cream. Uh, the hand gel, by the way, we have got a little set that has got the hand gel. I love, love, love this hand gel. It's the one that we use every day. It's the one that we've all got. We've all got our own here. Um, so it comes in a lovely little drawstring bag, which is ideal for a gift. Nice little gift through the post box for somebody. Maybe you know someone who is a key worker, who is, you know, out and about working at the moment and needs, it's a nice little pocket size one. I've got one in my coat pocket, I've got one in the car, I've got one in my handbag. Really, really useful to have. I've got one by my front door. Soon as you, as soon as I come in, or as soon as Kieran comes in, I'm like, right, we answer back your hands. Don't go and wash your hands. And but this, what I love, has got that same soft amber cocoon scent. It's really lovely. Plus, you've also got your nail file, and you've got a face covering as well. You get your Seams official face covering in there as well, which is in black. All of that for nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. How good is that? You just get the one, that's mine. <laughs> you get yours, I've got mine. Plus you get your nail file and it comes in a nice little carry case. It's the first time I've seen that. That's a really good little set, isn't it? I'm gonna get a few of those. They're lovely gifts for people. £9.99, so. Kat says she's gonna run the graphics through for anything that we didn't get a chance to show you, but have a look through and see what's available. Kerry's here. She's up next. She's back with amazing kits. So do not go anywhere. We're going to be talking about the Natasha Craft Clutch, the Yasmin Cosmetics bag. Uh, we've got patterns. We've got brand new colorways in the kits as well. And most importantly, we've got gorgeous Kerry back. So do not go anywhere. She's coming up with me right after this. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? 
You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com 
and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Can you hear me now? You can hear me now. I'm so, so sorry. Um, sorry about the slightly longer break. We just wanted to make sure that Kerry was all set up. We've got so much going on. We'll make sure that Kerry has the full hour though, so don't worry. We're gonna revisit some of the most, <laughs> just trash in the face. Yeah. Kerry's back, everyone. Can you hear her? Um, we're gonna revisit some of the most popular kits. Uh, so we've got the Natasha Clutch, which is amazing. And we've also got the Yasmin this hour. Plus, we've got some new colourways in Hanging Hearts as well. So, <laughs> no, I'm just laughing that Iron is doing some right strange noises at us today. Can you hear it? Right, we're going to start with the Natasha Craft Clutch. And we've got some new colourways, which we absolutely love this clutch bag. I mean, there's so many different ways of using it, whether it be to keep all your marking tools, your creative grid ruler, the I Love My Quilting Friends ruler, uh, whether you're keeping it with you, so like glue pen, all your bits and bobs to go. But also, it's a nice little clutch bag to have your lippy in, to have your, your hand sanitizer, your mask, things like that. It's a lovely size to just nip to the shops. So, are you ready? I've missed doing this so, so much. Kerry um, sends out all of her kits so beautifully packaged that if you are gifting to somebody who loves to sew, this is a great gift for somebody. Or whether you just want that little bit of luxury when you get yours home, they're always wrapped up in the blue tissue paper uh, with the little sticker and packaged so beautifully from Kerry. I've got a little bag of goodies in this one as well. So you're getting your beautiful, beautiful fabrics, uh, which are all cut ready to go. You're also getting your lovely soft wadding. You have your instructions and your templates, which are very, very clear, very thorough. I know that Kerry always has so many messages come through uh, from all of her, uh, well, there's people who sort of collect all of the all of the kit um, as they are so clear and so thorough. And for anybody who is new to uh, living with loveliness or new to sewing, can't recommend these enough. Also, you've got your little bag of treats. Let's see, so in here you also have your zips, everything that you need, plus your clasps, your magnetic fastenings as well. So all of that is included for $24.99. Just so you know, there's loads gone into baskets. And that is to make it up just like this. Now, we have never seen it in these colourways. These colourways are brand new to us today. Kerry's already got loads of messages coming through. Honestly, we've missed her so much. I'm so thrilled to be back with her. We've also got a second colourway, which we've got of the, the same kit, the Natasha Clutch. And in here, let's have a look. Pardon, Riley Blake. Nice, are you ready? So, in here, oh no, what am I doing? It's so luxurious, you just want to treat it with so much love and care. Oh, it is. I absolutely adore Riley Blake. This to me is Kerry all over. I can see her in a dress of this. I love that mint green and the pink together. And you can't see on telly, but in the background, there's a metallic pink spot. That is such beautiful fabric. Honestly, Kerry spends so much time sourcing the perfect prints for you. Can you see? You've got the gold metallic and you've got the pink metallic as well, which is lovely. Uh, and this one again, it's got 
the metallic pink cross coming through. Um, plus you're getting your wadding and you're getting your templates, you're getting your instructions, uh, everything that you need to know. Remember to jot down today's date so you can watch back. We're going to be doing a little bit of a demonstration on this one today. Uh, and then inside here you have your zips and you're getting your magnetic fastenings. Now I love the fact that Kerry again, matching, matching the zips. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Plus you're getting your magnetic clasps as well. Just $24.99. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Loads of messages coming in for Kerry. We'll read them out through the show. Um, but it's so good to have oh, you no, back. Be back with How you. are you? I'm very well. You look you look like you're blooming now. You look oh, fabulous. Thank you. Elliot thank said, you. Do I feel um broody? broody. Now. I had to think what the word was. <laughs> I said, Do I feel broody? I was like, oh no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll admire from afar. Yeah. <laughs> So who's Natasha? Natasha's my, um, my eldest niece. So all of my patterns, in fact, I'm finding there as I'm working through the patterns, we're, we're running out of children in the family. So we're- There you uh, go. Well, the, to know the patterns from, but the, Natasha was one of the first patterns that I created and it was for my oldest niece. Uh, and, and you know, she's, um, she's off at university at the moment, but it was designed really. I mean, it, it's the perfect size to fit your scissors, your rotary cutter in there, your stationery. And I think, as I've mentioned before, it's the perfect accessory when we can go to the yeah. beach to keep your sunglasses in. And I know you always say you feel like it's a little clutch to go out. I'm, I'm always stuck in the house with, <laughs> whether we're in lockdown or not, but stuck <laughs> at home sewing. So for me, everything's sort of designed around keeping your sewing accessories in there. I think it's really versatile, really, isn't yeah. it? There's it's it's one of our most people. popular kits and it looks fabulous in all of the fabrics That's that it's it. made in. Oh, this fabric, Kerry, the it's new fabric, lovely, Callaway, I love them both. They're both beautiful, but this Riley Blake is gorgeous. Well, very often when I finish the shows, I gift the collections, but my little honey's put a name on this one. Oh. She loves this fabric. So, um, so yeah, these are particularly beautiful. And of course, I love any fabrics that have got metallics in and that that slight metallic in this Riley Blake is just stunning. The Riley Blake is the most popular at the moment. We also do have the pattern on its own today. So please, please, please make the most of it. If those of you that we've all got a bit of a fabric stash, haven't we? If you think, right, I've got the perfect fabric in mind. We were talking about some of the uh, fabrics that we had in the first uh, in the first hour, the Liberties. Um, we had some beautiful the summer solstice and we kept saying these would be great for Kerry's kits these would be brilliant for Kerry's kits have a look back on the website and see the bundles that we had how much fabric do we need then for so this, for Kerry? this particular pattern everything's listed on the back but you need um it's 10 inches wide mm -hmm. uh, fin uh to when you cut in your pattern so half a meter of each you probably have to go for a half meter of fabric you would get it out of a fat quarter as Brilliant. well um if you piece those fabrics in fact you wouldn't because on one of these you need 34 inches so um for your first fabric you need 29 by 10 your second 34 by 10 and then you need your batting as well and you it's could, all listed I mean, on the back absolutely and some people have messaged to say they've used a, a heavyweight interfacing to make this so the clutch is thinner but yeah. it still gives it a nice stability. I really like adding bat into a product because yeah. I think it really gives it that plush feeling. Oh, well, you've included in the That's kit. That's all included in your kit. The lovely, and it's really super mm, soft, Really isn't it? soft, yeah. And they wash lovely as well. I mean, we, we tend to have one of these for, for everything we do, really. So they wash beautiful as well. So I really like adding bat in because you keep the structure of the the clutch in there as well and the feedback from customers was they really liked the spotty bags and they felt like it was like getting a little, little bag sweets. of sweets so we thought this time we'll include those in the kits as well and it keeps obviously all your accessories and reduces the amount of plastic that we're using in the kits as well oh in fact we've had i must say by the way we've had so many messages for you i'm just going to read you a couple because we've got hang on where does it start it was going on and on we've got kira watching saying good morning we've got susan saying good morning we've got chrissy saying woohoo so excited hello kerry and vix <laughs> jean said good morning kerry shirley said good morning kerry kim said i love being on half term because i can watch kerry and sewing street live Susie, loveliness to see you, Kerry. Susie's been messaging me on the way in saying oh, that she? <laughs> she's cutting up her lovely Liberty fabrics oh. and sewing today whilst oh. watching us. So that was Brilliant. lovely to receive today. Chrissy says, Kerry's kits are amazing. I love them. Shirley says, I've done the Maya wall hanging storage. The fabrics are gorgeous and they're made up so lovely. 
I've got that coming up in the next hour. We've got Leslie saying, good morning, Kerry with Ladybirds. And Vicky, gorgeous fabrics. Um, Anne said, good morning, Vicky and Kerry, gorgeous kit. Susan said, hi, Kerry. Um, Kerry says, hey, mum, you're amazing. <laughs> Love, honey, Alex and oh, Chase. Yeah. They're watching. Oh, there's so many people who are messaging for you. I can't keep up with them, but um, thank you all oh, for it's your nice to see. like that. That's my mine that's my kid oh. she's watching <laughs> lesser so um let's have a look let's yeah look go for kit. it so this is it's a nice project to make nice easy project we've got some simple steps i have already gone ahead and created the zip, one of the zippers because you've got two of those in this particular collection what's really nice as well is this pattern's um been on here a few times and we get lots of messages how people have taken parts from the kits mm -hmm. and incorporated those into their handbags so they've got some little tote bags so just using this section here they can add extra packaging uh, extra pockets into their um, projects now all of the kits um, will have the letters on there that I refer to throughout the patterns what I would recommend so in the welcome letter is I always say write on there just so you've got your letters or of course you can just keep your templates with each of those pieces just simply by clipping or pinning those together so you keep everything um, keep everything together I think when we start having little tiny pieces of fabric it's easy to, to drop one yeah. or so just keeping those together and I always tend to use, um, I tend not to use fusible um, batting, so I will always use just a little bit of 505 just to secure those fabrics and stop the movement on there. So the first thing to do really is to decide. You're going to receive in this kit the same amount of fabrics for both your interior and exterior. I tend to always, with the projects, choose my favorite um, for the exterior part of the bag. And of course, it's that beautiful green. And then this is a nice, a nice was, fabric to look at on well, the inside of the kit. Yeah, well, you can well. have it which way you want, can't you? They're really way. nice on the outside as well. They're both gorgeous. Absolutely, they are. I love the metallics in this particular collection <laughs> from um, from Riley. Blake. I've never seen these fabrics before. You do find all of the good ones, don't oh, you? I do. I do love looking at them. Actually, well, when I watch the show and I'll see, especially when the Liberty and Riley Blakes come on, I'll be straight on to find out where we can get them. You yeah. know, this morning you've got all those lovely collections like. We could make some nice kits yeah. with those. <laughs> so to create this pocket, we've already made one up here. Decide which is going to be the your feature fabric, if you like. And again, just spray a little 505 directly to the batting. And then just place the fabrics on top so you can see the right side of that fabric. And that will just secure these together and hold those in place. You can trim away any of your extra batting should you need to as well. So we'll get that little zipper ready. So I'm loving mint at the moment. Mm. Mints and corals Those are really drawn are beautiful. to mints and corals. Now we know the iron's on because it's been letting us know. That is hilarious. It wouldn't, it wouldn't <laughs> stop bleeping at us. like it's having a little conversation with me here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just simply going to have, these are for your little zip tabs. So with the wrong side of the fabric facing up towards you, we're just going to press the centre. Sorry about our dirty ironing board, by the way. <laughs> it looks like mine. It's well, a well used. It's a well-loved one. If everything's pristine, we know they're not being used, aren't they? I need to replace mine, actually. And then the next thing that we're going to do is to just bring the raw edge into the centre fold on both sides there. We can do this all at once, actually. So bring your two raw edges in and fold this over just to create the end of the tab. I love this iron. It's very noisy I, as well. I don't know why it's been so noisy. <laughs> I don't know whether it's telling us that it needs more water or something. Our cat's coming to fill it up with some more water. Is that what it is? It looks like it's got plenty in there. Okay. So you will need your zipper foot in a moment just to attach that. Um, to attach the zip to these sections but first of all what we're going to do just using a couple of quilting clips you can pin this if you want to but I do find the clips are much easier to work with. Do you find people who are starting out sewing are scared of inserting zips Kerry? Yeah, yeah absolutely um, I mean I've been running classes for a long time and you know what I try and do in those first few classes is encourage people to insert a zip because they, they seem, it seems to be yeah. something that people put off for a long time. Yeah. Well, there's a few techniques that I'm going to show you. It's just a straight line. It's just where you pop in your pin. Um, and we'll go through that in just a moment. I'm just going to trim the end of that zip because we want the folded edge here 
to just rest on the metal part. I, I teach children as well. I mean, obviously, I've not been doing that for oh, nearly a year now, which is really sad. Um, but they jump straight in. Soon. They have no fear of yeah. anything. They're, they want to do everything, and they want to do it all yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just nipping those onto the side. Now, I always tend to... Um, cut the tabs a little bit longer to allow us to sew onto here and sometimes you'll find that the edge of the fabric's not quite straight so when we do come across that zip section we'll have that nice finish on your straight line and you there. can sew completely over the zip yes because they're oh, plastic yeah, absolutely. they're not um, metal yeah you can sew straight over this one so we're just popping those tabs on once it's resting under the sewing machine we're simply just going to sew to secure those tabs into place And again on the second side as well. I do love those spearmint zips. I think they're going to look such a lovely gorgeous. colour, isn't it? Yeah. I'm really drawn to the lovely bright colours, but I do love mint. Mint's one of my favourite colours. Oh well, I think for spring, it's not. It feels like we're starting to get a bit more. It's lovely. Springy. The daffodils are out, which oh. is wonderful. So once we've done that, you can see that these are a little too long. We're just simply going to align the scissors at the side of the zip and just trim that extra off. And it really is only about an eighth of an inch there. About a quarter of an inch, actually, just looking at that. And that just gives us a nice finish on those zip tabs. Then the next thing we're going to do, and you can use your sew line glue pen or you can use your quilter's tape. You could, of course, pin this section if you wanted to, but you will find either using the tape or the glue pen, which is what I'm always drawn to using, just secures that zip into place and you haven't got to worry about removing the zip. So if it's the first time you're tackling a zip, go for you. Yeah. Go the for so whatever makes pens. it easy. Oh, they're so useful for so many projects as well. I find, um, I, find I use them for everything now. They're always, um, they come into stock and they disappear. They, yeah. they literally come in one day and then we've had the prim one arrive. I think that's sold out now. Yeah, they're, they're really useful for lots of things, but yeah. I particularly like using those. I have popped a little bit too much on there. <laughs> so with the right side of the, that exterior fabric facing us and just make sure you've got your zipper tab centered so you haven't got to worry about opening and fiddling with that in just a moment. We're simply going to center that onto the tab. You'll notice you've got a quarter inch either side and just run your finger across. Um. I don't know whether you know the iron tells you if it's just been left on for so it's, long. It's I think really that's what it's telling you, which is a good that. safety feature. If it's you're not using it, it's just not the best when you're on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I need because I get very distracted easily. Yeah. So I've just attached that, making sure that it's along that raw edge there. And again, I'm just going to run another line of glue along the top of the zip and then using the interior, so whichever fabric you've chosen um, for the interior side of your fabric, we're just going to pop that on the top and you should be able to see the wrong side of this. Now, even if this is going in the centre of the bag, it's always quite nice for it to look as pretty, I think, as the exterior. Oh, definitely. That's attention to detail. I love the fact that the, it's got lots of different compartments as well. So you've got the different uh, zips, so if you do want to keep your marking tools in one, your little quilting rulers, there's low, it, there is, um, it's, really it's very versatile. Now, as I mentioned, just when people are coming to do those zips, if you think about this as just putting your, you know, you just sew in a straight line, if you just pop your fingers on top ahead of that zipper there, just two finger spaces ahead of your zipper, and just slide a pin in, that will remind you when you reach this point that you need to stop and close mm -hmm. your zip. So if we just change the zip over to a zipper foot, which again, don't be afraid to do because it's so quick to be able to change your foot. I think this is why a lot of people get scared of doing zip is Absolutely. Is thinking they have to change their foot. So you're just pressing the little, you'll have a little lever on the back. Yeah. And as you press this, this releases which foot's on there. And when you line up that bar beneath that re um, lever there, and as you drop it down, it collects the foot yeah, for you. Yeah, so no screwdriver or anything like that. You don't need to worry about doing all that. Nice and easy. So we're just resting this now onto the fabric, just making sure that the side of the foot there is along the raw edge of that project. And we're simply just sewing along just a straight line. When we arrive at that pin, we're still simply going to leave the needle inserted, remove that pin, raise your presser foot, and then just feel through the fabrics as you close that zip now, that zip is out of the way, so you haven't got to worry about that zip at all now as we sew to the end of that pocket. 
Uh, Sally's just said, great, took a, took, uh, she's jotted down the reminder to open the zip. Open the zip, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're going around it. And it really doesn't matter when you're doing the lining section here. Yeah. But actually, when you open this up now, if you're trying to go around there, you'll end up with a, you know, you'll end up moving that from your straight line. So just leave yourself a little bit of space. Again, when we get back to this section, we're going to repeat that. So again, opening up that zip and just running your iron across the fabric. I have to say, I really like this iron. It might be a noisy one, but I do like the handle on it. No, here. it is a nice handy size, isn't it? Absolutely. So we're just pressing that. Always check the back, because it's very easy to leave the fabric there and not realise. And then when you come to open your zip, it's in the way. So just press those fabrics, check your zip works, and it's not coming into contact with your fabric. And then if you just slide some pins through that fabric from the edge, just leaving them overhanging here, Again, you haven't got to worry about removing those pins as you're sewing. And of course, this time you can see exactly where your zip is, so you don't need to leave that pin. So I'm just going to move the zipper over to the right side and then rest this on. And this time, we can see the side of the foot. And I tend to rest this on the fold of the fabric there, so I know that I'm getting that nice straight line. And just so it travels across the fabric nice and fast, I'm increasing the stitch length to number five on here. Just so you know, Riley Blake, very, 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 very popular. If everybody checks out, then I think the Riley Blake could have gone. We've got 15 chances left on Riley Blake, and there's more of you that have got it in your basket. Also, be aware the pattern on its own is extremely popular. Don't let the Liberty pass you by, because I love this Liberty. Um, you can see Kerry's already made up the, the Liberty before, which, uh, which just looks absolutely amazing. You've got Liberty not only on the, the outer, but also your lining is Liberty. And you can choose which way you want them with the yellow zips. They're absolutely gorgeous. So don't let that one pass you by. Also, we've made the Natasha clutch bag in a wool before, haven't yes. we? It's, oh, it's, it's really versatile to try it in yeah. different... Actually, um, somebody who bought the wool for me said she'd change the, because it had the bird fabric in there, um, and it had a heavyweight bird fabric, she changed it to a blue gingham and she yeah. gave it to her husband because she oh. said the wool was really quite nice. I hadn't thought about that when yeah. I put those fabrics together, but actually that's a really nice idea. So to pop the other side on, what we're going to do now, now the thing that tends, I tend to find when people ask about the zips is they can do the first side, mm -hmm. but they're not quite sure how to reverse what they've just done to repeat that step. So the best thing here is to lie it out as you would expect to see that panel. So if you have a look, and this pattern will be in your booklet anyway, make sure your zipper's facing up towards you and just pop that second panel along the raw edge of your zip. Again, we're going to add that glue. I would, I'm not doing this at the moment, but just put a bit of scrap paper under there to stop the transfer onto your mats. Um, and then we're going to fold this across and align that raw edge of the zipper with the raw edge of the fabric. And you can see that it's centered because you've got your other panel here on top. What's great about the sew line glue pen as well is if it hasn't taken or if it's out of, out of alignment, you can just release. Oh, it's really positional, yeah. yeah. Just a temporary glue pen, isn't it? Yeah. But it's different to using, and I, I speak from experience. I did try and stick. do a print stick, because I thought, <laughs> I've got one in the cupboard, I could just use a print stick, and it's different. And it this is. doesn't work for school work, so no. I've given this to Chase to stick his school work as oh. well. <laughs> so it, it is temporary, so if you want your art pieces to stay together, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this for your artwork. How's the homeschooling going? Well, do you know, it's really funny. I hadn't actually realised it was half term. So I sort of was seeing everybody post on Facebook last week, roll on half term. I was like, hang on a minute. Did I miss the memo that we've... It's like, yeah, I've got a chance to catch up now. Oh. So the next thing we're going to do, again, with that fabric pattern facing towards you, and naturally as you fold that across, you're going to pop it into place and just run your hands, just run your fingers across to secure it. And you've got quite a few layers here, so again, I'd recommend just using a pin. I always tend to go for the darkest pin head that you've got as well, so you, you know, Don't that really catches your eye as you're sewing along. So two fingers ahead, pop your pin into place. We can move the foot across again, and then we're just sewing that section together. Don't worry, I know that we are, came into the hour late, so we'll make sure that Kerry gets the full hour. We will... You're here till the end with us anyway, I was anyway, raring to go you? today. I was like, what's, hap what's happening? Have they forgotten about me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here till the end today. I know we've got a lovely day planned. 
and I haven't got to worry about going home to catch up on the schoolwork uh, either. Yeah, there you go. The timing's perfect. We had a message from Margaret come through. Hi, Margaret. Good morning. Please advise, does Kerry have a website or a Facebook page? Yes. Loving this demo. Tell everyone how we can find you online. So um, we are Living in Loveliness. You can find us on Facebook and you can find our website, which is livinginloveliness.com. Amazing. And you do, I mean, you're very active on uh, We're very media. active. We're very active on social media. We have lots of lives. Um, and we've just, we've just launched a new charity sewing project people can get involved oh, with as well. So again, just bringing those fabrics out, just giving those a little press, making sure that that's completely out of the way of the zip. I always recommend just checking that zip every time because there's nothing more frustrating than sewing it into place, being happy with your straight line mm -hmm. and then realising that you're, you've got a little bit of fabric in the way. So again, just pushing those pins through and top stitching along the, along the side of the zip there. What thread colour do you use? Because I'm just spotted on the Liberty. You've used a yellow, used which yellow. looks amazing. So I suppose it's up to you how confident you are with your top stitching. I, uh, to be honest, I seem to be sewing everything in yellow at the moment. Every time I do a demo, I realise I've got yellow on my, um, on my sewing machine. But I do try to pick out the colours from the fabrics. And I think for this particular collection here from Riley Blake, it would be wonderful with uh, metallic fabrics oh, to yeah. bring out the metallics in the fabrics. But I do try and use a thread that complements the fabrics and one that stands out really. Mm -hmm. Sue lives in Coven. Coven is a village near you? Very close to where Hi, we live. I carry from Sue in Coven. Do you know Sue? I believe I do. Yes. Through, through, through Facebook, I would imagine. Yeah. There we go. So I've just sewn those two panels together, just taking off that extra little bit there that we've got of the batting left over. Mm -hmm. And I really love getting the most from the fabrics and also adding binding to projects. So I've simply then, just to really bring those two raw edges together um, and also to use the most of the fabric and showcase that fabric that's going to be on the interior. So what we're going to do now is to just place the three fabrics wrong side facing, wrong side facing me. And then we're folding these and just giving those a press just to create a strip of binding here. Laurie says, lovely to have Kerry back with her lovely kit. Always love her choice of colours and patterns. Great demo as well. Oh, I know, Laurie. <laughs> it's lovely to hear all your messages today. Loads of messages. Oh, we always have loads of messages. There's so many coming through to the studio as well. All your fan mail. <laughs> I'm glad my daughter's watching there. So you'll know I've got fans. <laughs> She's definitely my biggest fan, she tells me all the time. Aww. She's very excited that they haven't got to do schoolwork today so she can watch, bless her. Oh, good. So with these panels now, we're simply going to align those raw edges from your binding. You've got two on one of the pockets. Let me just bring that in so you can see. And you've got one on one of the pockets because this end pocket here will sew into your raw edge. So again, just clipping those or pinning those into place. And then we're going to sew using a quarter inch to secure that binding into place. Just double check through your layers that all your raw edges are marrying up underneath as well. Don't worry if they're not because this will be on the inside. The clips, by the way, we have got on the website, the general purpose the sewing clips, they're really handy when you're working with multiple layers. Absolutely. And I find them just really quick. You don't end up yeah. leaving pins in your projects. And the other thing as well I find is the more confident you are on the machine as well, you tend to find that you pick up speed with your sewing. So they just, they move from your fabric quicker than when you've got your pins in there yeah. as well. And if you're worried about sewing around over pins or you've done that and you've got that fear of sewing over pins, I know that I've encountered that quite a lot of the classes. You can't sew over these because your, your foot will butt up against yeah. them anyway to remind you to move them. You've even matched your, your clips in with the colours of your kit. You've got pink and green ones on there. <laughs> the Very sneaky cool. red one is snuck in there. Very coordinated. <laughs> Riley Blake is rapidly selling. In fact, it is about to sell out. Can I just very quickly, whilst Kerry is stitching that, let me show you. In the kits, which are about to sell out, you get your fabrics, two Riley Blake beautiful quality fabrics, um, the floral print, and you're getting the check with the metallic. Plus, you're getting your batting, your wadding, and you're getting 
your templates, your instructions, all of your booklet with your welcome letter, templates. It's so thorough, so much detail and so much thought. Plus your little sweetie bag, sweetie sweeties with your zips and you get your metallic clasps as well. A metallic, your magnetic is the word I was after. Don't forget the Emporium range, the Liberty Emporium range, brand new in today as well. They're both brand new today. The beautiful, bright floral colours with your lovely yellow zips as well uh, and your magnetic clasps for $24.99, all included with the instructions. Dot down today's date as well to be able to watch, uh, watch back. Jean's managed to get the Riley Blake kit. Well done, Jean. <laughs> I think you might be one of the last people. I think they're about to all sell out. Right, back to you, Kerry. Where were you, sorry? Now, when we've done this pattern previously, I had um, some messages from people who've had a go at this pattern and found that, and, and they've said they've found this next step tricky, holding the, securing the um, binding into place when they attach it to the panel. So I've got a little project here to show you how to make this, make this even easier for you if you find that bit a little bit tricky there, if you've perhaps made this before or you think it will be useful to you. So the first thing, I've sewn all of these fabrics to the raw edges. I'm simply just going to push and press along that edge there. Mm -hmm. Fold this over to the back and naturally you'll see that this folded edge sits just below the stitch led, stitched edge anyway. Well, that was a tongue twister then, I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> and then just using your quilter's tape. Now, is this double-sided? This is double-sided yeah. quilter's tape, and this washes away as well. So when you, you know, when you wash this to freshen up, this tape's not going to stay on there. So if you feel like this little step will be tricky, then this is one of my new favourite things to work with. It just yeah, secures it into place. Yeah, I think I've seen place. you using this I've before. I've never used this before, but I do seem to be using it for lots of things at the moment. So I thought I'd show you um, this today. So we're just popping a little bit of washi tape along that folded edge, releasing the paper from the back and folding this over. And this will just secure this into place so you haven't got to worry about fiddling around with it to secure it onto the panel. Now, I don't mention that in the pattern. So um, top tip. But it, it certainly does help. And it also allows you to make sure that you're distributing that binding equally on the top and the bottom of your project as well. So the next thing that we've got is you've got your batting. I have already popped a little bit of 505 to secure this panel. And this is the fabric that I've chosen for the interior part of the clutch. So we're placing that just on top right side of the fabric facing towards you. And then the pocket that's only got one piece of binding, I'm aligning that raw edge here. And again, if you wanted to use that tape on, in fact, we'll do that today just to show you. Chrissy says that's a great tip using the, uh, the quilter's tape. Well, normally I would pin this into place, but again, certainly if you're newer to sewing, um, because you'd have to put your pins in at an angle, it just secures it into place, sticks it in place, and you haven't got to worry about pinning this particular section. So I'm just running that across the folded edge there on both sides. And I have tried to see if this tape tears, it doesn't. <laughs> so, um, but you say it washes away. So washes it, away, yeah. yeah. So this won't stay in your project once you've given it a little wash. It's just so useful. Now, if you want the zips to open in alternate ways, of course you can do that, but I want my zips to open on the same side, so just double check that there. And you can see just by pressing that on top, that secured those into place. You could, of course, pin those, which is what I'll show you how to do in the pattern. Now, you know I love a zigzag stitch. You could use any decorative stitch, but I oh, do find... Oh, nice. I like a zigzag. I like a zigzag. Um, I do find that the zigzag is perfect for this project because we're going to zigzag across those two folded edges there and it will secure them into place and really, you know, give it a nice decorative stitch on there as well. This is exactly where, I mean, I've got a cream on the machine at the moment, but if you've got that metallic fabric uh, thread on there or even a mint thread, you could really make Ooh, a focal nice. point of this project. You all right without your walking foot, Kerry? Yeah. It's going through yeah. fine. And we've and you're got going through here, quite a lot of layers here. We've got, um, how many have we got? Three, four, five layers here. Ooh. In fact, more than that, because we've got the folded edge of the binding as well. Gosh. Yeah, managing well, isn't it? What machine's that? Is that the 560? It is. 570. 570. I feel like I've been promoted. I normally have the 560. There you go. <laughs> we don't have any. They've all gone. All of the five. All, I think the whole of that sort of series is gone at the moment. We're waiting for them to come back in. 
You didn't see the Duke yesterday, did you? No. Mm. A Tuesday, Tuesday it was, wasn't it? Oh my word. Do you need a new machine? Gosh, it's, it is so good. And it's our, it's our anniversary tomorrow, so hopefully Craig's Craig. taking notes. <laughs> I'll How is it? How I'll many years have you been together? 21 tomorrow. Oh my word! That is, that, that is a <laughs> you look shocked then, Vicky. You didn't expect me to say that, did that you? That is an achievement. <laughs> 21 years. We, we met on the 19th of February and we married on the 19th of February. Oh. So we've been married 16 years tomorrow. Oh. And we'll be cutting fabric and playing with fabric to celebrate. <laughs> Packing lots of kits. There, together, that's exactly there what go. the plan is. No, we're going to take some time out with it being half term. So you've got your two zips secured into place now. And of course, when you look on the inside, you can see those fabulous fabrics just resting on the inside of there. Brilliant. For anybody who, uh, you know, was struggling with that part of it, then that's completely demystified, doesn't it? And all there is left to complete this is to add your magnetic clasp. Um, and pop you back on. Now in the pattern, I'll just mention, because I know we've got other collections to look at. When you come to sew this, the template, you'll notice you've got your, your square edge here, if you like. You can add a curve to this if you want to, or you can keep it like this. Now in the templates, I show you how to use a bowl just to create that curve. But what, to be honest, what I would recommend is folding this in half, if you're confident with your scissors, it, and just put in a nice little curve on the top of there and through all of those layers. So when you're sewing them together, they're all marrying up. Like you say, it's all in the pattern. Anyway, all in the pattern. It? Everything's all in the steps, yeah. And then you could just give, I, I prefer the curve if I'm honest, but you could leave it without the curve yeah, if you want to. So it looks nice either way. Amazing. Both kits. Very, very popular indeed. Liberty and Riley Blake. I've had a message from, is it our Claire? Hi ladies, great show, loving the, oh that was Carol. Uh, hi ladies, great show, loving the demonstrations. The Natasha Clutch, uh, do you do the pattern as a PDF, as a live in Spain? That's from Carol. At the moment, no. No, no, no. we haven't got the pattern for the Natasha Clutch as a PDF. Thank you for your message though, it's worth asking. Um, and then we've also had a message from Claire saying, hi Kerry and Vicky. Both looking gorgeous today. Your tutorials are amazing, Carrie. You explain things so well. This is Claire native lighting. I'm so excited because Claire's going to start sewing. Is she? So we sent off some fabrics and she's going to take up sewing. Oh, good. Absolutely. I'm very excited about Claire's sewing journey. Oh. She's only been watching for a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have to come on as a demonstrator now as well, Claire, as well as showing your lights, you'll have to come on and sew as well. Uh, right, so we've got the Yasmin. Um, again, two new kits. Are you ready? We've seen this pattern before, but we've never seen these colourways. And straight away, Liberty. Spotted the Liberty. Um, I'm going to go for it and see which one it is. Let's go for it. Is this one going to be Liberty? That's the other Liberty. It is Liberty, but it's the other one. Let me have a look and see which one. Do you have an item code, Kat? Got it. Right, so the one that Kerry's made up, this one, again, comes so beautifully wrapped, beautifully presented with your instructions, your welcome letter, your pattern, very clear images, photographs and text. You get your lovely zip, which matches in, it all ties in so perfectly, and then indulge in all of this gorgeous Liberty fabric. So you have your Liberties. Oh, I love this collection. Isn't it just beautiful? Plus, you're getting, I think when we launched the Emporium range, it was the blues that yes. were the most popular. Yeah. Absolutely love them. I think it was called the Discovery Range. Susie will tell me if I'm, uh, I'm getting it right, but it was it was so so popular indeed. Plus, you're also getting your wadding, and this one you're not going to be able to see on screen. It's not white. It's got stars. That is attention to detail, oh, Kerry. Um, it's actually got little ditzy stars as well on there. It's your white on white with stars on there. Plus, you're getting your really lovely soft cotton batting. Um, and you're getting your instructions. Sorry, it wasn't your eyes then that you need to wear. It was just Joe going out of focus. Um, <laughs> all for 15.99. He said he's broken. 
Okay, just so you know, if it was like anything like the last one, I've got a feeling this is going to sell out very, very quickly. So that one is your Yasmin cosmetic bag and it makes up this. Sorry, Joe is just getting sweets. <laughs> 15.99. Look, you've got a little uh, pocket on the front here, uh, and a pocket on uh, and a pocket on the back. Whether it's going to be a toiletry bag, another crafting bag, your lining has got the stars. It's absolutely lovely, and it's so plush because of the wadding. It's so so plush and soft, gorgeous. So, should we do another liberty? Why not? Why not? Why not? So. Right, the only problem is, is they've already been selling very, very quickly on pre-order. So if you have already got it in your basket, be aware, this is going to be really popular. And I love the fact that we've got for more, gone for more of a monochrome. It's still got the pink. We don't see it very often with Kerry. Um, but you've got more of your sort of monochrome here. It's still got the lovely splashes of pink. It's still Liberty. Um, Emporium range again, this is the Tudor colourway uh, and once again you've got that lovely star print white on white, you've got your three Liberty fabrics, you've got your wadding, you've got your zip, your pattern, your templates, everything that you need. Honestly, please have a look on Liberty's website and have a look at how much you can pay for a Liberty cosmetic bag. You can make your own Living in Loveliness cosmetic bag with Liberty fabrics. For $15.99. It's just amazing. Amazing value. Oh no, right, we're going to need more of these. Just so you know, there's way more of you that have got it in your basket than we have availability. So it is going to sell out very quickly. Uh, OMG, Kerry, my favourite Liberty fabric at the moment. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? It's very Thank different you for seeing. me as well, isn't it? It is very different for you. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. I love that. Um, now, we've got one other colourway for your Yasmeen cosmetic bag, which is da -da -da -da, Riley Blake. This time, you are getting... Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. see, that is so pretty, isn't it? And the Mint pink greens. has little birds. The pink? The pink. Oh, yes! Look at the little birds. You might need to come closer, Joe, to see this. It's got like butterflies, it's got flowers. Look at the little birds. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Um, just so you know, I think the photograph on the, uh, the web isn't right. We'll get it changed after the show, but um, this is what you're getting. This is the one that you're getting. It's just a different image on the website. You've got your stars. Uh, you've also got your, your batting. You've got your zip. And this goes so perfectly. Again, beautiful. Really fresh springtime colours. Plus, you're getting your pattern and instructions. Your cosmetic bag is just $15.99. Such good value. Now, if you do want to give one of Kerry's patterns a go and you've got lots of fabric at home already, you've got a fabric in mind maybe, um, then why not get the pattern on its own? Today it is available on its own. It comes with, again, your welcome letter, your templates, anything that you need, plus step-by-step -step instructions, £9.99. pence. Just to give you a bit of an idea of how you can do it, I mean, there's, there's so many beautiful fabrics on the website. Um, whether you're choosing a different Liberty print. I know, Shirley. Kerry, you are spoiling us, Shirley's <laughs> just said. Uh, Kim's just said, such beautiful fabrics. I always love the Riley Blake. Isn't that gorgeous? It really is. But if you have got fabric at home already, grab the pattern. It's a good chance to try it out. Black Liberty is completely sold out. It's nice to see something a bit different, different isn't it? Isn't Very it? different. Know. I'm loving the Emporium range, though, and I particularly love this print, so I wanted to feature it. And again, this is one of our most popular patterns. I think just because you've got a little bit of you know patchwork in there as well, and you've got some really simple quilting, and they're just really nice, aren't they? Nice gifts for people, actually, aren't Be they? Beautiful gifts. So I've already gone ahead and made up one of the pouches. Now, it's entirely up to you whether you add the pockets onto here. I did do, um, I did, if, certainly if you're going for the pattern, I did um, a, t a tutorial on here where it shows you you can just do one side with mm -hmm. the pattern as it's designed and maybe just a, a plain back if you want to, if you're going for just the pattern. But in your kit, you're going to have enough to do the, uh, the panels on both sides. So again, just cut out your fabrics, decide the order that you want them to go into. You're going to receive the same amount of fabrics on all three fabrics, so you can decide the layout. And again, we've got that little pocket here 
I've lost a little piece of fabric. Where have I put? There it is. It's <coughs> attached to the batting on the back there. So again, we're going to just pop a little bit of binding onto the top of that pocket there, getting the most from the fabrics and just making that pop it, uh, pocket stand proud. So just with a wrong side facing towards you, fold that in half and press. And we're simply going to align that with the top raw edge of your pocket. Just be mindful of your pattern direction as this particular print here does have a direction on there as well. So again, just clipping those into place and sewing that, bat um, sewing that panel into place there. Just drop that back to a straight stitch. We're still on a zigzag. The uh, May Graphic, by the way, is in for the mustard one, which is the blue and mustard. They look lovely together as well, don't I'm they? I'm loving the mustards. I love the mustards. Riley Blake and the Mustard Liberty are neck and neck at the moment. Um, the one that Kerry is working with is completely sold out. You can get the pattern on its own. I had a feeling this particular one was going to be popular today, especially as it's something new. So I've just sewn that binding into place, the same as I did with the Natasha there, using a zigzag stitch. And I'm just making sure that I'm bringing those raw edges and aligning those together. Bring your two B pieces and align those raw edges. Clip them into place. Now I would recommend clipping at your binding piece because you've got that extra thickness to the fabric there. It's very easy for that to move and for you to miss that binding. And to keep it nice and fast, we'll pop the second piece on top. Again, pattern facing, clipping at the binding section. And it's only a small, small length to sew at the moment, so we'll just use two of those clips. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, we're just going to sew along those raw edges. I wondered where the clips are, I've got a little bundle here. <laughs> Nice to be able to set yourself up a little bit of a station, isn't it? So you've got everything there yeah, all handy. Absolutely. Only to move if you want to put the yeah. in the biscuit. It makes us feel like we're organised. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all ready for your baby? Now? Um, Are you ready? I don't know if I'll ever feel ready. I, I'm really excited and I think we're all prepared with things. Like yeah. I have said to Kieran, is there anything that we need to get. I think we've got everything, but still, I don't think I'll ever feel ready, ready. I still feel like that, and I've got two teenagers, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So just opening those up, and again, this side, we're bringing those two raw edges, folding them over so they're pattern facing, clipping them onto, onto each other, and sewing using a quarter inch. I saw yesterday you've got a baby shower as well. Oh, I know. Hello. Oh, honestly, I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea about the show. Sounds very exciting. It does. I can't wait. I'll oh. be watching. Oh, I've no idea who's here or anything, but I know that they're doing an extended day. It's I'm eight not. hours. John's, I'm um, not here. John's here for four of the hours as well. It'd be lovely. Very lucky because um, obviously I can't do a baby shower or anything like that, so I do feel. I've been very we spoiled can all here. Yeah. That's yeah, very special for all of us it. as well. Yeah. Bit of speedy sewing there, Kerry. <laughs> I'm thinking full speed. Let's get there. We're so all right. onto the back now. We have got dark fabrics here, so it actually doesn't matter which way. I'll just take away those excess fabric, excess threads. It doesn't really matter which way you press your seams okay. on here. Your seams will tell you which way they want to go anyway normally. So as long as they're pressed flat to reduce the bulk in a little while when we sew across these. Just give those a little press. And then again, just give them a press from the front because you find sometimes there's, there ends up being a little fold in the fabric and we don't want that for this project. It's still talking to us, that iron, isn't it? I was thinking still that. Still singing. I was thinking that. And then place this on top of your batting. Just spray a little 505 to secure it into place. I've cut my batting just a little bit bigger, so I'll trim these in a moment. And at this stage, you can sew along those seams if you want to. You can leave them. You can use your decorative stitches. But I think what would look lovely in here is if you picked out one of the lighter colours so you can see that stitching. I know on the one that we've got there for demo, um, 
I've got a lovely new lady who's helping me sew the demo. So that's oh, really that's exciting. Good. So um, your team's growing. Yeah, it's very exciting. So Trace has been very busy sewing all the demos for us, ready for the show. And Trace has done the zigzag over on the pocket. On the pocket, yeah. And it looks really lovely, having a detailed stitch. But we've got so many decorative stitches on our machines that it's a really good chance to use them. Absolutely. Yeah. I think if you've got a nice floral print on your machine, it'd be lovely to showcase that. This machine at the highest speed is slower than the 560, is it? Is it? Seems slower. Oh, it looks pretty speedy. <laughs> <laughs> and again, just on the second side here. June's asked whether we have Prosecco at my uh, baby shower. You're absolutely Every welcome to have a Prosecco if you want to open a Prosecco, June. I might have some schlur. <laughs> I am With so excited. With Yay! some strawberries. I am excited for our Wednesday show. It'll be lovely. We're going to have treats, Kat. We're going to have, like... She says I'm not telling you anything. I just wonder whether I should bring treats This is in. where you could put your orders in and they'll think, oh, yeah. miss that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got it all in hand. Kat's <laughs> super organised anyway, isn't she? So it'll all be yeah. organised. So just trim away any excess batting and thread that you've got on there. And I think one of the last kits that we bought, we had a darker lining fabric, but a couple of people said that they prefer to have it light on the inside so they can see exactly what's on the interior mm -hmm. of their, you know, whether you use it for a cosmetic bag or a craft bag. I wanted to put a little pattern on there, so that's why we went with the stars. It's lovely. That is attention to detail. You can't see on screen. When you get it home, you'll be able to see. Oh, Joe's telling me that you can see on screen. You can see. Shall I bring it there so you can see that? I can't see it on my monitor, but you probably can at home. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Have we got time? How are we doing for time, Kat? About eight minutes. About, oh, fabulous. We've got time to do the zip then. I've got to talk about the padded hearts as well. In fact, could we do those in the next hour? We'll talk about the padded hearts yep. because there's a really great quantity on those. We'll make sure that we don't run over with our embroidery show and we give Kerry the full hour at, at 12 <laughs> o'clock as well. I'm making the most of it today. I haven't been in for a few oh weeks. Oh no, it's so good to have you back. Uh, yes, um, the modern machines. Oh, Donna said that she thinks they're slower than what she's used to some of the modern machines. Yeah, I think this is... I think this one is. So using your zip, you can use your wash away tape if you want to, the same as I showed you in the previous demo, but I always tend to be drawn to use the sew line glue pen for zip installation. So I've just popped the glue on the front, and again, the same as you know when you're popping your zip in to make sure it's the right way, because I know a lot of people have said that they'll do the zip mm -hmm. and it's on the wrong side. Just double check that you can see the zip tab facing towards you with the right side of your fabric before you start. Then we're folding the zip over and just aligning that there with the exterior fabric. Just to mention, I've trimmed just a little bit off the edge of the zip there so it fits onto your cosmetic bag as well, but it's not coming into contact with your metal stoppers. Right, that's, so that should line up yeah. edge to edge. So you can so I've trimmed just about a quarter inch off either side to allow that to line up. And again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto the back and Double check I've got the right side of that interior fabric. It's particularly difficult to see the white on white print, so just double check that. You'll be able to see a little shimmer on, on there, so you'll know you've got it the right way. Again, as we did in the previous demonstration, just make sure your zip's open halfway. Mm -hmm. Slide that pin through two finger spaces ahead. And then we're popping our zipper foot onto the machine. I have got it on a zigzag stitch, so I'll just change that back to the straight stitch. I don't want any broken needles. And then we're resting this onto the sewing machine and sewing to that first pin. I had a feeling I was going to lose the thread there. Just so you know, on the website, we've got all of Kerry's kits already on pre-order. So if you do want to look ahead for the show at 12 o'clock, 
Um, if you don't want to miss out on anything, as I said, we've had sellouts today. It's definitely worth having a look on the Watch Live section on the website and you'll be able to see pre-order all of Kerry's kits, anything that's coming up. Um, anything that we haven't got to, there's the pattern weights there, look, pattern weights. We'll show you those properly in the next hour as well. Um, this is all the embroidery and then if you keep scrolling down, um, we will get to, there you go, the Maya wall hanging which lots of people have messaged about. And then look at the new fabrics. Absolutely love that hummingbird fabric is back. Um, we're now seeing it for the first time um, along with your, your storage caddy, your fabulous fast fat quarter fun, um, which is going to be brilliant. Padded hearts, there you go, you can see there as well. Oh, now in Liberty colourways as well. <gasps> nice. We need some pretty floral hearts for our Liberty fabrics, definitely. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've just inserted the zip. So I've just sewn across the top exactly as I did with the previous zip that we did. Um, and then we're folding this to expose that zip there and just centering this. Again, just double checking and pressing that fabric out of the way on the back so your zip's not going to come into contact with that and just sliding a few pins, keeping them far enough back so you don't need to worry about removing those as you sew across. And then we're just going to top stitch across this panel. What I particularly like about this bag is not only have you got your pockets, but you've got a nice, it's quite a big yeah. cosmetic bag as well. We're gonna need to see this colorway with all of your other kits, all of your other patterns. <laughs> Sally Ann's just said this would be great for the gift bag set as well. Oh. I do like the gift bag. I do like sewing with scraps gift bag. It's definitely, yeah, it was very popular last year with the Christmas fabrics. Chris has already bagged this one that you're sewing up, by the way. She says, that bag's got my name on it, Kerry. <laughs> we'll have to have it in a giveaway or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be fair, of course. <laughs> there we go. So popping the next side of your zip on. So again, just bringing that back so you can see the right side of your zip the right side of both panels and checking this time that you've got the pocket because we don't want an upside down pocket yeah which is very easy to do at this stage so just pop in a little bit of glue across the top there the main graphic is still for the mustard which is the one that Kerry's already made up or it's Tracy it was our lovely Tracy Tracy made, made this one up for us and it is absolutely gorgeous from the Emporium range so Tracy's bagged that one <laughs> the mint Riley Blake is completely sold out just so you know we love that Riley Blake's always really popular <gasps> we've chosen all the new Riley Blake fabrics yesterday oh, oh lovely really? day choosing fabrics yesterday oh honestly you must have so much fun I bet <laughs> that's a really big part of you know putting your kits together oh, is, is getting to indulge in all those lovely fabrics I absolutely love it so I have used the tape on this side, I've popped the zip on there, I'm placing the lining fabric on top and aligning that raw edge and we're simply going to sew across. I've obviously loved this glue pen so much I've used it all so we're on to tape at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so again just sliding that pin through, of course if you're confident with popping your zips in you'll be able to feel that, it's just there as a little reminder to stop. Because, of course, if you get too close to that zip, it's particularly difficult to close it. Ah, and okay. we don't want to fight with the zip. We want to keep it as easy as possible. So keeping your needle down. Keep the needle down, raise your presser foot, and then feel through your layers. I tend to find moving it to the side and resting my hand onto the fabric allows me to get in there and manoeuvre that zip. And can you feel with your foot where the edge of the zip is that you're yes. sewing yeah. straight? Yeah. yeah. So again, just bringing that open to expose that zipper there. Giving it a little press on both the interior and exterior and we'll top stitch over there. Now this bag, this cosmetic bag, has got a boxed bottom, mm -hmm. um, but if you didn't want to put the boxed bottom in there, you don't need to. The pattern is cut so the bag's actually flat, so if you would prefer it to be flat so you can perhaps, I don't know, put more in there. Maybe you want to use this for, maybe you want to use it for your homeschooling and get lots of felt tips in there and, you know, you can leave this flat and skip past the next couple of steps in the pattern. 
where it shows you how to box the bottom. Oh, I like a nice squared bottom though. The box yeah, the bottom. I, I are prefer good. a squared bottom. Some people don't though. No. Mm. But it's good that you've got the choice then. Yeah. So again, we're just popping this onto the machine, moving the zipper across and top stitching across that zipper there. And we have done full demonstrations on both the patterns that we've got previously as well. So they're all on our YouTube channel. So if you type in living in loveliness on YouTube, or if you of course type in the Yasmeen uh, cosmetic bag, then they're all on there. <laughs> Jennifer says, I think you need a new ironing pad. Uh, Jennifer, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I, I know. love it, it's well loved. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely need a new one. We're waiting for those to come back into stock, aren't They're we? They're out of stock, aren't they? Everywhere. They're worth their weight in gold as well. Okay. That black thread wants to stay with me. I so think we actually do have a cleaner one, don't we? Kerry's brought in the one from the guest room, the one that we don't <laughs> show on oh, telly. Oh, is that what you eat? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought I was doing so well today as well. That's it, it was lovely. Nice I know you're very organised. <laughs> so just on the bottom. Actually seeing this makes me feel better about mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's well loved as well. So we're simply placing the two panels, the darker panels on top of each other, and then you're lining on top of each other and just bringing those together. Now, if you didn't want a box bottom in this bag, you wouldn't do the next step that I'm about to show you. You could just skip this step. Just making sure all those raw edges are clipped together. Now, to, because you've got your different panels on the bottom here, you can just place these on top. And as you roll these out, you'll see that those raw edges are marrying up through. So even though it's the bottom of your bag, they'll all marry up together when, you're, when your bag's complete. So if we fold this over the top, I'm just wondering if I've got a ruler. If not, we'll guess it today. We'll guess it from the mat. So I'm simply going to trim an inch and a half, and I'm doing that through all layers. So I'm just using, you can draw yours on using your ruler and your pen. But I can see the measurements on the map just at the bottom. And these actually, these little tab, these little sections there are great mm -hmm. for your scrap. So if you're making your own um, drawstrings for perhaps a drawstring bag, they end up the perfect size to just put a little tab onto the edge of your cord. Oh, nice. Okay. So keep those. So no, yeah, so no waste. Okay. So the next thing is to just mark up a turning gap at the bottom. So we'll leave a three inch turning gap along the bottom of the bag there and we're simply sewing around all four sides just excluding the mm -hmm. bottom section that we've cut out. I'm just changing the foot back and dropping this back to a straight, straight stitch there. So starting where we've made that black mark with a reverse stitch, don't worry about reverse stitching on the corners there because they'll sew together in the seam in a little while. And when you arrive at the corner, if you, if you raise your presser foot, tease out a little thread and bring that across to your next section. It stops too much waste of the thread and keeps it nice and speedy as well. Now I can feel through the fabric that my zip's the right way, but just to mention, when you're sewing your lining together with your exterior fabric, if you just make sure that your zip is pushing towards the lining. Just so you know, less than 10 of the pattern left on its own. Uh, that's your side graphic at the moment. The pattern on its own is 9.99. It's one you can use again and again and again. If you do want the pattern with the fabrics in the kit, the Liberty is the only one that's now available and there are less than five. And there are way more of you that have got it in your basket. So just be aware if you do want the blue and mustard you need to check out now don't wait for the end of the demo uh, we have got another hour coming up with kerry as well at 12 o'clock so don't worry we've still got loads of time to be able to do some really gorgeous kits that in fact they're really bright on the next the show hummingbird as well. one i absolutely love the hummingbirds are always really popular but we've got really vibrant bright butterflies today as well Oh, nice 
to complement that lovely glitter fabric that we've had on previously. So I won't put the box bottoms on the interior just because of time, but just to show you very quickly how to finish those box bottoms as you pick pinch through the fabric mm -hmm. and tease those out. If you want a wider box bottom, you can increase that size. So I've done mine one and a half. You could increase it to two or even three if you want a wider bottom. If you push your um, seams one to the left, one to the right, they will naturally lock into place. We'll just pop a clip on there for now on both sides. So when we sew across that seam there, it reduces the bulk. And you do exactly the same for the Exactly lining. the same on the lining, yeah. So whoever gets this one, you have to finish the lining. Yeah! <laughs> Tony, that's, that's not that's fair. a bad deal, yeah. <laughs> and I am starting and finishing with a reverse stitch to make sure we have no gaps in the bottom of that. Oh, that I suppose that just reinforces it Just to again, reinforce that, yeah. I will tidy this up later, but so we can see this finished. Just poking your fingers through that turning gap, teasing your fabrics through the turning gap here. That's why it's good to do a reverse, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. To strengthen it. There's nothing more frustrating than actually if you've left your gap a little bit too small, which is very easy to do, because we do get excited at this stage in the project. It's a really nice quick project though, isn't it, Kerry? A really fast project, yeah. You are thinking, oh, it's Sozo's birthday, or I want, I want to do a gift for someone, or just want a little afternoon project without yeah. committing to starting a big quilt. Sometimes you just want to finish just a nice a project. project. And you can see there oh, that you've it. got a really, and you've got a nice deep pocket on the inside. I always like to put pockets on the outside because, of course, if you want to pop your pens in, you've got your pockets that are easy to access and then you've got your zip installation in there as well. There are other clutch patterns as well, which um, we haven't had a chance to get through. There's the Phoebe pleated cosmetic bag, which is gorgeous. They're going to be on the website in the next couple of minutes, by the way. Kat's gonna run the graphics through so you can see them. If you do want the Yasmin cosmetics bag, then um, this is your only chance to get the pattern uh, or, or to get it with the mustard. The only way of getting it is mustard. This is what the, um, the Phoebe one looks like by the way these uh the pleated ones which i was just thinking about should i show you <laughs> he says oh he's just on go slow today so these are the pleated phoebe cosmetic bags which are absolutely beautiful um then it's 7.99 for the pattern 7.99 for the pattern brilliant price absolutely love it um kerry thank you so so much you're, very you're back at about 40 minutes. <laughs> See you in about 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Thank you. Our oh, packed full of demos. And remember, we're still going to be bringing back uh, the wall hanging. Um, we're also bringing back the heart. We're bringing back the Sophia um, craft caddy as well, which has been so popular. All brand new colourways. The fabulously fast fat quarter fun issue six is back with new uh, colourways as well. So don't go anywhere. Uh, we've got 40 minutes or so of embroidery. We've got lots of inspiration, gorgeous patterns. Have a good look through the website though. Check out on Kerry's kits and I'm back in just a couple of minutes. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, it's all go, 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 go today. I have no idea where the time's going. So we're going to get straight into this show because we're not going to get a chance to show anywhere near as much as we hope to um, before we get Kerry back because we do want to make sure that we have a whole hour Kerry. Starting with Native Lighting, I know that Claire was watching Kerry's show in the last hour so Claire if you're still watching, um, I know that um, our sister channel Jewelry Maker have started seeing Native Lighting now, they literally launched it last week which is really exciting and I have been saying to Claire for ages this would be really good for Jewelry Maker um, because any crafts of course you need to think about having the right lighting, having the right magnification just to help you, it puts a lot of strain on your eyes doesn't it depending on what, work, what, what light you're working in. Um, can really determine the finished product as well, your project. So I knew that it was going to be very, very popular over at Jewelry Maker. Problem is, is that I know that Claire has a certain amount of stock and normally we're really jammy. We manage to get virtually everything we have from her. 
um, and, and, and then once it's gone, she has to wait for new shipments to come in. Um, and now that we are looking at sharing this along with our, our sister channel, I just don't want anybody who's been coming and ahhing about these to miss out. Normally, we'll only see them with Claire. So we wanted to bring it on today when we're talking about embroidery because, of course, hand sewing, doing smaller stitching. I know a lot of people say they don't do embroidery anymore because of their eyesight. They don't like to do um, smaller stitching or, or threading a needle even they find hard. This is amazing. Now you can see it's a table clamp so it can clip right onto a very, very fine table or a, a nice big chunky desk like we've got here. It plugs directly straight into your mains. It can reach so far across and depending on how you want to position it, um, there's lots of different screws all along so you can change the positioning of it. Um, but if you are doing any up close embroidery work, it's also got an amazing magnifying glass. So it has got the protector. Obviously you need to be a bit careful with sunlight going onto a magnifying glass so you've got the protector there. Also if you just want to use the light without the magnifying, you can keep that on. But if I take that off, you have got a 1.75 times magnification. Now whether you're doing beadwork, whether you're reading instructions, uh, it, it has got um, a really strong magnification. Also, what was that cat? It's got a seven inch lens diameter, a seven inch lens diameter as well. So you're getting a really good amount of space here that is magnified. It's not like a small magnifying glass that you're then going to have to move across a pattern to be able to read it. Um, you've got a really, really good strong magnification. Three different colour temperatures and each colour temperature has got different brightness levels. Now I've put the brightness on. I'm just going to put this book underneath so you can see the different colours changing. It's got a touch sensitive panel at the top here. So if I tuck that, you can see straight away it's changed the colour. If I press again, oh, there you go. Three different colours, cool, daylight and mixed. And then you've also got three different brightnesses for each colour, which is brilliant. Now, if I spin this round, I want to show you that it's got a full LED light ring. Again, you don't need to worry about changing the bulbs. You don't need to change, um, uh, you don't need to worry about the heat. Um, it is completely LED. It's just one strip light that goes around, like one ring light that goes around. Uh, you do not need to replace the bulbs. If, any, if you do have any problems as well, you've got a two year warranty with native lighting. They honestly have got the most gorgeous set of light, uh, array of lighting, which are designed especially for crafters. So Claire's worked in the lighting industry for over 10 years and she said that she's gone to lots of exhibitions and lots of shows where she's spoken to lots of crafters and people in different industries as well. It isn't just the crafting industry. You can imagine these very, very popular in um, the beauty industry, in, in electronics, in uh, smaller model making. For lots of different hobbies, I think these are going to be fantastic or professions, they'll be fantastic, but for, particularly for crafters, this is where it really sort of drew Claire in and she was saying, right, what is it that crafters need? What do they want? What do they look for? I like the fact that it's in a really lovely smart white as well. Um, it's really easy to, to dust, it's, there's, uh, yeah, it's nice to keep clean and also to pack away, so even if you are keeping this out because it is a big light and it's a big mag uh, magnifying glass, the arm can stretch right up to 47 inches. But you can then very easily sort of um, fold it down as well to keep it out of the way. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, 137.99, I understand. Remember, it is an investment, but think about all of the sewing that you do, how much sewing you do at night, how much you're straining your eyes or if you're doing colour matching, how important it is to be able to have the correct light. If we bring the lights down, then I can show you just how, just how sort of, um, that's it, that's what I'm trying to say, just how focused that light is. It gives a real even spill of light. Um, and all the different colours I'll go through again so you can see. 
there's the warm light, the cool light, or the cool light there, sorry, and the other one was your mixed light. And there's also three different light settings for each colour, three different brightnesses for each colour. So you've got nine different light settings and changing the, the, the colour of the light as well is brilliant um, because I suppose, you know, we we're talking about the ring light and a lot, a, a lot of lights you have to change the actual sort of whole ring of it to be able to change to the different colour settings whereas this is all just with the touch of a button. Even though I'm in complete darkness in the studio, you can still see the book so beautifully clearly. Uh, also, if you're doing any bead embroidery, we're talking about embroidery this hour. If I just move this over, if you're stitching and you want to work with tiny, tiny beads, look. Hmm? Let me just show you how lovely and clear this is. Um, I don't think they've introduced this one, by the way, to jewellery maker yet. And I think this is going to be the one that is very, very popular with jewellery makers as well for bead embroidery. £137.99. I know how popular these always are. Sometimes when we're on with Claire, we don't get to the time to spend as much as we don't get the chance to spend as much time as we'd like with these lights it's quite um fast paced shows because we've got loads to show you so i just wanted to remind you that this one is available and this is the one that is absolutely perfect if you do do lots of embroidery um as it's got the nice big magnifying glass in fact it's the biggest magnifying glass lamp that we have okay why do you put it home? Please let us know how you get on with it. Please do send us your reviews as well. We do love to hear from you. Claire did only start about 18 months ago. She's been in the industry for a long, long time, but she's just started native lighting over uh, uh, the last year or so. So I know that she'd love to hear from you as well because they're great quality lights. They really are. Okay. Fab to just be able to swing it out the way then. It's even got that, that swing, swivel at the, at the base as well. Okay, now let's go calico because whenever you're doing any embroidery, um, I think that this is absolutely brilliant. In fact, we had the Colour Me In pens, the panels earlier on in the pens, um, which you could make lovely little tote bags and really decorate them. But if you are decorating with thread, if you're doing some hand embroidery, just to put some calico in a hoop and get stitching. So affordable, so mindful. And today it's 249 and a half metre. It is your pre-shrunk quilters calico. So it's not stiff, it's really lovely and soft. Uh, just £2.49. pence. Still got great structure, great for embroidery, but it is your, your quilters pre-shrunk. Um, calico 249 and a half meter if you're just starting out in sewing if you're just starting out hand stitching if you want to get children sewing as well without them diving into your liberty stash 249 and a half meter it will be cut off the bolt for you it's extra wide do you know how wide it is cat it's nice and wide isn't it nice and wide for you to be able to uh to make loads with this. I love calico for things like memory bears as well. Really lovely. If you did get the uh, fabric pens earlier on, so much that you could make with this that you could then decorate with children would be lovely. Dress to make, dressmaking as well. I know this is an embroidery hour, but dressmakers, uh, we always talk about making a twirl with, with dressmaking. Remember it is the quilters pre-shrunk one, um, but it is really, really lovely for, for dressmakers as well, or bag makers even, for linings. 137 wide. It's a lot of fabric for 249, isn't it? Even if you're just trying this out and purchasing half a metre. Um, loads of you, hundreds of units already in baskets. Good luck. If you want some, go for it now. Uh, always is very, very popular. We've also got denim. I love the thought of having a denim uh, shirt or a denim jacket or a denim bag with some really bright embroidery on. 
maybe metallics have you got any metallic threads have you got any lovely rainbow color threads so much that you can do even if you're just getting a hoop and doing some wall art where you want to embroider onto we always talk about embroidering onto denim um, and doing sash go and things like that so if you do want to stuck up on your denim or I have been thinking about this I want to go on to a workshop where I learn to make my own denim jeans because jeans I just can't get to fit me ever <laughs> a different story at the moment no jeans will fit me at the moment I do not want to go on a course to learn how to make jeans at my current moment but um, when I'm able to get back into my jeans I want to be able to have some that fit really well very difficult to make jeans so um, yeah I know that there's lots of workshops quite locally to me actually when they can yeah when they can start again I'd love to be able to go to one or just a lovely I mean that's a really nice color as well isn't it very flattering color like a dark navy blue jean or or denim jacket just a denim shirt a jacket very in at the moment a shirt slash jacket um, so that one again is really nice and wide 4 99 a half meter it's great price for denim medium weight denim the last one that we've got is not actually a fabric it's a panel um we have made such beautiful in fact they're normally behind us here normally behind us i'm going to lay it down joe when i make with my hands i give with my heart i love absolutely love it and once you've stitched onto it you can make this for a gift for somebody is a wall hanging. How gorgeous is that? So not only do you have your this one, you also have this one, which says stitch your stress away. Oh, tell you what, that is what we all need, isn't it, at the moment? Stitch your stress away to have in your sewing room, to hang up just as a reminder just to stitch your stress away, I love that. And then finally, you've also got another print on here as well, which says make, do and mend. And as I said, we're all thinking a bit more about sustainability and upcycling and things like that. So absolutely perfect. And they still have the big outline. So if you want to add your own stitches in there, you absolutely can. Or if you want to do a little mini one, so cute. We've done these to fit perfectly with the fix it hoops. Um, that is exclusive to us. It does make a really, really lovely project as well. If you are thinking of gifts for people, we love it. So we have got the hoops. All of the hoops are available. There's lots of sizes. Um, we've also got loads of threads. Oh, excuse me. Something up my nose. Right, we've got two different packs, which are ridiculously good value for money. Are you ready to see the price? How on earth do you get 36 skeins for 9.99? Pence, pence per skein. You can't even see them all. There's another layer in the centre. In fact, there you go. Um, I'm not going to open these because one of these will be sent to somebody today. These will sell out. If you want your bright colours, look, you've got that lovely jade. <gasps> you've got your greens, you've got your pinks, purples, yellows, greens, you've got the sort of more muted shades. In fact, that looks like your gorgeous vintage, vintage classics bundle. They look lovely. I also really like the thought of embroidering onto patterned fabric, you know, just to add a bit of texture. Cara Ackerman, um, she's got me into that actually. It really, really works so, so well. Or if you've got the denim and you just want to do um, or, or, or you've got the panel and you want to do your own design on a, on a plain fabric, there's so much thread here. And I, I think for anybody who's starting out, it can be quite expensive. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the be all and end all and the only quality thread that you'll work with. Um, we see some beautiful quality threads from DMC, but they're normally about 170 a skein. So if you are trying it out, if you're, if you're stitching with, with children or if you're doing faces on toys and you're just doing a little bit of stitching here and there, this is such a good stash builder to get all of those colours. Just £9.99. Pastels. These are your pastel colours which are lovely, they're so pretty. 
going for faces, for, um, for, for bears, for toys, for anything like that, then these are absolutely ideal. They're still your uh, stranded cotton uh, and they are really, really lovely quality for cross stitch, for embroidery. It says for hair wraps and braiding, you could use these as well. Oh, nice. Um, now, this would look really pretty again in your, in your, uh, with your panels. Oh, are you? Kat says, we're all thinking babies at the moment. Oh, they are really lovely colours. £9.99. Well, you are moving into your new home, aren't you, Kat? <laughs> she says, no, my spare room's a walk-in wardrobe. Not a nursery, not a baby's room. <laughs> Her priorities. Um, we also have a storage organiser. We were just talking about DMC. Cara, who I was mentioning as well, she worked for DMC for years and they are such beautiful quality skeins. Um, this is wrong because actually you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skeins for free. For free, you're not you're not paying for those. They are going to be completely at random. They'll be different colours, but they're all going to be DMC skeins, and you're getting your storage box. So nine pound ninety nine gets you your lovely storage box. In there, you've got all of your different compartments. Plus, in this section here, you can just see you've got all of these paper bobbins, so you can organise it all in colour order. <gasps> be lovely. I remember somebody sent in a photograph once of their, their box exactly like this and it was all in colour order and it looked so satisfying. It's also got a larger section here to be able to have, that's like your little bobbin winder and then you've also got your snips, your tape measure, whatever you want to keep in there. So it keeps your thread clean and tangle free. You get your 100 paper bobbins included. Um, it stores your floss winder, your spare bobbins and your embroidery scissors. It is, it says multi-purpose. It doesn't need to be just generally for your, for your, uh, your threads, does it? Brilliant. I tell you what, even if you're giving this away as a gift for somebody, just for the skeins, that price is absolutely crazy. £9.99. They are DMC stranded cotton. They're absolutely beautiful quality skeins. Okay, now the hoop sizes. We're whizzing through this because we're very aware that we're getting Kerry back on in 20 minutes. Um, so, sizes. Should we go from small to large or large to small? Small to big. The smallest one, which goes perfectly with the make, do and mend um, panel, part of the panel, is this one. It's so cute. There's lots of lovely little Diddy um, embroidery uh, patterns that I've seen recently they make lovely they make really nice wall art but ideal for things like coasters nice if you want to put it onto a pocket on a pair of jeans if you want to just um, put it onto a, a, a quilt where you just isolate a, a section of it don't get me wrong yes they're lovely as frames but if you're thinking right actually I'm just going to do part of a top or I'm just going to do part of a dress this will just focus in on a four inch section uh, so that's four inch. We've also got, right, if I tell you mine, then it's, yes, it is right. It says 5.8 here. <laughs> the only reason I say that is because I know that they're not in sync. Some, I don't know how, but um, last time I did this, they were completely different sizes. I think they've been amended. This is 5.8 inch. Well, that's why I didn't speak too soon. I didn't say anything. I was like waiting for you to tell me what sizes there are. Uh, the next size up is 5.8 inches. The next one is 8 inches. I think it's a different diameter. So these have obviously been measured from, these are 8 inches from the outer and 7.8 is obviously from the inner diameter. So it makes sense. It does match up you'll get the one that you're seeing here, which is eight inch from edge to edge. Uh, the next one, we've got two more. This one's your 9.6. Yeah? 9.6 from outer edge, 9.4 in a, di in a diameter. And obviously there's, um, <laughs> there's, there's the little screw there to tighten it as well so that you can get it nice and taut. 
your wooden frame, something that you might not necessarily purchase on its own today, but um, with your one postage and packaging, it's definitely worth making the most of it with some fabric, with some of your skeins, other bits and bobs. Final one, the largest size, which again works in conjunction with the panel, is your 12 inch embroidery hoop. 12 inches. These are brilliant if you do want to do some lovely William Morris fabric and just, just frame it. Just frame it. Just put it in there, hang it on the wall. Don't need to do any embroidery. It looks great. There's a lady Paula on the fan page yesterday who made a quilt, cut it up, and then had it as blocks on the wall. It looked brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So many different ideas. And I do love these as wall art. I think it works really, really well. If you make a quilt and or a few blocks of a quilt if you want and put them into these circles and hang them up. Absolutely. Now, we also have the what? The seat steady. Now, this, I must do a shout out to our head of TV, Hayley, um, who the first time that the first time we had this in at Sewing Street, she said to me, you have no idea how difficult this has been to source. And she said, you must tell everybody that we finally got it in. So Hayley worked at a part of Sewing Quarter, uh, as did I, as did John Scott. There's lots of you that I know will know us from Sewing Quarter. And every single time we did an embroidery show, we had people messaging in saying, do you have a seat frame? And we couldn't for the life of us get one. We never had one at Sewing Quarter. And there was a lady who messaged in saying, I found one, I got it, and it was from a car boot sale. And that was the only, we couldn't, we couldn't find it anywhere. So we have finally got these in stock. It's amazing. So the idea is that you sit on this part, you can adjust it to whatever height you want, depending on the, the length of your, your torso. Um, and then you can position this as you wish. It's got different um, angle, again, again angles so that you can tighten it. You can check the back really easily. You can, of course, um, put your work in there and stitch hands-free, sitting on it. So it's, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Great for social stitching if you want to do it in the lounge or if you're doing it on the move, this is absolutely perfect. It comes not assembled, it's really easy to assemble. Joe did it in literally seconds. Uh, leaves your hands free to work on your canvas. High quality, lovely polished wood as well. It's really nice and smooth. Kat says she knows people who's got, who have had these on a long car journey on a train journey maybe, absolutely. They're really versatile, aren't they? It just means that you can do your work on the go. The alternative is having one of the, the hoops that you clamp to your desk. But if you haven't got a desk to clamp onto, if you're sitting on the sofa, then it is great that you can just sort of uh, stabilize it by sitting on it. So brilliant. 27 pounds 99. Uh, so, Light box, light box. We have also got the light box. I've dropped the cable, hang on. I'm gonna have to shimmy out. No, I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, so they do look after me here. Cat's like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> so this is a Sewing Street exclusive. Light boxes are brilliant. Uh, they are really, really handy indeed. Which side? There we go. I think we're in. Yay! So, if you are transferring any templates uh, from your book, your embroidery books quite often come with pull-out template sheets like this. If you're transferring them onto your fabric, have you ever got really frustrated trying to transfer patterns on your windows? on a dull dark day and I've got quite small windows that have got all the different window panes in. Uh, <laughs> I've learned to say that in a better way now, Kat. Uh, before I used to say, I've got like these bars on my windows. Kat was like, in prison? <laughs> no, I've got window panes. That's what they're called, aren't they? They're little windows, the little window panes. It's an old uh, building. But you can't get your templates onto the window to trace them. So if you've got larger templates, it's a nightmare. This is brilliant. Transferring different designs from books, uh, different stencils and templates, it's fantastic. So you've got 
one, two, three different brightness settings. Um, it's a really nice large light box. It's nice and light though, so you can store it away easily. A3 in size with your measurements on there. It's not a glaring light, it's an LED light, so it's not gonna get too hot, well, it's not gonna get hot at all. Um, it gives off virtually zero heat. You don't need to worry about changing bulbs as they are LED. Uh, it plugs straight into your mains and it's got a nice long cable, but it has also got a USB. So if you want to plug this into a power pack on the move, if you want to plug this into your sewing machine or into your laptop, you have got that USB plug as well. It is your Notion's exclusive A3 light box for $49.99. It's not glass either. So I know a lot of people sort of get concerned about one, the, the postage it getting damaged or broken in the post, but also you cracking it when you're getting it home. Uh, you don't need to worry about that as it's not a glass um, top. We love it, absolutely love it. When you're using something like this, you might need a marking tool. So when you're transferring your stencils onto your fabric, this one is um, your air erasable. We always like different marking tools for different jobs. This one's great for embroidery because you don't need to wet it, you don't need to iron it. I don't like to iron my embroidery because I think that it, it loses the texture. You want to keep that lovely lofty texture. So to try and remove your, your markings with a friction pen, you might lose it, especially if you're doing lots of French knots and things like that. Whereas this is just air erasable. Be aware that it does disappear. Um, I say, I, I'm not gonna say quickly, but it depends on the condition. So if, for example, it's a really nice hot day, you've got the windows open or you've got a fan on, if you've got air conditioning the other way around, then um, you could find that it disappears quicker than other pens. So just be aware, I would just transfer sections of the embroidery pattern that you want to stitch there and then um, because you don't want to, to lose, if, you, if you've spent hours doing a detailed pattern that you want to do over the next year, it might have disappeared by then. The funniest thing was I remember when, was it Hannah? Hannah write a birthday card using it for our Laura. Laura had it on um, the table next to the radiator and the heat must have sort of risen or she had it by the window. And then she says, who sent me that card? It's blank. And then realised, Hannah sent that card, but she did it in a heat erase, in an air erasable pen. So just be aware, £4.99, they are brilliant though. So, do you know what, I thought about this, we haven't had any of the clappers in for ages. She said, what happened to the man who made the clappers uh, in Scotland, will you be getting any? I will speak to Paul, I will speak to Paul and see if we can get any more of those. Uh, right, so you've got your thread, you've got your fabric, you've got your marking pen. Shall we get some inspiration? This book we did, um, not that long ago and I really love it because it's got really cool stitches. Something very different, so a bit modern, something that you can transfer onto lots of different pants. We did it with jewels. We did the apron with jewels. It was this one, wasn't it? It was the little cupcake that we put on the apron. But there's also really nice um, projects for, for all levels of stitches, whether you're a beginner, whether you're more advanced. Um, it, it's also got at the back there, you can see lots of great projects as well as the stitches. So it will talk you through how to stitch them. She did the apron. You've got your pull out um, templates at the back. So you can transfer those across. Um, you've got all of the stitch sort of library. So it tell you what stitches they're made up of. It's got all of the photographs really clearly. All of your sewing instructions as well are in here. How to prepare your embroidery. How to make things like lovely little drawstring bags, little zipper pouches, aprons. That's the one that we did with Jules. How to stitch onto your, your shoes, your jacket, embroider your clothes that are already there. There's loads of different ideas. Plus, you have a full tutorial of how to do each stitch and look at how clear the images are. Not only have you got diagrams, you've also got photographs of the finished stitch and full text for each stitch. I think that's probably one of the most detailed that I've seen in an embroidery book, a whole page per stitch, which is brilliant. 
<laughs> that sounded really enthusiastic there, Kat. Um, we've also got, she says, I didn't mean it. She just said, wow, in my ear, but it was, wow. Doodling, thread doodle. I know so many people that love to just sit and stitch and have that doodled effect, but if I tried to do it, it would look an absolute mess. It wouldn't look like I was doodling. What I love about this is you've still got the structure, but look at how amazing that doodle effect is. It reminds me of the summer solstice fabric. Um, I'll put my teeth back in. Um, this is a really different take, a different take of embroidery. Talks you through all of the different methods of transferring your, your templates, how to set up your hoop how to put a template inside a, a, another template as well. So you could do, you can see here like the two hoops, so cool. Uh, all of your stitches again have got great descriptions plus photographs and diagrams. Sometimes I find it hard just seeing a photograph to know how to do a stitch from it, whereas actually they've got the diagrams which is really useful. Look at all these stitches, there's loads. Um, there you go, that's the double hoop wreath. Have a look on the Jewelry Maker website as well because they've got lovely beads and charms and things like that that you could put in the middle. Thinking like a lovely amber or, oh, it would look gorgeous to do like a dream catcher design. This is so cool, look, with all of your rainbow coloured threads. That looks amazing. Your journal sampler, mandala samplers. Look, little pillows, play pillows. Your birthstone crystal hoops as well. Look at all this. Oh, yeah, to add your gemstone then for birthstone. They're obviously um, your emeralds, aren't they? And it'll tell you, there you go. They're all your birthstones. What's your birthday, Joe? Yours is Alexandrite. Alexandrite, gosh. What's yours? Yours July, Ruby. I'm Diamond, mine's April. Under the Moon. There's some really lovely projects in here. I think we've got time for one of the book or... In fact, yeah, let's do the book really quickly. Look, there's all of your templates there. So if you've got the light box, it's going to be really easy to transfer them. Plus alphabets. So if you want to personalise anything, we love that book. Last one. I didn't mean to. Um, the Botanical. There's also Thread Doodling, which is similar to the other one. It will be available on the website. This is a different take to what we looked at. This is more traditional. Uh, it's also got, sorry, you'll get a nice new one. Um, it has got really beautiful iron-on transfers as well. So instead of transferring it through, you can actually just simply iron it on. And I think the iron-on transfers work for a good few times. So you could use the iron-on transfers, uh, and then once the iron-on transfers uh, don't work anymore, you can, you can still trace them out. I always thought that it was going to disappear off the transfer sheet. Do you know, like one of those temporary tattoos that you put on and then the, it disappears once you've stuck it on? It's not like that. Some really beautiful vines, really beautiful vines. Uh, so not only have you got all of your transfer sheets, in here, from Brian, you've got 24 mix and match designs. It tells you all about the, uh, the, the meaning behind the reason he's put those plants in, for example, Lavender, it says here, it's believed that lavender helps promote calmness and wellness, reduce stress and anxiety, and possibly reduce uh, mild pain. So it goes through as well, and then it will tell you about how to stitch them. I love lavender. There's all your stitch guide. It's a lovely book, isn't it? £14.99 as well, as great projects as well. Uh, if you do enjoy embroidery, if you enjoy hand stitching, uh, then of course, the queen of hand stitching, we've got Cross Stitch Guild uh, founder Jane Greenoff here. 
Um, and there's some surprises because it's Wendy's birthday. Wendy's birthday tomorrow. There's some brand new bits in. We said to um, to Wendy about Jane, and this, she says, I've known her for years. I've known her for years. So that'll be such a lovely show. Well, Wendy and Jane, if you love hand stitching, definitely tune in tomorrow at 9 and 11 to see Jane Green off with Wendy. It's Wendy's birthday show tomorrow, so you're in for loads of treats as well. Uh, now, everything that we haven't had a chance to do will be available on the website, don't worry. But we've got to get back because Carol has got, uh, Kerry has got some amazing brand new kits uh, to bring us. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Kerry from Living in Loveliness is back in just a couple of minutes. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. 
My dressmaking tip, top tip is, Always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, we've got so much to do. Today's flown by, hasn't it? Uh, you've got an amazing few weeks to look forward to, by the way. I know that at the moment, I was going to say if you've got any plans, cancel them, but just tune in every morning because there's something going on every day. Tomorrow's Wendy's birthday. It's going to be amazing. Today, though, this final hour, we're going to try and jam, jam in as much as we possibly can. Um, Kerry just did a, <gasps> I'm already. I'm like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, just want to make sure I'm organised because we've got three demos to do this hour. Uh, no pressure, uh, but we're going to start with something we have not done since we were in our old studio, which feels like donkey's years ago, doesn't it? Well, it was. It was back before October, September, was it we moved in? Um, so it's been ages. Now, loads of people at the moment have been requesting this wall hanging back. They are very, very, very versatile. You can use them for so many different projects. We've had people who have them as organised in the back of the car. We have people who use them for the gardening bits and bobs. We have them on the back of um, the bathroom door for, for toiletry bits and bobs. We've had people who have them in bedrooms for hair bits and bobs. Obviously in your craft room. Brilliant for all of your, your, uh, your clips and things like that. And I must say, Riley Blake fabric, the Riley Blake kits in the last hour completely sold out. The Riley Blake is always very, very popular. And of course, depending on what you want to store in there, you can alter the size of the pockets so you can completely personalise it to make it your own. Now, it is the kit that Kerry's going to be working with today. I haven't got it physically here because Kerry's got it over there. Um, but we'll go through exactly what you're getting in the kit with Kerry. It looks like that. So you've got all four fabrics from Riley Blake, um, plus you're getting your instructions and your, any templates that you need or a, anything that you need noted down is all in Kerry's pattern. You can also today get the pattern on its own. So those of you that have been indulging in such beautiful fabrics um, that we've been launching recently, if you've got fabrics in mind at home, you can get the pattern today. 
£9.99. Um, lots of the packet patterns on their own in the last hour were selling very, very quickly, just to be aware. We saw lots of people who were getting um, who were getting the patterns on their own. Chrissy says, I've done one in my sewing area and absolutely love it. I'm going to do another one. She says, it's really easy to make as well, which... Don't get me wrong, with the, when we've got a bit more time at the moment, it's nice to set yourself big goals and do big, big projects. But also, it's really, really nice to be able to finish projects and just say, right, do you know what? I'm not doing anything this afternoon. A couple of hours from start to finish and you've got a project done, whether it be a gift for somebody or whether it be for yourself, to get yourself organised. I'm very much into my organisation at the moment. In fact, this would be great for baby bits and bobs, wouldn't it? <gasps> this is great, you know, all the different creams and cotton wool pads and things like that that I'm going to need. That'd be really nice. You could even hang one at the side of, um, I've got like a changing table, I could hang it on the side of that, on the wardrobe, that'd be brilliant. Thinking also, oh, well, now I'm just getting excited, there's loads of different uses that these are, these are going to be great for so many different hobbies and, and crafts and all sorts. Okay, so, are you ready Kerry? Oh, Deep breath, deep <laughs> breath. This is beautiful. Now we've only got, well, we've got now got less than 10, just so you know. Um, and the Riley Blake fabrics Absolutely are lovely, aren't beautiful. they? And uh, I think we're all sort of inspired to get back out in the garden this year and uh, yeah. organise everywhere. So these are, this is a great little accessory. It was, of course, designed for your sewing room, great mm -hmm. for your babies, of course. But I think this one in particular with these patterns, this is fabulous for your seeds and your little tools. Um, so I'm quite excited to be making one of these again and they've been very popular recently. I think we're all feeling like we want to get more organised. So oh, more organised. Absolutely. I don't, I don't know whether I'm ever going to be organised. No, I always <laughs> I always like, have the, the start of the year when New yeah. Year's resolutions, I'm like, right, I'm going to get myself really organised. I've been watching loads of those uh, Netflix programmes to organise all my drawers and organise yeah. everything. Um, so this is just going to help to get this us organised. This will certainly help. So in, in your kit, you're going to receive the Bosal Foam. You will need to trim that a little. And then you've got four beautiful Riley Blake fat quarters. They're very bright and vibrant. And I particularly love the little strawberries on there. You get the well. Bosal foam. You get the Bosal foam Brilliant. in here as well. So this comes with everything. The only thing you're going to need to complete this project is 25 inches of ribbon and a dowling stick as well. Although we do know from previous shows, people have used these and put ties on for their cars. And Shirley, I believe, who messaged in this morning, she put a slightly different hanging on hers as well. So you can be inventive. There's plenty of fabric in there to do that as well. So we've got three lovely pockets on here, two that are flat against the uh, directly to the wall hanging and then one that's got a little bit more space in there. So I think that'd be great to perhaps pop your tools and things in. Your now children you are watching again, by the way. <laughs> They've taken over your Facebook. <laughs> they're on there this morning. Yeah, they're on your Facebook. <laughs> Hopefully I've got no secret messages in there. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just be pictures of fabric anyway. So, oh, good morning anyway. So on here, now you know I like to have the pockets mm. so they're equally as beautiful on the interior. So your fabrics, oh, yeah. when you've cut your fabrics, you're going to simply fold those in half and press them. So when you're looking on the inside of your pocket as well, you get that little glimpse of the beautiful fabrics. So all I've done already is just gone ahead and folded the pocket fabrics in half and given those a press along the bottom. And then again, I've mixed up the fabrics. Just choose whichever fabric you want to. There's plenty um, in your fat quarter bundle there to do that. And we're simply, I mean, you could of course work with the same fabric, but I always think it's quite nice to mix those up so you have a different fabric to really make those fabrics pop and the pockets pop as well. So I will just go ahead and quickly do this binding one, but it's the same technique for each one. So wrong side of the fabric facing up towards you. Fold that in half and just give that a little press. We originally did this back on the 2nd of July, Kerry. That was it. If it you want to like watch yesterday. back another demo, 2nd of July, if you want to watch it. Last year, 2020, um, in the old studio, which is packed, Kat's saying, packed with living in loveliness goodies. So definitely watch the show back. Oh, gosh, that feels like yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, no. I feel like that's that feels like ages really? ago. Really? Oh, I feel now. like every every day rolls into one at the moment, <laughs> and everything feels like I did it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so for your pockets, I'm simply aligning the raw edge of the binding to the raw edge of that top of the folded pocket there, and just clipping those into place. Oh, got a broken clip there. 
and then we're going to just sew across there using a quarter inch. Oh, I love seeing all your messages. Julie says these can fit onto a, a door hanger. These can, these can fit onto the door hangers available. Ones uh, on the the back of my oh, ones on the back of a bathroom door as well. Uh, These are perfect. That's a good idea. They're great for girl, well, boys as well, of course, because they do love their hair products now. But they, I know, Honey's got one for all of her brushes and yeah. hair sprays and yeah, bubbles and things like that. Yeah, absolutely things like We that. do like storage solutions, especially when they've got pretty fabrics with them. And again, this is, a, this is a nice, all of the projects that we tend to bring anyway are nice, fast projects, afternoon projects. Oh, that's it. I'd like to complete a project. Yeah. And especially if you're starting out sewing as well, this is a really lovely project for anybody who's a beginner and really useful. It, and it gives you satisfaction as well, if you like. I mean, we do lots of quilting as well. So if, you, you know, if you've got perhaps a big project on the go, it's nice to have a break and do a fast project, mm -hmm. isn't it, as well? Mm -hmm. So we've sewn the binding bind into the top raw edge. Naturally, as you press against that binding, as you turn this over onto the back. And it is important to press at each stage, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, Kelly? you get a, such a, it, it takes a, a few seconds extra. Naturally, as you fold that binding over the back, the folded edge will sit just below that sewn edge there, or that sew line, if you like. And there are a couple of options here. You could stitch in the ditch if you want to. But the pattern and what I like to do with all of my binding is just to finish that with a zigzag stitch. And I do always choose the zigzag stitch because it distributes it across. You know you're not going to miss the fabric. It looks decorative and it's nice and fast yeah. as well. It keeps that project flowing quite quickly. So we'll repeat that for each three pat um, pockets there. I'm wondering why the iron's not talking to us. Oh no. What's it telling me? <laughs> That's that scares me when I it, feel oh, like this goes. is like there, there we go. I spoke too I soon. Am, yeah, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> I was thinking that's a bit like children when they go quiet. What are they up to? <laughs> Somebody did ask what was the iron that Kerry was using early on. Uh, this is the Belled Ray two in one garment steamer. It's not just a steamer though. You can see you can also just have it as a dry iron if you want. It's so good with a handle. I like the handles. We've, we've used these different, different style ones, but yeah. I do like having the handles. Yeah. It's very easy to work with, especially, I mean, I particularly like the smaller irons when we're doing little projects, but mm -hmm. it runs across these quite quickly. And I love that it, you can have it as a vertical steamer, so if you want oh, to yeah. clean your yeah. curtains or anything like that, it's great. If you want to, of course. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of that sounds That's like a, a nesting lot of work. thing, I think, Harry. <laughs> yeah. I've so. never been bothered about cleaning my headboards and things like that, and now I'm like steaming them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's very close. <laughs> so I'm popping this onto the sewing machine, just centering the foot between the, um, the seam of the binding and also your fabric. When you're working with two different fabrics, if you choose contrasting fabrics on your binding it's really easy to see as well and then just using the chain stitch method we're just going to feed the next pocket on top and again just continue to sew along there why do you like to chain stitch Kerry what's the benefits um firstly I like that it keeps it nice and speedy so you know you haven't got the the extra although it's a few seconds time to take it off but I am really quite conscious of waste I don't like any waste really so the benefit is that you're not wasting any of that thread. Ah, By the time good. you would have removed this from the machine and placed it back on, you know, you've lost 10, 15 inches of yeah. your thread. And of course, when you come to cut those joining threads in just a moment, you've got less, less thread to cut away as well. And then feeding the last one on. But you know me, Vicky, I like anything that speeds up there. Yeah, that's it. No, it's, it's, a good, it's a good technique to sort of get into because uh, I see yeah. most of our guest designers, they come in and they're chain stitching, they're chain uh, piecing, lots of bits together. And I've always, 
it's something I've never done and I'm really? always doing that. Right, will it benefit? And it does, like you say, save you time and save you thread. Yeah, absolutely. There is nothing more frustrating than getting to the end of your product project and realising you're just a little bit short on the thread. So where we can save it, we do. Um, let's find the scissors. So as you can see there, there's no extra thread to trim away because it's so close together. So straight away, we've got our three pockets. And these, again, are super easy to attach. Now, the measurements in your pattern will show you exactly where to line this up, how to line up your ruler, so you're going to get equal distance between each pocket. But for today's tutorial, we'll keep this, we'll just guess this. I've got the math there as well, so I can pretty much see there. But there's two inches between each of those. Do you get all of the same um, amount of fabric for each colour so you can mix and match which colours you want? Absolutely. So it. you're going to get um, four 18 by 20 fat quarters in yeah. there. And so you, you will end up with some left over as well. Now, this is a project that you will bind at the end. Mm -hmm. So you'll need some of your fabrics to bind the project. I mean, you could leave them all ready, but a nice binding on there, if you see by the complete sample yeah. there, really finishes that. And again, in the step-by-step, -step, I show you how to mark up this po uh, pocket on the bottom. But the simplest way to do this is to fold this in half here and clip your two raw edges into place. Let's just bring this across. I bet I haven't bought a ruler with me. There's one there behind we go. you. Attached. Oh no, yeah, we're all attached with there the garland. We go. We will hang it back up. Cats so neatly pop the garland <laughs> in place as well. We do a bit of juggling there. Oh, they are already selling on pre-order, just so you know. The hearts we will talk about before the end of the hour. But grab the new Liberty options because they are beautiful. The ones that are hanging up at the back. There we go. Nearly really spoiled nice. cat's display. Sorry, cat. <laughs> so for this bottom pocket, we're simply going to... You can measure all of this out if you want to. But again, if you fold that foam and just finger press, and if just using your ruler... I'm using a chalk pen because the fabric pen we wouldn't see on there. And I'm just going to draw a guideline for myself. And now that folded edge, we're simply going to rest onto that chalk mark that we have here. If we pin that together, clip have on the edge. You can sort of um, distribute these as, as, as you want to. Absolutely. To personalise so, it. Yeah, so you can have the larger pocket in the middle or at the top. It's entirely up to yourself. And again, you can make the pockets as, as wide as you like based on what you're going to pop into there. So if you were yeah. using this as a garden um, organiser, you might want smaller pockets because of your pockets are seed. And mm -hmm. the, be the best thing that I would recommend is, is literally just placing whatever your item is on top and drawing your line at the side of it. Oh, it'd be nice to personalise and write, you know, <gasps> seeds. Oh, yeah. You, know, you could hair bubbles, you can put whatever you want. Oh, absolutely. And, and of course, with those, you're going to mark up your fabrics. But just for today's demonstration, we'll just go for a centre pocket on each of these. So to secure the two top pockets, we're simply going to sew along the raw edges to secure those into place. Reverse stitch at the top part of the pocket and finish at the bottom part of the pocket. So when you pop in your items in, it's not adding any pressure onto the sew line. And then we're simply going to sew an eighth of an inch from the bottom of the pocket to secure it into place. This bottom one is slightly different because we're sewing along the sides to begin with and only that centre line for now because we want some nice pleats in these pockets. Still with your reverse? Still, Still with your reverse, okay. yeah, absolutely. So you can use your walking foot if you want to. You're going for it without, you're such we're a We're going with it without. It's good to know, you know, that anybody who hasn't got uh, a walking foot, quite often they're put off by quilted project, yeah. projects because they think, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to manage, but this, this, this machine doesn't seem to. And I'm just teasing that thread out to the second pocket, so okay. I'm not taking it off and, re you know, wasting too much thread on there. And again, starting with a reverse stitch and then sewing to the bottom of this pocket. So straight away you've got your two pockets in place. Now the pattern will show you slightly different how to insert this pocket, but you've got your centre line and naturally as you pinch that together, that's going to give you that nice pocket mm -hmm. on there straight away. So we'll just pop a clip to the bottom and again the second pocket. 
So folding until that fold line is in line with that sew line that we've just created. Oh, so they're nice deep pockets, aren't nice, they? Yeah, nice deep pockets. And to secure this bottom pocket, we're simply going to sew from the raw edge across the bottom and up to the second part of the raw edge. So again, you can see just how quickly this project comes together. If you've made this before, please send in your photos. We'd love to see it. We'd love to, uh, to show Kerry on air, so please send in any photographs if you have made the mile wall hanging. It's always lovely to see when people have made their collections and also how they're using them as well, because as designers, it gives us ideas for, you know, for future projects that we create or, you know, quite often what will happen is people say, I've made this, but I'd love it to have. Yeah. And did you design this for your craft room then? This was for my craft room, yeah. yeah. I say craft room, this is for when I'm sitting at the dining table and sewing and there's very yeah. limited space, so everything needs to be easily accessible. Oh, you've got your own uh, unit now though, haven't we you? We have, yes. Still lots of work to be done. I don't know whether to do the work or solo, that's my problem every day. <laughs> I seem to have that battle with myself every day. So we'll just do this middle pocket just for you to see again how to attach this one. And here we'll just trim those joining threads. So to secure this middle pocket, which would be the same with the top pocket, again we just simply sew in an eighth of an inch from that raw edge. So this sew line that we've just created here will actually get lost when we come to add the binding to this pocket. And this will secure the bottom so your seeds aren't falling out. This is um, a, a speedy demo today, but remember to watch back the 2nd of July 2020 on YouTube if you do want to see uh, any more demonstrated on this. It was the third hour into the show. The Maya wall hanging kit with Riley Blake fabrics, by the way, will sell out. Just be aware. It is the very, very very limited now if you do want the pattern on its own it's on the side graphic as well £9.99. I'm really excited to see actually how people have finished the top because I know we've got lots of people who've sent photos to ourselves um, of how they've finished the top but the wall hanging to add your dowling at the top and make this nice and easy is you've got your panel your top panel here for your hanging loop mm -hmm. with the wrong side of the fabric facing towards you I've simply folded that in half an inch and then half an inch again just to create that double hem. What are the ways have people finished it then, Kerry? Well, I've seen um, there's some really decorative wall hanging coat hangers that you can oh, that you can buy. Oh, so is this what the lady was on about? I, I imagine so, yeah. Julie. So, uh, so I've seen somewhere people have got the lovely wall hangers and they've got words inscribed onto there. They've had, I've seen somebody who's had somebody one made with somebody's name on mm. there. Um, of course, we had Hillary who um, put the ties and the elastics, so they went into the car. Nice. Oh, Julie, send in your photograph if you've um, if you've got one. So again, I'm just sewing across that edge. Again, I'm using the zigzag because in this particular project, you are of course welcome to hand finish the binding, which I know Shirley who messaged in earlier today did. She sent me a photo oh, yesterday. Lovely. It's really really neat. Um, but I finished the binding with a zigzag and of course it's on the top of the binding so it just seemed right to add the zigzag there. So we're folding this in half now and just giving that a little press. And this attaches to the back of the panel so make sure your pockets are the right way mm -hmm. as we turn this over. Now on my pattern I don't put any fabric on the back. You could add a plain fabric to this if you wanted to on the back if you didn't want to see the foam but this will naturally be against a wall so I didn't add any fabric to the back of mine. So we're centering that panel and again if you look in the pattern it'll tell you to rest this an inch from the raw edges and we'll just sew in that to secure the hanging loop there on the back. Chrissy said she sent a photograph into your messenger cat. So it's so many different places to look. She says I'm going to start looking at the messenger I never see the um messages that come through there. I think uh, Haley's always on it with the messenger and opens them before they get to you, Kat. We'll have a look. She says she's found it. And now, other than your binding, your wall hanger is pretty much finished. How good so is that? You loop on the back and you just simply go into slots. So you will need a 14-inch piece of dowling, 
which you can of course pick up in hardware stores. I've seen people put spoons on them as well. Ah, I was thinking you could, well, just when we're out on our walks, our daily yes. walks. Just a, yeah, a that's a great, step. yeah. Yeah, that gets you out walking and doing your daily exercise as yeah. well. So that's a great idea. Yeah, foraging. That's, that's Love it. Chris Susie does that all the time, doesn't she? Who? Susie. Susie goes Susie. foraging. All the time, yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she makes all of her own jams. jams. Oh, I know. I'm so envious. Although I did go foraging and got lots of blackberries, and I finally have made my blackberry crumble, and it was oh, delicious. Yes. Yeah, it was really nice. <gasps> um, so that is, that is pretty much what you Amazing. Amazing, amazing. The, uh, there are still a couple of the kits available in Riley Blake. Literally about to sell out though. So please, please, please do check out if you want that. Um, the pattern on its own as well available. Now, is it time? <laughs> please, can we just go straight for this one? Because look at this. It's amazing. Now, both kits are going to fly out. This is the hummingbird. I love this. Can you tell? It's absolutely beautiful fabric uh has tracy made this tracy's made this tracy the as well. oh look at it it's amazing and it's really lovely and structured because of the bosal foam so you get the bosal foam that's there ready to go um, in your kit and then you also have in here your absolutely beautiful fabrics now i know how popular this storage caddy has been it's got pockets on the outside it's got pockets on the inside it's so so you it is really really beautiful really useful indeed and the fabrics oh, they are stunning kerry these, we can't get these any other way, just so you know. I know we're going to have messages coming in saying, can we get the fabrics? Can we have the fabrics? The only way of getting these fabrics is right now in these kits. You have got the most beautiful, beautiful colours, plus all your templates, all of your instructions, everything you need, and your webbing for your strap. And that is to make this brilliant craft caddy again i bet you've seen so many people using oh, these for yeah different... absolutely absolutely and i think with the nice brights we're going to have these for picnics i think these should be for picnics that's the just thought amazing. of having a nice little walk and a picnic very soon sounds oh, wonderful absolutely it does now the one that kerry's going to be working with that you can see there um is the second colorway it's absolutely beautiful as well it comes with the fabrics it comes with your pattern it comes with your bosal and with your straps and that is to make this one your butterfly it's great look just a little idea again if you've got your quilters clips just a clip onto the edge of of your uh, of your caddy to be able to use it as like a scrap bin uh, to have it at the side of your sewing it's absolutely beautiful so you have both of the colors this one which gives that sort of like batik look doesn't it and the beautiful iridescent butterflies as well Oh, I think, just so you know, we've done a bit of a hybrid of the two. So with this one, I think you get the yellow straps and yes. this one you get the purple, yes. don't you? Yes. That's right. So you get the purple with the hummingbird, you get the yellow with the butterfly, just to, to make it clear. Plus your bosal and all of your templates, patterns, instructions. I love what the bosal, bosal brings yeah. it gives Absolutely. it really good structure because if you were to use different interfaces it probably wouldn't hold its shape no, as well and, I, and then originally when i did this pattern i did try it with a couple of different themes and i think you know ultimately it has been designed as a craft caddy and naturally your craft collections bring weight to them your scissors are low That's and it. You, you know you really need something there with a the stability and i think just as you said a scrapbook bucket you know you mm. can have that at the side of you and collect those remnants of fabrics yeah. that you've got left behind or really the this was always designed for people who go along to classes because you've got everything you need in there mm -hmm. and space to take your project that you're working on plus with your handles plus yeah. with your handles of course and again this is another project where we've had photos come in people have just put the um, the pockets on the interior and they've left the outside free or vice versa it is reversible as well because you've got the binding on the top Brilliant. there but we've had people make them for you know just for organization and not put the handles on there so yeah. especially if you know you're feeling i think i sort of went through watching those collections that um that you said last year mm. just ways of organizing everything mm. and the fact that you've got their pockets on there is yeah. really nice and these fabrics are just so beautiful oh my word i'm really it's drawn to pink at the moment I, did, I was torn between the you know the tea, the aqua color or the purple but i'm really drawn to 
to the pink at the moment. I think yeah. it's really mm, striking right. with that butterfly. Um, so again, you know, there is a full demonstration of how to create this pattern start to finish, including the binding and attaching your handles. And the pattern has been designed so you can showcase the two fabrics in your mm -hmm. kit on both the interior and the exterior. Or of course, you could just have all of one colour on the side. Now, what's particularly nice about this um, kit, I did think it was quite important to show you actually, a lot of our kits, you just have enough fabric to create them. But in this kit, you're ending up with lots of fabric left over. That's how much fabric you've got so left over. So you'll have this fabric left over. And I just thought if you wanted to make something like the patterns we had on earlier, or even go ahead and make one of the wall hangings, you, you know, you might that. need to put something, but you've yeah. got a lot of fabric left over in here. So if you're looking for your coordinating collections, while well, we haven't got coordinating kits, you've got plenty of fabric in here to play with That's as well. That's brilliant. Oh, I love so. that. I just think it's such a lovely fabric and it's always quite nice to have things that match, isn't it? So well, I'm thinking face coverings and things yeah. like that and well, scrunchies. Well, you clutch them in the clap. Oh, yeah, scrunchies. I do like a scrunchie. They never go out of fashion, do they? Either scrunchies. Oh, no. I do like scrunchies. So, really nice and easy. We'll have a look at how to do the exterior. Now, it is recommended that you use a walking foot when you're working with a Bosal product. I'm not going to use a walking foot on here and I do find that certainly this machine and the machine I use doesn't have any problems sewing through here. Um, but there are some great... Um, features um, and recommendations to use with the Bosal products if you want to. Um, but you're getting your Bosal, your two fabrics, and then it's really nice and easy. So first of all, I've got the Bosal. It isn't a fusible Bosal, but so the fabric doesn't move. Again, I have used a little 505 directly to the, bat, uh, to the Bosal there and then placed the fabric. And I've chosen the pink here to be the, the main fabric. I think the, the actual bag itself is what you notice first. Yeah. And then I've gone for the pink for the pocket. So we then cut um, the binding out of the butterfly fabric as well. And again, like all of the collections that we've created, it's nice and simple. Is there a direction to both of these? I was just having a little look at how my butterflies were going to sit then. To <laughs> just I was thinking to that's going to end up upside down and it will really frustrate me. There's a direction to the hummingbird, to the hummingbirds. There? Although you will notice actually on the hummingbird, it, one of the hummingbirds will always end up upside down because of the print. Oh, oh, okay. Can you so, see? Yeah, yeah. So actually the hummingbird, matter. it really doesn't matter because one no. of your hummingbird is going to be the right way and the other one's going to be adventurous and upside down. <laughs> we'll, we'll go for an adventurous hummingbird there. Oh, and I love that almost like spacey. It's like a nebula, isn't it? It's, it's like amazing, isn't it? Exploding star. It's so cool. So I was just quickly looking uh, just to check the butterfly. So if you are using the butterfly kit um, I would just make sure when you're placing the raw edge of your butterfly against your pocket that the butterfly is the correct way so when you fold it although you'll only see minimal you'll know for yourself that the butterfly is actually the right would way. Would that up. really annoy you if it were the wrong Well I didn't way. think it would but I, I could feel myself thinking yeah it will actually. <laughs> <laughs> so just clipping those together well, I don't know. Whoever is the recipient of this one, it, whenever I finish it off, it might annoy them. So we'll, <laughs> we'll make the effort to get it the right way. Well, like you say, it takes a couple of seconds, doesn't Cut, it? Yeah, absolutely. Check. Definitely. I mean, the pattern's great if you've got fabrics, if you're going for just the pattern and you're using a non-directional pattern, which I think in most of the previous kits we've had. I think we can offer the pattern on its own today. Woo -woo! If you want the pattern on its own, lots of fabrics that we have available on the website. If you do want just the severe pattern on its own, it's £9.99. And, and in there you have your templates, you've got all of your instructions, you have everything that you need to be able to do it. Um, the original demonstration was on the 28th of May. 28th of May, if you want to watch Kerry's show back, look back on YouTube, pattern on its own is available. Um, just so you know, there's less than 10 of the kits available, so soon that might be the only option. I've got a feeling they'll both sell out. Main graphic is the butterfly, which is the one Kerry's working with. Side graphic is hummingbird, which Chrissy is my favourite too. I love it. I do Absolutely. love the hummingbird. We've had the hummingbird in a couple of different kits. There's just something about this year that's making me feel drawn to the bright colours. You'll see in the other kits we've got coming up. I think we need it, don't we? Yeah, definitely. So I'm pressing the binding up as we would do in all of our collections. And you can see the butterflies are the right way up now. I'm very happy go. about that. <laughs> and you can give this a little press, but just for speed, I'm just going to fold this over and pin together. And like I mentioned in our earlier demonstration today, if you want to you know, work with a quilter's tape, you can use your tape on here as well. Or 
when we did this original demonstration, it was when uh, we were just coming in and pre pre recorded, oh, was it? wasn't it? Yeah. When it was only it was, you and Joe, yeah. when it was just Joe and Kat, wasn't it? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, that, see, that does feel like a lifetime ago now. But, like you say, time has just gone. It's just, time's been strange. Because I don't feel like normally you'd have memories of did this, did this, did this. But now it's just like all blended into one. I have to say, seeing the memories pop up on your... Um, and your face looks oh, really quite yeah. nice, isn't it? You think, oh, this time last year we were on the beach. Yeah. We were so hopeful, weren't we? This time last year, <laughs> well, we knew what we were going to do by the end of it. We didn't know, did we, this time last year? No. So I've, I have chosen to work with the yellow thread in here, and again, you can choose any of those fabulous oh, pick out colours those from colours. your collections. And both, you're spoilt for choice with colours. I mean, you could go with the purples, the pinks, the yellows, the oranges, the hummingbird. Again, there's loads of different yeah. colours. Ellen said, just ordered the butterfly. It is gorgeous. Oh, we love to see your photos as well. So do share your photos with us. There we go. And so the next thing that we're going to do now is the wrong side of the fabric faces against that beautiful butterfly. So you can see that really vibrant colour popping out at you. And again, we've spoken about different reasons why you might create, although it's called a craft caddy, your Sophia. Think about what you're going to put into the pockets on here before you mark your pockets up. So if it's your, um, if it's your sewing equipment, then you're going to need a mixture of pockets, really. Some for perhaps your glue pens. If it's for knitting, then you're going to need some narrow ones. I would always say even for your crochet hooks um, and for your knitting, I wouldn't go any less than one and a half. Otherwise, they're just too tight, especially okay. because you've got the bows all there. And just simply create your first line, which is going to create that first pocket. And just move your ruler across, deciding on the width of those pockets and just give yourself some guidelines on here to sew with. Just so you know, Kerry, we've got about 20 minutes. Okay, so we'll just pop a couple of pockets in here. Before we went live, I was thinking, I've got everything, have I got everything? Yep, I've got everything. Have you got everything? I'll tell you after the third <laughs> demo. <laughs> I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. <laughs> Did you manage to have a nice lion this morning? Oh, it, was, it was very strange this morning having a later <laughs> show and not being up at uh, five o'clock. It was, it was a bit surreal, really. It was a bit like, you know, Christmas Day when you feel like you dreamt that you've missed something. Oh, gosh, yeah, well, we were this morning. We were doing the stretches this morning. We were having a breakfast. We were like, this is really strange. Surely we, we should have, we should we be should doing be doing something, something now. <laughs> So just to show you, so going back to reducing the waste on your thread here, you can take each pocket off if you want to, but what I tend to do is when I finish at the edge of a pocket, remembering to reverse stitch here, just tease your cotton across, and as we fold or roll your bosal, so it's not putting too much, um, you know, too much weight on here, or also creasing the bosal, mm -hmm. then starting at the top of your next pocket with a reverse stitch. Tracy says, hi, Kerry and Vicky. I've loved sewing the demos. It's your Tracy. I wanted to keep them all. It's a brilliant show. Tracy, brilliant sewing. We absolutely love them. You need to come on. We need to get Tracy on. Yeah. I think that would be, be able a great to do even more demos in a, in a show. <laughs> Kerry, you can do the talking. We'll get Tracy sewing as well. And That's it. We'll, we'll have we'll a little, we'll have a little production machines. line going. Yeah. <laughs> So each time just turning those around and of course when you've finished you can just dust off that chalk to remove just to remove those um, lines that you've got on there or give it a little press if you've used your fabric pen. So very quickly I'll show you how to pop this bottom on. So what's really important is that you work with the bottom left corner of your project. Choose one of your fabrics for the base. I'm going for the darker fabric on the base. And then we're simply lining this up on top, just using a fabric pen. Have I got a fabric pen to hand? I've probably hidden it away from uh. myself. Have I? We'll use this pen that I've got here. So we're just going to pop a little mark, a quarter inch from each corner. And this is just a guideline to show you where to stop. So I'm popping just a quarter inch from the corner of each of those um, projects mm -hmm. and I will get this right it's the bottom right hand corner 
So if you start in the bottom right hand corner, you're inserting your needle into that first pen mark. Okay. So into your second pen mark, leaving your needle inserted to allow you to bring oh. the base around. So we've not got um, the sides on there. This keeps it again, gives it that nice structure, but keeps it nice and fast to sew. That's clever. I've not seen this technique before. So you start. So I'm starting needle. on that pen yeah. mark. And again, the Still pen mark is reverse. just to give you a guide. So into your second pen mark. When you arrive at your second pen mark, leave the needle inserted, yeah. raise your presser foot, and then just bring those fabrics around. Naturally, that will fold mm -hmm. out of the way. Then we're sewing to that second pen mark. Again, when you arrive at that second pen mark, leave your needle inserted, raise your presser foot, and bring that panel around. So just tease it around, making sure that all those raw edges here are marrying up, and you can see that through the fabrics. So what's good about that needle down option, isn't it, on your machine? Yeah, it really helps. What's particularly good as well is that you have no gaps in the corners, which can sometimes happen when you're putting a, you know, a cube together, if you like. And on that final corner, naturally now those corners will marry up just here so you can pin through the foam or clip if you want to so by just doing those dots in the corner it's so just a like reminder for yourself now when yeah. you arrive at the fourth dot if you reverse stitch and you've got your base on that cube already so to bring the sides together we're simply going to bring those two pockets in line. And I would recommend clipping at this stage. Mm -hmm. Make sure all those raw edges are together and we're sewing along there to complete that cube. Amazing. Remember, if you do want to watch back the show on YouTube, um, jot down today's day and the 28th of May because all of the techniques there. Plus, it's all really clear in the pattern as well, I must say. Kerry spends so much time putting together the patterns with, uh, with the uh, photograph tutorial as well alongside it. Everybody, some of the, the comments that we get back are always how clear Kemma, Kerry's uh, patterns are. Both kits are extremely limited now, so you can see there you've how got quickly. storage box. If I just turn this the right way. So and the lining's see. exactly the same. The lining's exactly the same to put together except you haven't got the bosal to work with. So it's even easier. I tend to work with the bosal side first. And then you can see very quickly the structure that you've got in there, but oh, ultimately lovely. how fast that cube comes together as well. Amazing. Right. Speaking of fast, fabulously fast, fat, quarter <laughs> fun in 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's do it. Right. Can we start with the bright butterflies? We've got three different kits to show you. And this is to make your, oh, well, you always have one of these with you, Kerry, yes. don't you? Yeah. I've just realised I've got the little book over here oh, you with the me. Book. <laughs> so you get to make the, the um, pencil case, the book, the notebook, which Kerry's got. And then also we love these. I mean, we've had so many different people who have messaged in again and said, um, how lovely the little envelopes are as well for lots of projects. So the first one is your bright butterflies. <gasps> oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> Kerry's eyes have just lit up. Isn't it just amazing? Right. You get, as always, with these amazing, we have loads of people who get involved with uh, the Fabulously Fast Fat Quarter Fun uh, kits because it just shows, doesn't it, Kerry, how yeah. far they can go. Yeah, yeah. and this actually all amazing. these, all three projects, so some of our later issues that we've released, you do need extra fabric to complete them, but these three projects here, you don't, you'll get all three projects from those four. Do you also get your vinyl? You get the vinyl in here Great. as well. So you get the vinyl, you get all four fat quarters, plus you're getting your pattern, your instructions, everything that you need. If you open up the glitter ones, you'll see all of the different colours oh, in the glitter fat quarters They are, well. they're like ombre, aren't they? Honestly, they are so beautiful. Look at these. When we launched these for, I can't remember which kit it was that we did. It was, but it, it was, it was this, this one. It was this they kit, completely yeah. sold out first time round, literally in about 10 seconds. So if you want them, if you miss them the first time round, go for it. Come and get involved. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at all those colours. And I love the fact that it looks like you've got the ding, 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 like the sparkle. That was my sound effect. Of, <laughs> of, 
You knew exactly what I meant from my sound effect. Um, so, really quickly, I'm so sorry that we're rushing you. Please do check out. We've also got that. Look at that one. Oh, the brights are gorgeous. We also have the one, the hummingbird. Yes, right. Hummingbird back this time in the uh, four different back quarters. So this time you're getting your instructions, your pattern, your vinyl, and such beautiful fabrics. Look at these. You got your hummingbird. Oh, see, it can match in with your craft caddy as well. Love that one. That one is so beautiful. And oh, I'm so pleased that you get all four of those because I wouldn't be able to choose. They're just so lovely. And that's remember to make the notebook cover which Kerry's got, which we'll have a look at. Also, you've got enough to be able to do your really lovely pencil case or however you want to use it, your storage case, and also your envelope. Whether you're putting um, a gift voucher in there for somebody, whether you want to put, um, so lots of people were saying about tooth fairy. Tooth fairy envelopes, yeah. Tooth fairy or a little letter, little note for somebody. Or I mean, there's so many lovely ideas. Little foldable scissors, Kat's saying. Oh, good idea. So, one final colourway that we have. I'm rushing through these because I want to make sure that we get into enough time with Kerry as possible. Um, you say less than 10 minutes. <gasps> okay. Finally, the butterflies. The ones that the, uh, the, the pencil case was made out of. Kerry's going to work in with the bright butterflies, so don't let this one pass you by. You've also got your vinyl in there as well. Um, this is a demonstration that we also have on YouTube. It's definitely worth watching back if we're having to do a bit of a pit stop with it today. Um, your fabulously fast fat quarter fun, you get to do your, your notebook, and it's even got a little pen holder on there. Uh, you have got your organiser to keep your rotary cutter, your scissors, your, your marking tools. I know we need longer with Kerry, we need to do a whole day with Kerry. Look, plus all of these beautiful fat quarters. £29.99, and pence, which are absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Whichever one you are choosing, check out as soon as you can. The hummingbird, the butterflies, everything from Kerry has been super, super, super popular today. Plus you're getting your vinyl as well. Right, Kerry, I know you... Can we do it? <laughs> We're against the clock, <laughs> go for it. Well, you'll be delighted to know that this is a very, very fast project. But just quickly, shall I show you the book that I managed to steal yeah, away from you? Look. So this has actually been designed as a notebook cover. But I did think it's also very good. I get asked all the time how you can keep your patterns safe and secure. So even just creating this, you can keep your templates in one side of your pocket and also your patterns in the second side of the pocket. And of course, change these over with different patterns that you're working on as well. And as um, Vic said, you've got your pen in there if you want to doodle any notes, because of course in each of your patterns you have got that section for notes if you want to make yourself any notes. I have to say I love this so bright lovely. butterfly. It's just absolutely gorgeous with the glitter fabrics. So cut in your templates as you usually would do with all of your collections. I've chosen the purple to go onto the back of here. So I've simply popped one of the purple, attached a little bit of 505 and secured the panel onto the back. And the same there with that fabric. And I think that's the best fabric really, for me personally, to use with this collection because mm -hmm. you can really see that through your clear vinyl. Yeah. So to attach to your clear vinyl, your first pattern on the bottom, we're simply going to fold that in half and just give that a quick press. And then again, those raw edges into that centre fold. And this really allows us to just put this up against that um, vinyl there. So actually you're not physically sewing onto the vinyl you're sewing onto your fabric. And I would absolutely recommend not using pins for this project, so use your, um, do use your, um, your clips. clips for this, yeah. Will you leave holes in it if you pin it then? Yeah, you'll, you'll pierce the, the vinyl there, so if you just pop those out of the way. What's really lovely about the glitter fabric is you can choose which side you want to showcase as well. Lovely. So just resting this onto the sewing machine and just sewing as close to the edge of that fabric but not on your vinyl and you could use a decorative stitch if you want to but for today's demo I'm just going to increase that stitch to five. So you don't need to change your needle or anything? You don't have you any special You can use a needle. leather needle okay. um, but I haven't changed the needle on here so I would recommend perhaps if you're going to do lots of these then mm. definitely use a leather needle for your vinyl. Lovely. 
nice one to try out working with different uh, materials, actually, different fabrics, yeah, because absolutely. a lot of people, again, I know, are scared of maybe using vinyls. But it's good to be able to see what you've got in this pencil case, absolutely. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah, absolutely. I think when you're doing fast projects and you're looking for things, I think that's what we tend to find as crafters. We have lots of, um, lots of different things, so it's always worth having having everything close by. Now we're going to pop a zip on the top of the vinyl as well. So of course we can see through that layer of vinyl. To do that nice and easy, we're simply going to pop a little bit of glue onto the vinyl here. Let me just use a bit of paper because we don't want the glue on this, on this shiny new mat that oh, we found. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we've changed it now. <laughs> Everyone we messaging the in hint. saying, yeah, we the took subtle the hint. hint, you've got a really dirty ironing board. We took the subtle hint. <laughs> Got a nice so I'm just totally using that wa um, <laughs> wash away tape there and I'll pop this ready on the front and the back. You could use your solar glue absolutely, pen Absolutely, well. yeah, absolutely. So first of all, I'm going to remove... We need to get you some refills, don't we, for your solar glue pen, Kerry? I think I, I think I need extra. I think I, we must have been doing lots of sewing. <laughs> so we're simply just popping that onto the top, aligning the zipper onto the fabric, onto that raw edge there and then peeling the tape from the back. I do love, depending on how you cut this glittery fabric, you're gonna see the different colors. Oh yeah, absolutely. You could do a whole project in just the glittery fabric, couldn't you? And yeah, it would look it would like look you've different. used different fabric. Mm -hmm. So just using that zipper foot, we're just going to transfer the zipper foot over now. And again, keeping that zip halfway open. You can feel through your fabrics, but of course you can pin to remind yourself as we did with the previous demos there. And we're just sewing, stopping at the pin, and then closing that zip and sewing to the other, the other end there. We've got five minutes. Just remember with the kits, you get to make all three projects. Oops. Move the zip, that's it. And sew to the other end. And as we open this up to expose that zip now, I would always press this, of course, but we're on limited time, so we'll, right, we'll so top stitch. Press at each point. At each point, yeah. And if you're if you're cheating like me, just make sure you've pushed that out of the way, so that back fabric isn't coming into contact. And you can feel that through the zip as you work through this now. The hanging hearts, just so you know. Um, just while Kerry's stitching this part, let me just show you on the website, we've got new colourways for the amazing hanging hearts as well. Look, so this first one, you can see £12.99. Every single time they come to air, they sell out. We've got them with Liberty colourway. You make five padded hearts. They're really lovely and simple, aren't they? You also get the ribbon and you get all of your pattern and templates. And they're absolutely gorgeous. £12.99, that's the Liberty Green option we also have um liberty the one that's behind kerry the coral option uh you've got for 12 pound 99 all of your fabrics your pattern your yellow ribbon this time to hang them and you get stuffing you get stuffing in the kits as well £12.99. There's one other colourway. Sorry that we haven't had a chance to go through these um, in more detail, but we have done demonstrations on them in the past, haven't we, Kelly? Yeah, we've done these quite a few times. Um, the blue is gorgeous as well. You get your, fab your beautiful fabrics. You also have your templates. You've got all of your, your patterns, everything you need, plus your toy stuffing at £12.99. Right, last couple of minutes. Joe's given me a right countdown in my ear. Like, I feel like we're on the Great British Sewing Bee. Oh, wow. There we go then. So second part of the zip, right side of the fabric up, <laughs> and placing that raw edge onto here. Taking the tape off the back and placing the back fabric on top. And again, just swapping that zip over. I'm not going to pop the pin in just for time today. But when you feel through those fabrics, just open that up and close the zip. How are we doing? Two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, 
during that time, I have to do a menu. So when you get to a point, I'll do the menu once you do. But if I just something. show you yeah. how you would finish this off now, yeah. So I'm not in t um, taking over your menu time. Oh, don't but worry. We, we've been no. through all of this before. We've covered all of this, and then of course okay. you've got your instructions. We would simply finish there with the top stitching. Mm -hmm. Tuck these little fabrics underneath. Yeah. And so when this rests on top of your vinyl, your vinyl then will butt up against that zip. And as you sew along the top of that zip, you can actually see, like the demo one that you've got there, that this rests into place very easily. So, of course, you can see my raw edge. Let's move that raw edge out of the way, just so you can visualise that, especially if you go in for this kit, because it's always quite nice to see those fabrics, isn't it? Oh, so then you can thing. see that the top part of your zipper of course, is easily accessible, but actually you've got these butterflies on the inside oh, of your vinyl there. Nice. Now this project, like the Maya, is finished with a binding as well, so it's simply to bind that. But of course, these have been on previously, but it's just so nice to showcase that. Oh, that butterfly so nice, or the it? hummingbird fabric on the centre there, and the clear panel is just so useful we for us crafters. We love these we new fabrics, <laughs> I absolutely. I, we need to do more in these. Yes. I feel like we need more in the butterflies. I know we do. I, I feel like we've, um, we've rushed through these and they really deserve to be really championed because they're absolutely <laughs> beautiful i think we should speak to uh, the scheduling team and do a longer show with kerry next time because there's so much that we want to indulge in and it's always lovely to have you here it's so good to have you back thank you very when much. are you back in i'm not back in there until march the 11th i think march the 11th, march the 11th. i wonder if that's us We'll have a look and see we'll if it's us. Look. Oh, it's Hopefully. so lovely to see you. I hope it's you. <laughs> nice to be is. with you today. Uh, thank you so You're much. I mean, welcome. we have done so much demonstration as well, haven't we? We've really crammed it in. Wanted to show you as many new colourways as possible. Now, if we have a bit of a breathe, have a look back through the website and see what is available. Every single one of Kerry's kits is available. Type in Living in Loveliness and you'll find all of the kits that are left there. Tomorrow is Wendy Gardner's birthday. Please join her. Tune in at eight o'clock because they've got brilliant surprises for you. An early bird special not to be missed at eight o'clock. And she's joined by the one and only Jane Greenoff um, with lots more great treats for everybody. So do stay tuned. Plus Yarn Lane tomorrow. It's all about socks and hands. I wonder if they mean and gloves. Hands, socks and hands. Uh, anyway, thank you ever so much for your company today. It's been lovely to see you. I'm back on Saturday. Lots of surprises for Wendy's birthday show. Lovely to have Kerry. We'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. <laughs>